Hey, it's me from the future. I didn't really get this through very clearly within the VOD, but uh, this game has a lot of really strange things going on in it. And by really strange, I mean some really weird stuff here, guys. I don't, I don't even know if I can explain anything without spoiling the entire story. And if I say anything, it might scare you off right now, right here. If you're not down for something weird, then maybe you want to look away right now. This is a lot of violence, a lot of gore, a lot of really messed up things in here, okay? Listen, these two... Um, oh god. Uh, uh, there's a lust that's within all of us. <laughs> Maybe that's not how I want to start this. Maybe that's not how I want to start this. <laughs> this is the coffin of Andy and Lele. If you don't know what this is, you probably have heard a lot of, uh, things about this game, uh, uh, you know, here and there. Mainly that this game has a giant, uh, scene involving something that I can't say within the first 30 seconds of this recording. Because the moment I say it, YouTube's gonna be like, Whoa, whoa, whoa can't show this to anyone else. Now, I'm covering apparently the best character in this game. I don't know who she is. I'm assuming Andy is on the left and Lele is on the right. Again, I know nothing about this game except for the name of the game and the one topic that everyone's been talking about in this game, okay? Everybody has been thirsting over these characters to the point that there are memes popping up on my Instagram. Of all places, on Instagram, I'm finding memes about this, this like, game. About couples putting their pictures to be of either character. And I don't know how cursed... Like, how cursed is that? Like, I, I don't know how cursed that is. Is it cursed to match with your partner by, by making your profile picture like either of these two... either of these two characters? I don't know. We're, but we're, 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 we're about to find out. Again, there's a content warning, which I'll say in about five seconds, because that's when the time rolls over. Five, four, three, two, one. There's incest. Yeah. That's a good cold open. I'll be playing on controller, too, because I actually fixed my, my controller setup. I actually fixed my entire, my entire computer setup. You may hear the fans going if I just shut up, if I stop talking for a second. You, you would don't. Episode 1. The Coffin. Lele, uh, I don't... I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and... Take the... the w with you. I thought she, she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Uh-oh. Well, I, I, at least I was right about who is, uh... Ashley? Oh, Ashley, Lele. Like Ashley, Lele, Lele, get it? I hope we don't Lele her. I just, so this game's about incest. Well, it has incest stuff in it. Um, You know this game. Don't think you've heard of it, but apparently it was hidden from your Steam store to begin with. Because the RPG make a tag is on your ignore list. How? Why would it be on your ignore list? You, you're missing out on masterpieces like this. I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is just uh, that this is above Bates Motel and like under Oriimo in terms of like incest level. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It's titled "Find Nutrients to Not Die." <laughs> ready, ready, set, go. How do I find nutrients? What? Item. Options? Control? Save. Save. Oh, thank god, global save menu? Oh, this washroom is disgusting. Detergent. Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Jesus Christ. Again, fair warning, there's a content warning on the game. I have no clue what, what to expect from this game. I just know that it is dark, it's psychological... It's a bit of a psychological horror game, and it's, and it's incest. That's that's probably... The, I, I, I said incest seven times now. It's a washing machine. Uh, what's this? A mop! The toilet! You don't come to the toilet? Oh, I can use it. Good. Okay, there's a run button. Mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call. He's also tried to order food a, billion, a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. A bunch of rented movies. They do they pass ages ago, but what can you do? The balcony door is locked. Wait, wait, wait. If you'd never return movies to Blockbuster, right? Were they able to find you? Like, like, you know how, like, you know, Wizards of the Coast sent the Pinkertons against that one guy who had the cards? Would Blockbuster do the same for, like, you know, a rented DVD of, like, Hot Tub Time Machine? Oh my god, it's white noise! How thrilling! You wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you got entertainment like this! It's also good, by the way, that I'm playing this game now because the house is empty. I don't know how to explain to my family why I'm playing a game about incest, or why I'm saying incest, like, so many times. Again. I found out that my family can kind of hear me if I say certain words, or if I speak in a certain, like, volume, so... That's why the mic sounds a bit different today. <clears throat> the VHS player cannot be eaten. Not with that attitude. 
You guys remember that like one guy in the uh, uh, Guinness World Records who ate an entire Cessna airplane? Cessna? Cessna! Incest! In Cessna! The freezer is completely empty. Why do you have like shit on the floor? The coffee machine sits alone, sad and abandoned. There are only so many times you can brew the same grounds, so no more coffee in this house. Uh huh. Inside the cabinets is nothing! You're used to filling your stomach with water. But it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Oh my god. Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. You, you can absolutely eat paper. What is the nutritional value? Hey Google! What is the nutritional value of paper? To whoever has a Google Home thing, uh, please let me know what, what Google responds with, okay? It's where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. Jesus Cr What's happening to us? But wait! What is that? Got a can of needles. Yeah! Amazing! Oh, you should show that to your brother. Uh oh. No, 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 I feel like I should separate you two. Considering the, the incest that I know about this game. <laughs> Maybe I should separate you two. I should separate the brother and the sister because of the incest. A lone trash bag. Nothing worth mentioning is aside. Front door. Front door won't budge. Why? We've been locked in for months now. What? Months. Tell me they can. Nutrients! <laughs> no. It's not time yet. Where'd the music go? Whatever, just leave it. Oh, th oh, this is her room. Just leave it for now. Okay. Your parents have fucked on this bed. Okay, that's... <sighs> Did they tell you this game was about incest? Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> this, is a weird, this is a weird second game. You're gonna have a, fur, a bed for a real now. Though you already dread the th nightmares the last game that you played is going to give you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check out... Uh, like well done because i'm so curious now but there's no way that it's worse than like this right there's no way but anyways thanks for enjoying and thanks for rating i appreciate it have a wonderful night and i'll see you next time in the trash lies your hopes and dreams exactly where they belong damn an alarm clock is, is uh, ticking away there's no drawing in the drawer andy and lele and the very and, and the very very quiet it says Andy and Lele in the very, very quiet in all capital letters. No, sorry, it's Andy and... As your original vision clearly intended. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. Hmm. I... When does... Okay, I really... Uh, I really don't want to talk to you, man. I, I know you're my brother and all, but like that's the, that's the problem. We're related. You show him the, the, the tomato can. Ta-da! Okay, now... I see why everybody on social media is like lusting over this character. I understand why. I feel ashamed that all of you are. Ah, not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta da! We're not eating that. Huh? No. That's the very last thing we have, Ashley. Let me just hold on to it for a little longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so you're clearly not dying yet. Huh? Uh, how'd you know he was in? Because I hid it there, away from you. <gasps> I live in a den of snakes! Ah, don't, don't rile me up. You'll make me hungry. Do you know what would help? At that, Andrew, my dear? Don't call your brother dear. No, put the, put, the, put, the, put, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. God, don't. Oh, God. I know too much about this game. Chat, I know too much about this game. Chat, I know too much about this game. I know too much about this game that I'm reading too far into the... I'm reading too far in between the lines. I'm going over here where it's safe. Where it's safe. I can see that you're already setting this. Fine. Let's eat them then. Screw our, screw our future selves. No. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. I'll be there in a bit. Thanks, uh, bro. Uh, yeah, just, you know, just sibling, you know, just normal sibling things, you know what I mean, chat? Normal sibling things. Good day! Are you still alive in there? The warden? What? Hello! If you want to make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. You don't bring food for the dead! You don't bring it to the living either! <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, still alive! 
And don't blame me for the, for the delivery guy screwing up. Can you go grab something on the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you later. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. No, wait. Wait, wait, come back. He doesn't. God damn it. Okay. That's weird that there's a warden. A warden... See, wardens are typically implied to be, like, you know, guardians of some kind, right? They're guarding something. And usually, wardens is like prison. They're guarding you to prevent you from escaping. <sighs> you, boil, you boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. Oh, some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You use all of it to spike your water. You know to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Oh my god. Well? How is it? At this point, you can feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It's in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. God, that- also the tomatoes look terrifying. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? You wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got balcony key, yo! Why are you with me? But... No, no. Listen, man, we can go separately. We don't have, we don't have to go... We don't have to, we don't have to go... T -t 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 together, right? Like, like, there's no reason for us to. Oh, God. Unlock the balcony door. Huh. Wait, it's like a normal place. You can hear cars and stuff. Hmm. Can't really see squat from here. An ashtray. There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. You contemplate you should take a leap of faith towards the enemy's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't even think about it. Nah, he's no fun. Let's see the set up something to cross. Something to cross. Like a freezer? No. Like a VCR? No. Like a mop. Like a bleach? Like a like a thing? Like a toilet? Maybe I'll take a shower. Not right now, you won't. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Uh, guys, chat, I know too much about this game. Why did I know that this game has like incest? If you didn't tell me that this game had like incest, I would still probably sniff up the like incest, right? I would instantly know about the incest. You can't hide the incest. This thing reeks of like incest. These this brother and sister do wanna fuck. Like bad. Remember when they still gave us food and stuff? Ah, uh, good times. I bet they don't do that anyway because they're scared to open the door now. They can still squeeze something in through the mail slot. Like what? Pasta? Like, like anything. They're just, are they just gonna let us die here? Now at this point, I'd, I'd be surprised if they didn't. But this whole situation is going to, going to be a PR nightmare, sure. But wouldn't they rather we die than talk about it? Nah, cheery. They should come in and shoot us then, or something. Get it over with. Oh, what is going on? That wouldn't look very natural, I guess. I guess. What in the world is going on? What is it? What's happening? Like, why are we stuck here? Okay, so the left shelf had something. The, and the right shelf had something. What's this? There's an old drawing. Same old drawing. <laughs> How dare you laugh at my artistic genius? The garbage you hold on to. Hey, I was proud of this one. Still am. Well, this is still the best thing you, you ever drew. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Get I'm very glad that no one's home to hear my voice acting for this game. Again, like, I, I, I very much expect to be voice acting something like, uh, uh, Kimichi Yamate, uh. Got a wooden blank. And so to, to, to be able to, to like do that without my family j judging me, it's a very good, this is a good time to be like playing as a game. Set down the wooden plank, have a climb. Ooh. Hello, neighbor. The boxes are full of useless junk. So I can't steal anything. Wait, should I take the ashtray? A blunt object. They just... They just peering in. Oh, what the... Oh, demons from hell. Hear my plea. No, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice. God damn it! What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. My voice and everything. Uh, I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Uh. What do you make of that? 
Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Ah, forget this. Isn't it almost time to let's watch TV? What do you mean almost time to let watch? You have a time to watch TV? Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a, ba a bad idea. Seems like a, a good time, actually. Why? Like, why can't I? I'm. <laughs> you may be wondering why I'm hesitating. Why I'm hesitating? Okay, I'm hesitating because I never really know when incest is going to like strike. Right? Sometimes it just happens out of nowhere. You never really know. Nah, the remote's dead. Just push the buttons on the on the TV. Nah, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, what was you? It is! Batteries, batteries. You know what batteries are? Coffee maker? No. Floor? Trash? No. Mom and dad's room? No. This is where your parents fucked, is what, what this character said. This is where your parents fucked, is what L Ashley said. Batteries. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad choice. You'll never be able to wake up now. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow. Amazing. You did such a bang up job. More. Oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. Starting. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now the comfy 53 total. Holy shit. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended to another two weeks. Oh my god. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for continuous- thank you for your consideration to- to the public safety. Sorry, give me one second. I need to respond to a message. Really, really quick. Okay, sorry about that. That's all for today. Cheers! I'm going to bed. You decided to do the same. Oh, God. Separate beds, though, right? Wait! Mom! Where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at the hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom. Not booze, not dirty contaminated water. Nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker. There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results for your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after. Ah, so we drank the water. My parents didn't drink the water. We did. If not, then you'll get to see what, what happens if not. What are you hiding from us, huh? That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley. Please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. Man, I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. How would I lie about this? Listen, this apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You just lays around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore, and I won't answer. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Damn. What the hell was in that water, dude? Wait! Is this story about Flint, Michigan in America? There's there's no way this is about Flint, Michigan, right? There is no way this is a story about Flint, Michigan. Or maybe Ohio. After reminiscing all night, you wake up, as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a, a, a bit. You're wasting calories. Picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. <laughs> Pick up some laundry. <sighs> You're cleaning? <sighs> what a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Yeah, <sighs> come think of it. Do we even have any detergent left? 
That's a good question, bro. Dog. Bro dog. Oh, God. You're not going to get this lean with, with, with your bare hands. You're right, I won't. What about the trash? You're like, look the trash, I know. You're not going to get this clean with, with, with your bare hands. It's just like trash e everywhere. Cleaning up some books. Yes. You returned all the books to the shelf. Now, what else could you clean? Well, I'm doing laundry. Wait, can I talk to my to my bro? Uh, I, again, I'm scared to talk to him. And you're too exhausted to chat. I'm still scared to talk to him because you never really know when they're going to fuck. Again, I just know that this is like an incest game. Empty freezer. So, like, uh, I'm like terrified, right? At any moment, they could fuck. You never really know. A blunt object. What if I just peek inside again? Hello? Satanist? Satan! Got him up! Nice. It's a clean closet. It's either various supplies, such as trash bags. You got the got detergent, you run the laundry. Now what else could you clean? Me! Myself, right? There's no need. Cleaning yourself is a waste of energy. That's why I haven't showered in like years. <laughs> uh, I, I, I should shower it. Mop some dirt, okay good. Oh god, she's like passing out. Uh, uh, you're feeling dizzy. Oh! Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to overdo it. Uh. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like a meeting right, in the, right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need any, any from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering bullets di directly into your brain as a thank you. Jesus! What was in the water? Listen, to anyone living in Flint, M Michigan, thank you. You're soldiering on. You have to- You must show us. What is life like there? It can't be real, right? I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story. A brand new art museum will be- You drift back into unconsciousness. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course. What is it? The shift in the tone of voice makes you strain your ears. No, no. Go ahead. Someone's talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. No, oh, like that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. I can try talking to her, but... No. I mean, yes. But, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, no I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. What is it about? You don't... Leon, Ashley, and... That time to think. Just can't... More... So that's it, then. Now it's wide on both ends. Well, alright. I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? I really don't see why I should be held accountable for it. The faint beep 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 of the drop call can be heard. Ah. Ah. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Ooh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined? Wait, 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 parasites? What's going on here? Oh, because she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. I mean, she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might be something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Dude, I thought I was the only one who, like, did that. Oh god, why am I- why am I- why am I relating to the incest characters? Fuck. Uh, do not relate to incest characters. Now you've been out for who- for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother, who should be on the balcony, right? Hey man, you doing alright? Someone from your apartment is getting hauled in, into an ambulance, oh no. Hey, me too! 
People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please, please, I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in, in a hurry. <coughs> Kill me surprised. They actually got that person some, some help. I figured they just l let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd had the sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when, nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? I don't know. Maybe she went to labor or something. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. What? You don't, why do you... Oh, God, guys. I feel like we're getting closer and closer to, to incense. Now she's thinking about impregnation. Oh, God. Oh, no. She's thinking about the chat. Think they'd bring me food if I got pregnant? No! Nope. Let me finish. How did you even get pregnant in here? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No 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 over my dead body. Oh my god, he's a Siscon! He's seen a little off his rocker, so who knows? He might just end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it's just a thought. Jackass. God, I, I just want you. I, ju I just want you to, like, drip your coming inside of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. Be just too exhausted. About to sleep for a few hours, a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Fun fact, actually. Well known phenomenon. Before you die, your body sends like a chemical signal down to, your, the, rest of, to the rest of your body, telling your organs to shut down. In that moment, when somebody is like, you know, on death's, on like death's like door, they get a burst of like, of like, of like energy. They'll be okay and they'll like feel very normal, but they're actually right, they're actually in, in the first throes of, of like death. It's a very common thing when you deal with like someone who's like sick. So when you see someone who's like, you know, who's been sick for like, like a very long time, who suddenly has like a burst of energy, and the doctor has said that they're not getting, getting better, they're going to die and you should spend time with them. I don't know why I told why I told you that. Sorry, um, <laughs> but listen, this game. Listen, this is a, this is this is a very it's a it, this is a depressing game involving incest. So I have to talk about something, right? <sighs> Dear God, bro, bro, I need the nutrients from your cummies inside of my tummy. <laughs> bro, I need the nutrients from your cummy inside of my tummy. No, you silly lazy bones. Oh no. I'm on the bed wh when my parents fucked. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? But how does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Bro, I need your cummy inside of my tummies. I need to extract the protein from all of your babies. Bro, I need your cummy in my tummies, please. He has unscrewed the lock and is, and is attempted to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other uh, side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? You don't stop banging on the door. I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you. Livy will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Uh, yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door real nice. It'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Look, I didn't fuck this up first. Did, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. See, so you did. 
that absolutely nothing was delivered. <sighs> Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. You know what's very, um, parasitic? Let me get close to the mic for this one. The ultimate parasite? Sperm. <laughs> it's been a few months. You feeling anything? Hunger. You think something would happen to us? W would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? <sighs> Who cares? Me, Ashley. I care. But I don't care nor care that you care. Okay, that's too many carings. Aside from starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I'm gonna jump off the balcony. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously. Let's go. Let's not. Though I appreciate your, your, your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too ro romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground. Together. With such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. If it means we get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been combined to together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? No wonder your girlfriend dumped you. Th those are your plans of a romance. I've always wanted to get into a blood pact. So, well, I, the context, I just, let me just explain myself. When I was a kid, there's, these, there's a series of books called um, Something Something of, of Darren Shan. Of like Darren Shan. And I think that's why I'm so obsessed with like vampire games and like vampire mythos and vampire like stuff. Like vampire media, right? That whole thing starts off with a blood pact, and it, th th that's why Darren Chan is now a vampire, right? With like Mr. Strange or like Mr. Freak Nasty. What's his name? What's like the the circus is being run by a guy who's named Mr. Freak Nasty. That's not his real name, but I do remember his like name was something like that. Mr. Strange Love? No, that's that's a musician. Mr. Freak Nasty. Okay. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that game made me think of blood packs as being really cool because I thought I would become a vampire, but actually, it just hurts. Not that I've ever d done it or anything. I'm not in a cult, I swear to God. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something as... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all the year. Again? I wish he'd just... Whoa, what the fuck? You feel like you should check up on that. Yo, guys, we can eat a demon. Oh my God, yeah, we can eat a demon. Diamonda. My lord, you have come! You're, um... A little smaller than I imagined. Uh, I love it! It's better than, than I imagined. Uh, that's all I meant. <laughs> what do you offer, human? Oh, um, I don't have much to give right now. <laughs> uh, but if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is, um... Is that no good, sir? As you wish, human. My lord! Oh, 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 thank you, thank you. Perish. <laughs> Darkness clouds your vision. You cannot see what's happening. <laughs> By the time your vision re returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. <laughs> so, uh... Am I already delirious, or... Did you see that too? Do we, uh... Do you want to check up on him, or...? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew! She has a point there. She has a strong point. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well... Aren't we? Well, I'm not. Is there something that th this guy has that we can eat? Woohoo! Burglary time! Shut up, let's get in there. Blunt object. Blunt object. Got an ashtray. Blunt object. Please turn it off. Thank God.
that 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 that, that music was so annoying. But now it's too quiet. Uh, maybe uh, maybe I shouldn't have turned it off. Uh, 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 oh God, I'm not good with silence, guys. The closet is big enough to hide in. Why would they tell me that? Uh, why would they tell me that there's a hiding hole? Hmm? Hmm. Tell me. Uh, the, on the table sits a book titled Demon Something for Dummies, Volume 66. Now, did they actually have 665 volumes before this one, or... She asked the important questions. But what, what I want to know is... Who... But what I want to know is who the hell wrote it in the first place. Undisclosed. The author must be shy. Well, either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep a focus on the, on the task at hand. The bathroom smells of feces, and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Nice way of saving yourself on making more assets. Smart move. Make it just smell like ass. You know that, like, you know, that, like, one video of that guy on a game show who's, like, in the, like, dark, and he sniffs the, like, thing. He's, like, smells like ass, and it, it, it like, dings, and it's, like, <gasps> it's like that. Both the fridge and freezer are empty. Cleaver. On the counter sits some cooking equipment. While losing the jacket's pockets, you find a wallet with 66.66 bucks inside. Now I've got a real moral dilemma here. Selling a dead man's wallet will you split with Andrew. Duh, aren't you a sweetheart? You got three to three bucks. I'll use some of mine to treat you something. I'll use some of mine to treat you something someday. Maybe. Oh god, oh god, please, please don't. No, pl please don't like that. Oh god. Guys, oh fuck. Uh, guys, I went on the wrong path. Okay, visual novels have this like term of like, you know, you have like certain flags that you trip. I tripped the, the, the incest flag. It's over. It's over. I tripped the incest flag. It's just as locked as your door. So. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. Oh my god. Oh no. What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill a guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. <laughs> Oh, you want to eat him? Isn't that what you were in, 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 insinuating? Or? Nah, I was just making. A, I was just making an observation. Nah, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we, we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing w w with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food, though? And before that, you can't tell them a demon killed them. Really, that'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Oh, we're doing it. All right. All right, sis, let's do it. Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then. Let's find something to butcher him with. Oh, my God. You didn't give me coming in my tummy, so now we, are, we, we have to eat a man. Got cleaver. You never gave me tummy. You never gave me coming in my tummy, so now we have to eat someone. Okay, this is your fault, Andrew. Coming in my tummy. Did you know if you swallow on an empty stomach, you'll shit yourself? Come is a very strong laxative. Hmm. So, um, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop off the cultist's left arm. Next up is right arm. Oh my god. Oh my god! We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No, can't you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile. Uh, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Oh my god. Wait, clean supplies. Yeah, yeah I have supplies in the, uh, in the uh, closet. Yeah. I know where the supplies are. Here. And you must have returned this here. Got some lots of bags. Oh boy, we're gonna have a good meal, guys. Nice, happy meal. Dear God. God's right leg. Can I talk to you? Small prob a small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Ah, crap. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over? Uh, I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Yeah, see, if anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags or... Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! Oh my god.
Dude, these two are gonna fuck? <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> no. uh, don't make me laugh at this, please. I have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the, the, the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in this freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Got his right arm. Got his left arm. Yeah. Andrew said he'd deal with this. Uh, yeah. A hidey hole. Yeah, a little high hidey hole. Yeah. Andrew, uh, you have fun, okay? I'm gonna cook us uh, up a nice meal, Andrew. A very nice meal. Oh, boy. Place seven limbs in the freezer. Now, which one do you want to eat? Yeah, okay, let, let's think about this logically, right? If you're right-handed, you've got extra meat on your right limbs. On your right side, right? Like, if I look at my body, right? Yeah, I would eat my left- I would eat my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my- I would eat my dominant side. The arms, however, have very little meat on them, right? I think... Because you're starving, though, right? Okay, because you can't just overfeed yourself on the first day, okay? You overfeed- I, I, I keep hitting the mic, sorry. If you overfeed yourself on the first day, you're going to die from refeeding syndrome. So therefore, you must eat the smaller limb first in order to slowly acclimate yourself to eating more and more meat over time. I'd do really well if I was stuck inside of a jungle. And maybe I'd be terrifying to be stuck with. Left arm. Alright, time to cook! You fry some meat. Jesus fucking Christ. Dinner's ready! Uh, right. So, what do we have in here? What? Cock and balls. <laughs> Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up, eat up, eat up. You first. Mm. Huh? What? Oh, you already, uh, uh, okay, uh. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, uh, right, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cookie. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. He, be he begins retching. No, you don't. <laughs> Swallow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, um... <clears throat> I understand now why people have been thirsting over this character. All of it. Well, well. Well... Well, uh, how is it? It's, uh... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked a plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll leave it, all right? Just give me a minute. On your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Oh, good boy. God, I, under I, I, I see, I, I understand now. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I'm sad that I understand. But listen, I see the appeal of a, of a dominant mother character, right? Some, uh, uh, aka the dummy mommy archetype. I, 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 I too am a fan of like that. <sighs> Good boy. I'm so proud. <sighs> Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear, I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited s set of spices left, but w w what do you think I should try next? Uh, I, I don't... No. Maybe coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm out to bed now. Night night! Yeah, good night. Hey. Ashley. If we, if we ever get out of here, you really should go get your head checked. Huh? Just a thought. Sweet dreams. Like, th this is a two-person job. It is not just the, it's not just her. She's not the only one who decides to eat the body. We both did. We're a team. Some might say a couple. Some might say a couple. Inside the freezer is the cultist's torso. The head is in the fridge for some reason. Guess the freezer ran out of space. Why don't we just take the head back? Well, it, like, like now the head is gonna be like you know filling the uh, the entire thing, no? And like you know, it's 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 going to rot. 
I imagine like raw brains is not something that you want to leave outside for too long. Now, uh, again, this is a uh, uh, this is a stream safe game because there's nothing sexually explicit about this, this, this game. Okay, I just want you to know, though this game is dark and though it has weird topics and though it involves incest, I can stream it. It's not against terms of service. Yep, that's the only thing. That's the only thing that I that I, that I care about. If it's not against terms of service, I will gladly watch it. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. Again, sorry, I keep making noise. Sorry. Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. At least I thought she was a friend. So, are you gonna be a boyfriend? Uh, gross. No. <laughs> I should teach you a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. Oh my god, she's a brocon. I'll make her think twice before stealing from an another woman. Oh, yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person for that matter. <laughs> Screw you! I'm the most person's lady in the world. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of one of the crates. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Seriously! Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave us sitting there all night. Th thou sure. Let's not. <laughs> Uh, you should ask her to to hang out then. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Lele, what a, what a nice nickname. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. Uh, she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a re reminder how to do it properly. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let out when she promises not to tell on us. Huh. Do it, Andy. I guess. Ray! Oh, you're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Bitch in a Pox. If I heard if I heard like an eight-year-old say the uh, the bitch in a box, I would do a double take and be like, what the fuck is going on? Like, where'd you learn that? Actually, funny, funny though. My niece is learning bad words. She said shit recently, and I was like, oh no. It's starting. It's happening. I hope... I hope me talking is not the reason why. Sorry, my, 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 my controller died. Oh, gee, thanks, controller. You suck my dick, why... Suck my dick, why don't you? Sorry, give me one second. The controller's still dead. Come on. Move your body. Come on. Make it happen. Come on, now. Come on, please. One day you'll be a bitch in a box, and your friends will, t will take turns pissing on on the ground above. Jesus Christ! What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. Okay, clearly the sister is the fucked up one in this relationship. She's a very fucked up person from day one. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, buddy. Finally! Huh? W what are you doing here? Surprise! I wanna hang out too! Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? N no? Why? <laughs> uh, just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way! She said I went to say with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? Yeah, why is this kid so, like, scary? I mean, she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed or...? Oh, uh, I... I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Dear God. Child, you've got to run. She is fucked. God hammered, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, chat. Chat, uh, uh, I think... I think I understand what's what's happening. This child is insane though. Why did they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in I literally can't do it, dumbass. Oh that's some tools at least. Huh. Even though it's this flimsy? Yes. I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? 
Dear God. A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful in this situation. I sure can. And it's gonna help us get into the warehouse? Okay, yeah, in that case, no. Uh, Lele, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing. Let's keep looking. Use the back of the hammer to pull the nails. Okay, what about the the ramp? <laughs> wow, it, it sure is a <laughs> kinda kinda dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Oh, you're such a kid. Huh? Andy wants to play too. Y you do? What? Oh, uh yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean it's fun every once in a while. <laughs> You totally want to play too, you child. I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred. Count to hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two. Alright. Let's alright. Let's find a a good box to shove her in. You still wanna do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. Th that's perfect. Lele, uh, you promised! Now hurry up, before she's done counting. Oh my god. This is a bad, bad box. This container is already full. Chad, this, this child is terrifying. This crate can't be closed. Like, genuinely terrifying. Jesus Christ. I don't know how I feel about this. In a weird way, you start to see her psychopathy, right? Or maybe her sociopathy. There is some, there is some pathy. Like an, like an incestopathy. You see, this seems like a, a good hiding spot. The first, let's decide which, which box the chapter is in. I know which box. Ooh, now this will do. This is, there's any lock on it though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't? Place a stick or something between the rings. I'll keep it close. Won't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have a leverage to... But do you not? Here I come! Oh crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. <laughs> Let's hide. Hide, hide. Come on. Oh boy, I can't wait to kill someone. Where do we get a stick anyway? And if Andy picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet, Andy, why do you go along with us? I guess this'll do. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The the stick? No, who do you think, dumbass? No, uh, she's fine, I guess. Never say someone's fine. Never say a woman is fine. Never say another woman is fine, especially in front of your sister. <laughs> That's a great sentence. That is a wonderful sentence. Mm. You really can't. Found you! Both of you! Who hides in the same spot? Idiots! <laughs> it was my spot first, then you're it. No way, Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yeah, yeah, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. <laughs> my hiding spots are the, are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come, come, come take a look. Um, okay. Goodbye, child. You poor, poor child. Let me save right here, just so I don't face the consequences of my actions, right? I don't want to deal with the consequences of my actions, so let me save just beforehand. Think you'll, f think you'll fit in here? It seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo. Who cares? My mom does. She got mad if I... Hundred! Oh, shoot, he's, he's coming! Hey, hey! Uh, uh, okay! Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Uh, hip! Uh, what was that? <laughs> I got you now! It's too weak to throw you off the lid. <laughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out! There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up, she's putting up a fight! <laughs> I can't breathe! <coughs> Is she alright? <laughs> Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen! Let her out. Lele. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. <coughs> Come on, just... Just... Just let her out. What? You believe her over me? It's not... It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine. You let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <coughs> Everyone likes her better. But you like her better too. Bet everybody does. I already know. <coughs> I bet you gotta ha have a girlfriend that spent time with me. Of course you would. Of course you'll wanna fuck your sister. Now come on, I already told you. I I don't want... 
<laughs> and, then, and then you were able to hang out with me because mom told me to. Well, that's... I, I mean, maybe she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and I'm a psychopath and the doctor said that I'm gonna I'm gonna become a serial killer and I'm older and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lele. You you dumbass. He fed into the delusions. The delusions. Prove it, liar. Ah, uh, I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so. Not even my own brother picks me over here. I knew it already. Did I not just say, <laughs> la 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 la? Talk sure is cheap. God damn it. <laughs> Ashley. <coughs> there. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes. Oh, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that? You gotta stay there until morning. No, please, <laughs> Ashley, let me out, please. <laughs> Ashley, wait, don't <laughs> go. Ashley, please, Ashley. Ashley, you awake? I am now. Uh, okay. What is it? Nothing. It's just. God, what the fuck did we do? You still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How you like this? You out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. That's what we're supposed to do, huh? Call the warden and let him know he died. Uh, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it, even though we know. Yeah. I we wouldn't have to admit. Have had to admit we were there. We could just told him to, you know, go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What? What the hell? Do we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine. Let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I, uh. Whoosh, whoosh. There goes my magic wand. There. I've absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Uh, gee, thanks. We'll see you out of the holes in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Uh, this is like some extreme circumstances stuff. Listen, chat, I'm not saying I would eat you too. But if we were stuck on an island, chat, I would for sure eat you guys first, right? I would be prepared. The moment that I know that we're stuck there for a long period of the time, you're all dead. Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. This is Flip Michigan. <laughs> First they locked us in for months, and then they wanted to feed us. Is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity? I don't know, Ashley. Uh, there, there, there. You know, I, uh... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I need to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. Spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just... Uh, like... Cutting, kept cutting around and pulled it off. Like some... Plants. Uh, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. I can't... I can fucking sleep. Uh, Ashley, it's... Come here. Oh god, fuck, no chat, okay, this is, okay, just, again, ooh. if you don't know what's going on, all I know about this game now is that there's cannibalism and, and there's incest. I think we're about to learn where the incest comes in. We're gonna see where this ranks in between Oremo and the Bates Motel. This may be actually a, a new spot on that CL. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, hmm, yeah, hmm, yes, yes, hmm, yes, hmm, yes, uh, you guys want, maybe not, don't share a bed? I don't know what's wrong with you. Are you so unbothered? I don't know, I can, I, I compartmentalize. Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers, haha. <laughs> no? Ashley. <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? 
and you. Oh God, chat. Oh no, no chat. This is oh God. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Oh, <laughs> oh God, why am I doing this? <laughs> Andrew, Andy. Oh God, why am I doing this? Chat, chat. Why am I playing this? Why am I playing this? I. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wah, wah, mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Holy fuck! You shut your whore mouth right now, you whore. Make me, you little bitch. <laughs> Forget this. Make me stick your dick in my mouth. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't, I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't stop myself. I could not stop myself. Chad, I couldn't stop myself. I couldn't stop myself. I could not stop myself from saying that line. I could not. I could not. <laughs> ah, forget this. Hey, Andy. Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lele's quest for something. Or another. Remember? Why bring this up? Is this just another one of those? I don't know. Can you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy s situation. Then we can unpack it all later. Why not? I don't think I will. Personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist I've been up to. Alright, ju just a thought. Listen. Therapists do help. Take care, of your take care of your mental health, guys, okay? Take care of your mental health. You do not want to end up like these two. Presumably, when they fuck each other, you do not want to fuck your sister. Go, go to go to a, go to a therapist. Let's just let's just let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. If they throw us in jail right after, I don't know which is worse: withering in, in, in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Oh my God. Ah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our, of our actions as well? Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled, Andy and Lele, and the escape from the coffin. Episode 2. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. What am I doing with my life? What, what, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing? What, what am I doing? What, what am I doing? I could be I, I could be a normal like you know citizen in society. I could, I could be a normal person, right? I could just be free out there, right? Instead I'm doing this. <sighs> well, one day I'll shove them. <laughs> you make me you you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients, and you're feeling mighty better today. Dear God. Dear God. What have I done, chat? Chat, the, the amount of sexery is like insane. There's an insane amount of sex go, go, going on. I feel the vibes, chat. I know the vibes. Hey, note. There's a note stuck to the door. It reads. Awaiting thy arrival back at the cultist slayer, Andy. Oh, I knew he'd come around. Now for a moment there, I honestly thought this was going to be a suicide note. Well, no matter. Let's see what he's up to. This is just a playtime, Fray. This is just a playtime, Fray. In a sick way, it's just her making play out of this. Because I guess in her mind, I mean, you're trapped in such a hopeless situation. I imagine being in a situation like this is very traumatic. And so you, you, you just have to do something, right? It's like that was it it's like Stockholm syndrome. Except of you know, instead of being you know instead of being nice to your captors, you wanna fuck your you wanna fuck your siblings. Yeah. 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 The freezer is full of delicious meat. Yum yum yum. Maybe I should take a shower or something? Maybe I should wash can I wash my my uh, my filth away? 
Let me flush. Wait, if the water is tainted by parasites, right? If you flush... Okay, so... I don't know if you guys do this. Whenever I take a shit, I, I put paper on the bottom. On the top of the water, so it catches my shit, so no water splashes up my butthole. Because the, the, the water is cold, right? So instinctively, when the cold water hits my butthole, I cut the snake too early, right? So what I do is I lay the paper there, so it provides a soft landing for my poop, so the water just like vibrates off to the sides, right? But imagine, in this scenario, I would be the only one to not get intestinal parasites, because the water wouldn't splash up into my, into my asshole, where the parasites would then live. Think about that. I'd be the only only survivor compared to all to, to all of you, easily, hands down. Okay, dearest brother. Um, is that the freezer? It's called Toyso. Yep, head is okay. So nothing's new about that. Uh, okay, let's uh yeah let's uh let's go play. No, <laughs> no, just just no. Hey there. Good morning. What you're up to? I'm looking at this demon something instruction manual book thing. You're brave, given things had turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something, com we'll have something in, uh, in, in common then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to, to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, they wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the occultists did. But I, but I do think this is our best bet for now. So, what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? But I don't know that either. Nice. I just barely woke up. Look, give me a minute. Says your demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we, don't we share, don't, don't we already share uh, enough? Oh God. On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll, we'll figure something out. Let's just have a ritual up for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading, reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. All right. Just replace the candles on the floor for now. Okay. Sure. Got two candles. Got one candle. Replace one candle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Done. What, what now? God, she's so excited. She's like so like, you know. She's so... She's like a dog. But like, not a dog. She's like... Y'all ever heard of a hellhound? She's like a hellhound. Now we... Still alive and kicking, are you? Oh, fuck. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Uh. Uh. Yeah, hi. Hello. Yeah, one of my guys isn't answering. The widow one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. Uh, fine. I'll check it after my round. The one's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just, just, just shut up for, t for two days? No, oh, shit. He's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough. Go solemn at our door. All clean, all, all, all clean us up. He's still gonna find a guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No. Go before he knows we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get, get to be that corpse if you don't get going al already. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck sis, oh fuck sis, oh god. Clean up, clean up. What are you gonna do? Look at clean? Get the mop, you dumb bastard. Oh god. Oh fuck, oh fuck, mop, 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 mop. Moppy time. Hey bro, what's cooking? No, no, listen, it'll, it'll be a trade. I told you, I'm not interested. I've got some good books in here. I'm sure you'd like to read them while you jack off. Oh, I thought you said it's fine, literature. Oh yeah, it's real fine. Like how? You'll let it see for yourself. I'll trade one book for a pack of noodles. We'll change them via a mail slot. But maybe it's a genre I don't like. Read me a sample. Does it have a big titties? Like hell I will. Did you want me to get in character too? I don't want to go into this blind. He knows what, what kind of crap you're, you're reading. He's for sure reading incest hentai. There, there's no way that you want this, dude. 
Just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Ashley, I think each, each book is worth one of those multi-packs, at least. Why is it that you're always such a problem? One book for one pack of noodles. One ten pack. Push them in one by one, and then you'll get the book. Listen here, you. I'm the one holding all the cards here, so I decide what. The pointless negotiations go on and on. Good job, bro. Oh, boy. I can't wait to clean up this dead body here. No oh, fuck. Clean the body. Oh shit, maybe save, just in case. Oh fuck. I'm not efficient, I'm not efficient. Good, 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 good. Ashley, the wind is- The wind is coming! Hide. You hid in the closet successfully. Greetings and salutations! Huh? Anybody home? Oh great, another suicide. What the? How'd you get in here? Oh my god, Andy! Well... He's a loving brother, at least. <laughs> ah. Mm-hmm. Magic doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Le Lele. Let's go play. Yep. Ah, sheesh. I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Mm -hmm. The best of us, you, you would say. The best of us. How's the body doing? How's, how's anything doing? Dear God. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was, a I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. Alright, I... Uh... Ooh, uh, look here. Got key to room 405. Okay, well, uh, this is going in a way that I didn't really expect. At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley. Oh god, don't put your hand on the shoulder, man. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever, is it, what, whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. What's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. But no, about, you know, no doubt be obvious, we did something. Once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's the best we dis disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of, of a situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to go find mom and dad. But saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. Oh my god, that's even worse! I, okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch it on us to, 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 to the authorities. Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine. Whatever. You're going to be this flippant about this? It isn't the authorities that you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? You threatening me? I am not going to jail. It's just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're gonna take this to your grave. Even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off! Who do you think you're talking to? Ah. It's... I'm stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half a, of a dead guy in a freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the word about it. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom and dad. I don't have my so-called friends anymore. 
Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. I'll come fling food up her, up to our balcony. It would be quite a feat to throw something up, so, to throw something so high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. True. Your brain takes a lot of calories. Although the myth about a chess player eating as much calories as, like, say, Michael Phelps. That shit ain't true, dude. Now, have you seen Michael Phelps, dude? That guy could eat the entire McDonald's menu and still lose weight. <laughs> but it's alright. Because Andy is here with me. Oh, God. I, I, I bet you Andy was her, like, pet name for when he was her boyfriend. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry, give me one second. Had to make sure that uh, uh, some, some uh, my family came came to the door. Even though he feels like th th threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Dude, these are two smooth brain characters. See? The only way you get into this kind of situation is, is if you're both smooth brained. Can't lose what you don't have. Ooh. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's get the hell out of here already. That, that's all it takes? That's all it takes is to leave is just that. Really? That's all it takes. What, what about the meat? Okay, chat, we're gonna take some supplies, okay? Can we take anything? I don't know, like, you know, toothpaste or laundry? What about the laundry? Dude, the, the, the tapes. Let's make a call. I don't know, coffee? Can I do anything? Let's take the drawing. Right? No? No, nothing, nada, no, nothing. I didn't expect this game to be going this way, by the way. One, I didn't expect the arcane angle, right? I thought this game was going to be very grounded in, like, something weird. Um, I mean, too fair, like, what, you, you, you can't, how do you, how do you, how do you, like, what, how do you predict what is going to lead to incest, right? You really can't, like, like, you just can't predict how the story is going, going to, like, go. And then, uh, on top of that, it, it's like... Like, why is there like a mysticism angle to it, right? But it's not bad. I actually like it a lot. I'm... Let me rephrase that. I like the general idea of this game and the story that's trying to go for. I... I'm not saying... I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> look, look. We have the uh, fuck off carpet. Notes on the door reads 1x0, but it's crossed over. 1 times 0? What? Notes on the door reads 2XA, 1XB. Oh, oh, 1XO. Like blood types. Blood types. The elevator is, is it out of order because of course it is. 401 is open. Got key to room 302. Hey. Notes on the fridge reads. Notice from now on, AB types won't be given supplies except if it's someone important. And no, the label from 302 being hot doesn't count as important, so stop asking. Half eaten cup of noodles. Wait, what? Looky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Ah, oh, crap. Are we, are we on it? No, it looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh. Let me see. Great. There's an another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. No, he only had, had a key to the cultist room and the walkie talkie. Ah. Huh. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work, work in pairs or two. It's not like they have anything to do el else than to keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Found fourth floor key. Hey, to open the door, I'm assuming. Various documents detailing the selling and acquiring of organs. Huh? I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, goddammit. Okay, why is she the brains, huh? She's a crazy one. It's a toilet, there's nothing of interest inside. Okay, take that back. You can recover a lot of nutrients from, uh, um... Piss. Yeah, from, like, piss. In fact, so many nutrients that I have to piss myself. BRB. What a cursed set of streams that I've been doing. What a cursed day. It went from such a happy day, Capybara Su Su Apremacy, to, to this. Well, what's it when to do a deep now? Go to third floor. We're gonna go see room 302. Apparently she's hot for some reason? I don't even know what that means. Those on the door reads 1XA, 1 blood type A, but it's crossed over. The elevator is, is out of order. So the 302 is right there. There's a door here. Why is there a door there? A nose on the door reads 2XB, they're still alive. Hey, what's up? The fridge is full of food. Uh, hello. Looks like someone gave up on assembling the furniture. 
I can't blame you. you. You're probably starving to like death. Kinda hard to. A nail gun. Doodles and drawings. Hey, hey, hold up! Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out! We found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong! Get lost! Huh? What don't you understand? You... Don't? W w want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why do I want out? I got free food and play games all day long. Yo, I'm so down. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, 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 wait. That should bring you food. Of course. L literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely? Oh, Ashley. Fuck you. Get out, both of you. Leave before I make a scene. I will kill you. Absolutely kill you. Hey, did I give you permission to go in there? Well, that was something. Look, we got such different treatment. Why did I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Okay, dude, she's dead. She's dead. Why did you say that she was? She, 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 she was pretty. She's dead. What? Whatever. It's okay to leave her there after she saw us, though. Probably not, but you go in there swing your, your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. And the second one comes in and shoots us. Ah, so hopeless. I think your best bet is to use the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Eh, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist's room, we've got a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince a lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just, let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Okay, dude. Oh, come on! So ugly am I that sh I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't... Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loading around the house? Oh. Yeah, okay. Fair point. I wouldn't let them... Anyway. It's my turn now. <laughs> Wait. Beer be sorry. Alright. So now we gotta prep the, the ritual. We can't go to the second floor. We're just gonna get shot. This ritual will now be complete. Maybe close the door too? So, what is the ritual exactly? Let's read the book. So, what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just, I'll just redraw what that guy had, had, had already drawn. They seem to work. The rune is faded out. How do I get blood? Need blood. The rune is faded out. Need, uh, uh, I, I need a bucket. Yo, I need a bucket! I know where to get a bucket. Right? Bucket. 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 Oh god, how do I draw this? Bucket. Where's my blood chalk? Wait, what? I should just take- I should just take a- I should just take a blood sausage and like draw stuff, right? If my child ever takes like a blood sausage and like starts like drawing and then starts like speaking in like Latin, I'm gonna leave that for someone else to like deal with. So it's not, it's not my problem. No. Okay, let's, I don't have any tools. I don't have a single tool! Wait, there we go. Wait, wait. You double check at the one if the one also ha has a gun tucked away somewhere. But all you find is the walkie talkie. Useless. Uh, I don't know. This will hear if the other warden tries, to, tries to, get to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal. At that point, we're screwed anyway. Hey, what, what do we call the warden over with us and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with, with one stone. Though he'll come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Ah, uh, let me think. Got walkie-talkie. Well, as that, you dip your fingers into the, into the dead warden's wound. Got blood. Let me think. Don't worry, bro. Let me- oh, le let me- oh, god. Satan! I have an idea. Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. Huh. Alright then. Let's go convince her. Oh my god. Yeah, she, she, she knows how. She knows how. That uh, named kid is like probably dead by now. Oh, is there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. 
But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on the way. Yeah, wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. What if I just do it now? Do I just lose? If I do it now, do I just lose? No, I can't. Alright, all right. now we have to convince her. Time to convince her to do our dirty work for us. Check the- can we check the cameras? No? I feel like we should check the cameras, right? Third floor. Yo! You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Oh my god. Huh? Ooh, what do you want? Hey, get off of me! Jesus Christ, Andy. What's gonna happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, pl please. I'll do it. I'll tell him. I'll tell him anything, please. I just want to be there for my WoW raid, please. Season season of Discovery is about to drop. Oh, God. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Eh, hello? Huh? huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh... Care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess a widow really croaked. Um, <laughs> nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. Alright, good. Let's go. I'll look over now. What do you think she'll do? You won't do anything. I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep it quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. It's, she does not want him to fuck her. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Lele, catch. Andrew throws you something. I thought he was going to throw the, like, cleaver. And I'm like, dude, that's the, that, that, that's the one thing that you don't want to do. Her hands are gone. Got lighter. You're about to finish the ritual. All right. Well, uh, it's going crazy. Uh, you have no time to be roaming about now. So light the candles. Play the, play the music. Music. Turn on the audio? Yeah! So now what am I supposed to- Oh god. Oh, uh, something's here! Who are you? I can't see! You You asking me my name, human? Uh... What do you offer? Oh, yikes. Oh, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for his name. I'm here! Kinda of dark, huh? No, no, I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shock. The warden reaches for his gun. Uh, him! I offer him! What the... Oh! So, uh... Well, how is it? Human with tar-colored soul. I give you this. Got unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream. To gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you! Tee <laughs> The entity has left. You're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, all that happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its, demons, in its demon pockets. But no matter, the wind is dead. If I have even one clairvoyant dream, <laughs> that'd be cool as hell. Decide not to linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a viscous pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. Indeed you did. Lele, there's no reason why you wouldn't believe that, right? Of course you know that your heart is a mess. Next to a cultist apartment? Demon trinket. Wait, can I use it now? Got the key to second floor? Got gun. At last, time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot a, a, a lady though. I was, okay, I, I know it's bad, bad to say, but I was thinking of the same thing. If I shoot her now, right, it'll guarantee that they get together, right? It guarantees it. Andy, what the fuck did you do? Sadly, your plans are splattering the, uh, the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How... How, how on earth? I thought you were holding her in place! Well, I let go. Why? 
It would take a while if you just wouldn't say anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason? What are you getting at? You'd say she was pretty. Uh, I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that a lady is dead right now? <laughs> Guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. Last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. Even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine then. Good to know. I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. Get a dig your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. <laughs> now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your pr pride straight. Your dick in my pussy. <laughs> My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me! Blow it out your ass! I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No! Shut up! And screw the neighbor lady. And that knows where you back to fuck off my back... Off my love life, Ashley. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What, she told you? From the tattletale. You're better off without loose lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was wheedle a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. Oh my god, when she needs me. What is going on? Not me, not me. I didn't, I didn't, I did not self-insert. I did not, I did not. Chat, chat, listen, I, yeah, I get very into the voice acting. I get very into the voice acting. I get very into the reading. I did not self-insert as Andy. Oh god, oh god, this is gonna come bite me in the ass, isn't it? I did not self-insert as Andy. Please, chat, I, I, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please, just ignore what I said, please. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet it with someone. I bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. <laughs> I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where did that come from? I... Fuck, what a prime example of... You! Just you! <laughs> you would! Uh, you would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. Just for you. I can. I I can, just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call, just like the way it was way back at when. What? No! Screw you, Andrew! Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to with you. Well, ask me this. What do you want then? We'll see. She said, if you'd listened to what I said, you'd know I. Why'd you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spent time with you for the past three months. Well, why aren't we friends anymore? Of course we are, I just... <sighs> Forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. Nope. Answer me. Answer me! What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh no you don't! What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you! Isn't that what siblings do? Oh my fuck. Oh god, they- Oh god, they- the Guys, they uh, dropped it. They uh, dropped the sibling line. Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. Dissolution of responsibility. Narcissism. Classic. Classic- uh, Classic symptom. The inability to take responsibility for one's own actions. Neither the consequences, nor... Th but only, only the results. Only the rewards. Only, only the good stuff. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you! You make me do shit, Andrew. You try to bastard the ball by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock- Ooh, isn't that crazy? 
Who the fucking cunt choked? <laughs> Cry sleep to that? Cry to sleep to, to that, Andy? Oh, my poor Andy. So, that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true! You chose to do it. And you chose me! You chose me! Me! You backpelling fuck of a brother! You chose me, you did! You did! <laughs> sorry, I have to take a, a quick call, sorry. Sorry for that. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it! <laughs> you won't! You can't, cuz I'm the only one you can talk to! When you can't sleep at night, and you can't take it, I'm the only one who, who can make it go away. Fancy that. When you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would, uh, like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like- Ooh, did. Of course not! I wanna leave this apartment before, before we get caught! With you! Can we go? I would like to go too. The thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you just throw an another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I mean, such a scene, too. Yeah. So I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll send you here and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a, with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay. I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Well, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not gonna be just the two of us, then forget it. <coughs> I don't... Give a shit about... I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what's it matter? As long as it's just us. You're saying you'll behave. I'll behave if you behave. Is that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Aha! That's right, the quest continues! What do we need in this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so... Spineless. I hate Layla like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay here and die with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you. But you're so exhausting. Ooh. Guys, I don't like all the implications. Every night, she comforts him. Every single time, they're, they're, it's, I like this. He likes her. She likes him. This is all a weird... This is okay. This is this is way worse than like anything that I've ever seen before in my entire life. Not not like worse as in like bad. I'm like worse as in like dear God, what were they on when they made this? Right? It's like it's like it's like how Bates Motel is like bad, right? You know what I mean? Like it's bad. It, it, it's it's not a bad show, but like you watch Bates M M Motel and you're like, oh God, this is this is bad. This is this is worse. This is worse than Bates Motel. Now, okay, so so the tier list in terms of like happy to like what the fuck is going on is Uraimo at the top. Second last is Bates Motel. Last is now Coffin of Andy and 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 Lele. That's my and everything everything in between is like all all of anime. And then Soda uh, Soda Online is like somewhere in there. Like you know what I mean? You have Soda Online. You have like uh you have uh, uh no game no 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 life right. But the coffin of Andy and 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 Lele, as well as Bates Mo Motel, they are the floor. They're hell, right? Above them is, above them comparatively is heaven. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this this conversation. Yes, oh, I've got the keys to the second floor and also the wind's gun. Surprised you didn't shoot, shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Let's let's get out of here, Andrew. Oh, because it's the coffin of Andy and Lele, as in the coffin of their old selves, as in AKA. Now they're really just gonna, now they're really gonna, you know, get really into their like fucked up side. Right. Dead of stone. Your happiness is immeasurable. I already checked. There's nothing in there. Snooping around the ladies' bathroom, were you? Had to wash your blood off of me. Oh, right. Excuse accepted. Thanks? She's gonna be late for her WoW raid. That's the craziest part. 
Think about it. Bro, where is she, man? Oh my god, look, look. guys, this is this is hardcore. Look, 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 look at the wipe. Pew pew pew, or maybe it's bang bang. No no no, we are not gonna bang bang. There is no bang banging in this game. There will be no bang banging in this game. None. None. I refuse to, to to bang bang. Let's go back to the fourth floor just to make sure. That we didn't miss anything. Did we miss anything? No? Dead bodies, everything. Looks like the CD player broke. What a shame. What a crazy fucking game. And again, you like you gotta really commend the storytelling in that like it's a bit like a a, a, a a dark fairy tale, right? Where it's like everything's all fucked up and like the world is is like fucked up. And so by comparison, what these two are doing and like what the what, 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 what the implications are, are maybe a fraction of like how fucked up everything is. Right? And like it's a, it's I think the artistry of this game is the juxtaposition. I, I'm really trying to get like a serious uh, analysis of this game. It's the juxta it's the juxtaposition between like what is happening to them, the parasites in their bodies, the way that you know the government treats its its citizens who are you know most in like need, how we're basically experimental guinea pigs for them to figure out what's like going on, C categorized not by name but but by but by blood type, right? How the power structures in like place allow wardens to basically you know trade favors by having sex with the with, with the people that they imprison. Juxtap juxtap juxtaposed with the incest, right? Juxtaposed with the incest. In a way, the incest is like the least bad thing that's like going on here. In a really fucked up way. And it's fascinating to, to see that like angle taken with that story. It's fascinating to see the way that it's written like that. There is some real artistic talent with this. It's as if... It's like if it's like if, it's like if the author of like Ori of like Ori emo was like a really was like you know Edgar Allan Poe or like something right like let like is basically what what would happen. Oh, also in that list is his follow up anime, which is about again his sister, but being an anime artist. Era manga sensei. How do I know these things? I just I just do. Ah, look at the open window. Great jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances at that. Ah, damn it. Is it like a rope or something you use to climb down? No, I got ropes right here for you. I'm sorry. I just, I just, that just came to mind. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, someone's still alive inside 203. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter anymore. We can use this like, um, a uh, curtain though. What do we climb down the window using the, the using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're gonna secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh, yeah, and I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Will that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Oh, no, it won't. You guys have something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's leave it up at the window for now. Got carpet. Need something to secure the carpet with. The nail gun. That's what I need. Fit floor. Get the nail gun. Everyone's, you know, I'm sure that the neighbors don't mind that this person's dead now. So whatever. Got nail gun. There we go. So now we have a nail gun. Pew pew pew. See, so okay, so the gun goes bang bang, and then the nail the nail gun goes pew pew pew. Did, 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 I hope you guys like my literary my literary analysis of a game about this content stuff. That was a I tried my best there. The two of you used the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. Doesn't look safe. There has got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. <sighs> All right, you, 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 you first then. Damn right, I go first. I am a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Wait, we're free? Like that should work? No way in hell are you climbing back up. But what? What if I forgot something? That's yeah, forever lost. Too bad. Uh, wish you told me that before. Wait, but maybe I should have checked the like, room, right? Maybe for like for the image. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town and then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh, it will steal someone's identity or something to con to continue our lives. It's really hard to steal someone's I identity. I looked into it as like a curiosity thing. I am not trying to, but I figured I might as well learn. To, like just in case, you never really know, right? What if one day I get, you know, inducted into like a government psyop and like I am now Jason Bourne, right? But like Stick's thing, right? He's like, him, it's Thing. He keeps changing his name. Now he's Stick. Then I'd have to know how to steal someone's I identity, right? 
it's really hard because for the most part, your number is tied to so many documents that you'd have to basically go into the government to change everything. However, it's really easy on a local scale. On a on a on a large map on a large federal scale, it's very difficult. On a local scale, it's very easy to walk into any place, say what your name is, and basically just continue their uh, lives. You just need to be someone who's like moved there or something, basically. Easy peasy, huh? Then, as long as we never come in contact with law enforcement, we'll, we'll live a quiet life and die. Oh, also, you need to also be paid in cash. You got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping down a buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will, will drop their, 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 their ID. Then we'll, then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere, too. Like, even then, I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out. Lest we all, lest we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. Oh, we eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's, it's, it's anything but, but funny. How can you do, do anything else but laugh? Everything's gonna crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to, to be out of there too. And otherwise, I'm a hair away from a panic attack, thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the, um, friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Suppose I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? We'll hope you do. We'll be handy when it comes to avoiding, um, certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. Okay, can, can you, can you, they are way too close for comfort, guys. Oh god, oh god, chat. Oh god, he's, oh god. Why are we playing this? Why are we doing this? <laughs> you get on the bus and drive the hell out of here. Vroom vroom, motherfucker. End of episode one. Why am I playing this? Uh, wanna save? No, fuck you. Now, there's two episodes. This is an early access game. Two episodes are done. The third episode isn't ready yet. You finish up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to, to catch up with you. Which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. You know, as if there's something now or non existent. Just let me check. Ugh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here? Anyway, we're almost out of money. Why are you trying to light a newspaper, dog? Technically, I have money. Yeah, because I gave him money. Right. I just can't use it without giving anywhere, without giving away where I am to, to the bank. So no money then. I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. God damn, I just want to stay at the hotel. What do you need to know who I am, huh? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out, I don't know. Boo hoo. The motel's just fine too. That's where all the sisters. That's where all the siblings go, go the fuck. <laughs> Listen, after BRB, um, I'm, I'm gonna go grab some food before it's gone. My brother came home with some food and with my dog too. My, I'm gonna go see my puppy as well. So I'll be back in just a moment. Give me like two minutes. I'll make sure that she's doing fine because she's playing upstairs. BRB. You didn't think I was gonna leave you forever, did you? It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. Nah. What? I think I left my gun back in the room. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey, now, we can't both... We, we can't both be constantly shooting ourselves over every little thing. True. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the uh, damn thing. Yeah, at least it's within the, the motel. I, I I thought she meant inside the actual like first she the first episode. I was gonna be very very worried if it was in the first episode. Why are they spending money at, at a fancy cafe, guys? If you're on the run for like crime, you should definitely spend your money at like a very cheap food place, or just buy the ingredients and get like a hot hot plate and just like cook it on on the go. I know I'm basically trying to like negotiate with like a psychopath and a little bitch who loves his sister and the sister who loves her like. But a, a, a bit too much. But hey, I think about everybody. There's a bunch of call girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh my. 
Maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash? Maybe uh, it'll be tax free to boot. Say another word in the back end. Sheesh. Learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, jackass. It's so out there, I can't, that I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even want a phone right, right now. I'm all yours. <laughs> I mean, would you honestly God just backhand me? Just like that? No. Not right here, anyway. Wow. Okay, wife beater. Ah! Oh, wow, oh my god. Wow, they're really advancing in their relationship. Hey, oh my god, what the? You need to the backhand that ass later in bed. <laughs> ah, don't say that. It's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks. <sighs> what am I doing, chat? Chat, wh wh why am I playing this, chat? An after a coffee shop. It's difficult to imagine the aroma of a warm, warm cup of coffee with trash rotten right next to you. Oh god, what's wrong with me? A pot of plants sits, subsists amongst its cigarette butts. Hey, what's this? Fuck off from there! What? Uh, dude, I'm a customer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm there. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just went shopping. Ew, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? You say this here is better, it's better than usual. Jackasses, uh, window shopping, you fucks. You poor fucks. Huh? What? 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 Where's this? Uh, what? Staff only, it says, and it's locked. I swear to God. I did not look up anything about this game, I swear to god. Recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Oh fuck, I didn't read that, sorry. I uh, clicked it by uh, too fast. Mixed waste. Number two, uh, over here. What's up here? Two, unemployment office, one blank, minus one, club six FU. Six fuck you. Okay, well that's a 666 thing that we, uh, that we have. Bad, that's that little unidentifiable small object thing. Uh, that's weird. Very weird. I don't know what's going on there. Then you got run over by a car! Just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. Hmm. Gee, thanks. That's a good- that's a very good uh, point, though. Yo, we can go live in the sewers! Like, you know, like... There are actual sewer people that live inside the sewers in, like, nooks and crannies where it's mostly safe, but they die because of flooding. It's actually a real shame, actually. It's really awful. Um, I, I thought I'd may maybe... Uh, sorry, that was very depressing. Uh, f f f f fuck you. This isn't the room you're staying at. Thank God for that. The putrid stench wafts, wafts from within. The vending machine offers all kinds of enticing possibilities to waste your money on. Don't waste it. We need the money, guys. Hey, chat, we need the money to escape from here. Are you tired of living? Inquires the ad. Inquires the ad. Ask your daughter if euthanasia is right for you. It's like that meme, you know what I mean? You guys ever see that? Okay. It's like that meme, you guys ever see that meme image about that whole person who like made a project about the youth in Asia when they, cause they misheard what, what their teacher said and their teacher actually said like, hey, please do a science project on euthanasia A soft drink ad, there are three new and exciting flavors Limited time only, try them now or miss out forever Oh, caramelized apple and cinnamon, I wanna try that We can't avoid any nonsense right, right now Oh come on, it's just a couple of bucks You can have that, or you can have dinner, it's up to you uh, it sucks. It's limited time too. Dog. The bug is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. Oh, at this hour. So we can go there later. I'm assuming with the uh, w w with the uh, trinkets. This is our room. Not now. I'm trying to catch the news. This is gonna, there isn't going to be anything about us in there. No, no matter how many times you check. Whatever. Did, did you find a gun yet? I also pack your things. We have to leave in the morning. It's a paper from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile, worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, total waste of money. You know what? It's true. But it is good enough to at least wrap your gun in so no one sees it. Nice socks, packing my stuff. And you've been holding newspapers ever since you arrived. Wait, usually these things are pretty free, you know? There's no pillow. Chat? Chat, there's no pillow because they sleep on the same bed, chat. Oh my god, they sleep in the same bed. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. 
Only to then have a panic attack every other night. Oh, right. His panic attacks. Panic. Oh, sis, my dick is hard. The closet is empty, except for... Reclaimed your gun. Though it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The wood's gun is yours now. Oh, sis, sis, I got hard on help. Oh, <laughs> God. If, if, if anybody records this, I'm gonna sound like a sicko. Just the YouTube video, I, I, I may have to put a little... Like, a, like an 18 plus warning on it. I'm not really sure. There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. It wasn't it us, but they didn't carry us. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Hey, get your fat ass out of the way. Ass? I think you, I think you meant my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. Move, you cow! Whatever, wanker. Hey, you! Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so wet. Have you tried toxic soda? It's water, but worse. Now three new flavors. Awful, gross, and nasty. Try them today. Mmm, toxic soda. <laughs> Tastes like life. <laughs> I don't know why I'm drinking this. Alas, I cannot watch the news off of your fat tits. But it's like Chad, like... He admitted that they're fat. Would you mind getting out of the way, dear sister of mine? <laughs> That's a crazy sentence. That's a crazy sentence to have both of them in there. I am not fat. How could I be starving at... Ha! How could I be after starving for so long? No, you're right. But your tits are fat, and they're also in my way. Apologize! I'm sorry that you can't understand I'm trying to watch TV. You're so lucky I love you too much to shoot. I appreciate it. I would have, I, I, I'd appreciate you too if you moved a little to the left. You're supposed to say you love me too. I do, now fuck off! And you pretend not to see you. With your fat tits. <laughs> Look at my fat titties. Look at them. <laughs> what am I doing with, with, with my life? Hey, what's up? Shower. Hey, look. Toilet. Pee, yes. Drink some clean water now. You throw the laundry in the washer. So, what, what, what now? All done. You're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook. I thought that said. I thought that said cock for a second, and I was like, well, I guess she's just straight up admitting it. I cock. And I was like, w well, I guess so. I cook and I clean, and I'm a feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob? Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, he's pissed off. He's pissed off. Those fat tits aren't, aren't gonna save you now, Ashley. <laughs> I should've known. No, what are, you go what, are you going to what are you going to do about it, Andy? You're gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? No, oh, come on, I'm kidding, it's all in good, good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. Uh, it's just a nickname. Get, get, get over yourself. It's the one thing I ask of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. Uh, I don't know what I was... I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh, guys, oh, it, guys, we're veering into really risky territory here. Really risky? I need to double check the Steam store listing. Is this, is this isn't listed as an adult game, right? Okay, good. Chat, chat. I just said chat. <laughs> chat, I want you to know this game is not listed as an adult game. This game is not listed for adults only. This is a. I can play this on stream. Things are going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm so awful, huh? You wanna see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I just show you how awful I really am? Go for it! Though you're gonna find me a lot less accommodating than an Andy! And now to some less important news! One of the quarantine departments has had a bit of a situation. Oh fuck. Nothing major. Just the fire that burned the whole place down. They really died! Yes, everybody! A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? 
Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismatched mess, better buried into the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try our Toxic Solder. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavors. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say drink our trusty, our trusty bubbly poply, which happens to be a sponsor. It doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for some more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed. Did, did, they, did they leave the oven on? They said everybody died. No. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Uh, they must think we died too. And all the evidence of our um, escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. Okay, maybe not the fridge though. I've I've read that fridges are surprisingly fireproof and that you can kind of like hide in them for like a while. Don't I don't listen to me. For the love of God, don't don't listen to me. If you're in a fire, just just like get the fuck out, okay? Don't don't do not try to fight the fire with a with your fridge. I'm just saying. I heard that the fridge is a passable, like, barrier, because it, it's mostly insulated, mostly. Oh god, I'm gonna be responsible for someone dying, I'm gonna be in the news, fuck, I'm gonna be in the news. I'm gonna have to change my VTuber AGAIN! Why does, why does everybody die?! I wonder about that. Yeah, you've heard of it too? Okay, okay, maybe do listen to me, maybe. Thank you for, thank you for backing me up. And thank you for being an accomplice, see? So now I can throw you, I can blame you now. I wonder about that. And also, wait, welcome, welcome to the stream. Oh god, maybe I should... There's, um, uh, 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 uh there's, okay, there, there's a content warning. This is all, there's, there's a lot of incest going on here. You, you may want to back away. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it'll all work out. That still leaves us homeless and just just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a, a, a bit longer. Maybe the, the late night news will have some more information on the fire. Suit yourself. I'm gonna go sleep alone. Me, and my fat tits. Good night. Wait, can I take take laundry? No, shower, please. We read this game over and over for the past four weeks. Oh god. Oh god, you're the you're the target you're the target audience. Okay, now can I we're doing a survey for everyone who would who would who admits that. We're doing a survey. <clears throat> have you have you ever watched Ori Emo? Aramanga Sensei. Have you ever watched Ori Emo? Aramanga Sensei. Have you seen No Game No Life? And have you seen Sword Art Online? The the targetist. <laughs> you are the targetist. Did I check, check check the bed? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The double pillow. I I saw the pillows. I knew what was going on. You can't hide that from me. I know. Yeah, three of the four, and I know her evil. <laughs> I knew it. What did I say, chat? What did I say? I knew it. My list was accurate, down to a T. Down to a T. You ever seen Bates Motel? Bet you did. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Yeah, no spoilers. Oh god, what's, what's going on? Someone has entered the room. What? Holy fuck. Yeah. Only really like no game, no life. Okay. Okay, I, I thought you were going to say Ori Emo is like the, the best shit ever. Yo, bro, we gotta go, bro. Wake up! Wake up! We've gotta go! Uh, get up! I had a vision! We're about to get killed! We've gotta go now! Wait... But the laundry! I have to shower first! Do we just go? Wait, maybe just save. Just, 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 just save, make sure I don't... Wait, don't, don't load. Save. Just make sure that I don't miss anything. Good, good, good. I have the gun, right? I do. Okay, good, good. But that vision is probably going to save me. Alright. Uh, don't. You told me it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. Well, I lied. Fuck your soda. Not yours, Andrew. What do I even put put up if you for? I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not made, we're wasting m m money on this, and that's final. I think they're not blood related in no game, no life, though. Unfortunately. Un unfortunately. 
<laughs> I knew it. We're all, you're all the target. You have been targeted by this, 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 this game. This is your jam. So, uh, wanna stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? What I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky, saying here. You know which they, uh, which uh, direction they came from, right? Assuming any, anyone shows up anyway. They will. I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. Wait. And wait. And you light up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent too. But by the way, I've noticed. <laughs> it didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? You. You fat to the cow of a whore! I said enough! Quiet you. I thought we were hiding. Yeah. Okay, that's. Mm. You can take a screenshot of like every single cutscene, it'd be very sensual. Woo! <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you were expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? The same guy? The same dude. D don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry, uh, didn't we chop the guy up and store him in a freezer? Ashley, come on! <laughs> Seriously though, I guess that's more where he where where he came from. You think everybody on the Twitter like the incest game, am I right? And then you saw one clip and you just couldn't go past it. Yeah, see? That's what happened to me too. It was both on Twitter and like and like Instagram. Me too. The moment that I saw this, I was like, yeah. Like I have to play it for the for the for, for the Monday Madness segment. What do you, what do you suppose he was, he was off to? Why sex and drugs party with demons, duh? Why asking me? Whatever. Should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what this cultist look like. Is, is, is that true? Uh, fine, you go. But come back soon. I, I don't want to leave her. You're Andrew. I, I don't want to leave her. I, I, I don't want to leave her, chat. I don't want to leave her. Chat, I don't want to leave her. Oh, good. You're not going after all. Well, I, I am. I just... Do you see which way he went? In, into the alley, right? I'm going back. I am going to go back and die. Right? Can I? Can I just go back to sleep and like KO and die or no? Laundry? Anything that he... Can he do anything? Can he do anything different? Oh, yeah. You totally have nightmares as often as you claim. Aha! I know your secret, you sick fuck. You love her fat tits, d don't you? Oh, you love being smothered by her fat tits. You keep hoping there'll be something useful in these papers, but, the, but there never is. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you. I knew. I knew you love those fat tits. Monsieur, the crap. The vending machine office here, Malaz Apple, and Cinema Soda. You wonder if you should buy Ashley some after all. Yes. Got caramelized apple and cinnamon soda. Yeah, see that? Okay, chat. You know how like visual novels have those like flags that that you go through? I am now pushing the flags towards incest, right? I've done everything I can to go for the for the incest angle here. Have some soda. Hey there, I got you something. Oh, is that? You handed the caramelized apple and and cinnamon soda. I know. I just I disappoint myself too. I can't believe they got me with their limited time only BS. Yes! Oh, thank you. Let me try some right now. Ashley opens the can and takes a sip. Well, any, any good? Mm, you can have the rest. So it's gross too. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> oh, it, tastes, it, it tastes like what nail polish smells like. Take that back. Nail polish is amazing. It smells so tasty actually. The, there's a lot of chemicals where I'm like, oh man, I really want to down it, but like I know for sure it's it's going to kill me, right? Nail polish is like one of those that like smells sweet. I don't know if that's like normal or uh, this is why I don't do any drugs because I know I'm going to enjoy some things that I really shouldn't. Oh, waste of money. Not at all. My curiosity is sated. Chemical burn my tongue aside. I really am mighty pleased with this random act of kindness. What do you want in return? My virginity? <laughs> Right? 
listen, you, you, you understand. It's almost like we're two peas in the same pod. In which case, oh god, it's incest all over again! Jesus fucking Christ, that's enough of that. <laughs> I mean, if you go to a bar and a dude buys your drink, isn't that the logical conclusion? Which bar is this? I should go sometime. Actually, that doesn't make sense. I doubt the bar browsing bitches are very virginal. How judgmental of you. See, it's an another sip of soda. Ugh, that's nasty. You know, you have to finish it. Just the... Just... Oh, that was... Never! It was a gift! Ooh! Chat? It's working. Are you, are you going or not? I just want to say... It, I just want to say that if a guy from your vision does show up, don't do anything. Why, yes, Andrew. I'm actually not brain dead. Believe it or not. I don't. Anyway, just, just hide if you see him. Will do. Bye-bye! My, my. Someone is feeling chatty tonight. He went into the alley next to the shop, right? See you later! Wait. But I want to keep talking to you. Wait, but... You're the only one for me! You're the only one for me. Is there anything else that I can do? It's a good thing that I went went back. See that? Yep. I'm on. Uh, listen, chat. We're gonna go for the eye ending. Ending eye. Eye for incest. <laughs> Wait, onto the road! No. Yo. Wait, hold the door, please! Run, sucker, run! The elevator leaves before the third cult cult cultist can board. <laughs> Curse you, brats! Hmm. Okay, I, I'm assuming it's safe to go in, right? Nothing wrong. Wait. Cardboard recycling. Apparently approved by the devil of the graffiti on the walls, anything to go by. That was a voice crack if I've ever heard one. Stretch, throat. The I, the capital I. It's asking for a passcode. Not original. The elevator arrives. Of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being anything else. You didn't entertain the idea of it being anything else. You literally didn't. Do you know why? I'm a genius, Andy. Yo, well, what up, guys? Uh, what? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed, supposed, supposed to be here? It's a private event. Shoo, shoo! Is this the sex and demons party? Isn't this the demon sex party? What? Oh, I hope not. My wife would, my wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such such thing. I do have a wife, and suck you, suck you by art real. No, there's no demon sex party. Dude, suck you by aren't real. Ah, well, just regular demon something, man. I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, listen, who the hell invited you? You don't even dress properly. Right. Uh, sorry, I didn't know there was a... There was a... Uh, I didn't know there was a, a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. Can't believe this. They literally... They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means six sides is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing your neighbor was part of these guys' low club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. I think guys actually summon demons, though. I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You said you should get inside somehow and find out. Yeah. Any clothes? Nah, what do I care about what those clowns are up to anyway? Decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with the smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the under the cigarette butt jar. Got an employee key. Yo, I should tell my sister about this. Yo, sis. Shit's getting real. Do you wanna join me? All done. Just checking to see if you're dead yet. No one has showed up. Maybe it was a vision from some other night? Though if we're leaving this morning, how could that be? Some nightmares are just that. Enough nightmares. This was a- this was the first one ever. What? Really? I have nothing but nightmares. No, no, no. We know your secret, Andy. You don't have to say it. You don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to lie to us. Either way, I'm all good. Go back to snooping on- on the cultists. I don't know how, how to get in though. They told me- they told me to- to- to get lost. I need a smoke. Go have it elsewhere. I have enough of your secondhand smoke for- for tonight. But sis... But sis, I don't want to leave you alone, sis. All right, all right, all right. We're going to make use of every single safe slot. Every single one. Yo. Yo, cupcakes. The drabbest set of drapery you've ever laid your eyes on. 
Someone has left a note. Did you read? To whomever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate! Now the office left. Same shit, different toilet. Sorry, I just had like office PTSD. Holy fuck. That's actually real though. Like that, that's actually real, guys. Chat. There's a crumpled note in the trash. It reads Stop eating my lunch, you animals. Cupcakes. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some, public some paper cups. Some puffer capes. Some puffer capes. A cleaning closet. Nothing worthwhile inside. On the car, sip plates full of cake and a coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. Oh, shit. The elevator is coming up. You hid inside the clean closet. Yeah, this is gonna take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the colour sticks one of the down the elevator with him. Yo. The guy will be right back for the other other cards soon. I'm going in. Okay, wait, should I tell my sister or no? I feel like I should tell my uh, sister my uh, sister my uh, my uh, my sister, you know. Sis 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 Sis, I have attachment issues. No, you don't want to talk to me or fine. I'll deal with my attachment issues alone. I think you have fat tits. Remove paper, paper cups from, from, from the cart. You can certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd also be instantly seen. Oh, yeah. You pull down one of the curtains. Got curtain. Got milk. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. This is the dumbest idea ever. Ah. The cultist hastily, sh hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. You sick fuck. Mmm. Oh, dark lord. That's good. Mm. Guides you into the elevator. How is this car so much heavier than the other? Ugh. Could it be? The weight of my sins? No! Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the. and. a devil. Just act normal. Did I miss it? Shh, shh. Uh oh. I can't see anything from here. Oh, fuck. Ahem. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first cupcakes. It's the music! All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown! This is such fun! Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown! The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. But it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur car. My Ashley summoned something on the first try. Your Ashley? Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I uh, brought the carts down. <laughs> His. Exactly. His Ashley. But someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, oh, can we have some now? Uh, yes. Please enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Where are your robes? Uh, sorry. The thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. Nod, you got your answers. You miss Ashley. Of course you miss Ashley. It should be fine to, to take two pieces, right? I mean, look at how many there are. Wait, I, I should bring some, some back for like Ashley, though. No? He's too busy eating cake to care. Wow, someone is... So, wow, someone is underdressed. These cheap asses offer milk for the coffee instead of cream! Dude, I actually hated that. When I was inside like this like office, again, that startup building where like, you know, I, where I locked eyes with, with my coworkers side by side as we pissed into like a urinal. Uh, if you don't know what the story is, you have to go watch the previous VOD of like, you know, the, the Happy Bar game. That is a crazy story. But basically what I'm trying to say is, yeah, that is, the milk instead of cream was a serious issue. I remember like an email being sent out and the email was, please do not use all the cream by yourself, okay? It got so bad that me and my coworkers, we, we, we found an office hack. We go down to the second floor and we'd use their kitchen instead. Stole their, stole their cream from those three dudes in the back, and the two dudes on that side. Also, the beer tastes taste like piss. Not that I've ever drank piss. We'll, we'll, we'll say something. <laughs> what if I just say nothing? <laughs> so, you drink piss, huh? 
Did you hear about this gathering in the first place? The occult magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. Now, I figured it was going to be lame, but I thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too uh, far away. What about you? Okay, if, if there's an ad in my magazine for like a local, you know, meetup for like, oh, like a cult, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. I've played Sarah is like missing. Okay? People die. Badly. Converse. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I, I thought she, 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 I thought she didn't like it. She. Wait, whoa. whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry. Because the hit, because the hit, because the hitbox was there. Can I? Was anything? Oh yeah. No service room right now. Yeah. No service. <laughs> I'm on a stage. It's like I'm famous. She has begun singing. You are staring. Time to get out of here. So now it's just a party. All right, cool. I'll get it out. I'll, I'll get out of here. Yeah. Thanks for talking to me, everyone. Sure. Hey! Hey! Did we tell? Hey! Did we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did something go? Uh, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that get up. Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Um, uh, good. Good, good, good. I just don't let this have happen again. Ha have a good night. I mean, yeah, it might be dangerous, but for the memes, exactly. For the memes. You can't go wrong for the memes. It's like that time when, when everyone went to area, to area 51 to Naruto run. At the risk of, like, dying. Although, everybody knows that doing a, a Naruto run gives you a 100% dodge chance against bullets. 100% dodge chance. Any secrets? No? Elevator? No? Curtains. Curtains. Can I, can I not grab a cupcake for my... For my dear... For my dear Ashley? Does my dear Ashley really get nothing? No, oh, honey. I mean, uh, hey, sis. What's up? Are you done snooping on... Snooping on the cultist? Yeah. So there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and the treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. It was like... You hear a car. <gasps> Assassino! <laughs> That's him! That's the guy who, 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 slid, who slid a throat to my dream! Yikes. He really just went into our room like... Just like that. You still doubted me? Where'd he get... Where'd he get the key? Should we, should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. My stuff is still in there. Oh, fuck. What stuff? We still have, we sold off most of the junk you were hoarding. Her clothing. I can live without the trash and and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. What about my bra for my fat tits? <laughs> it actually was that. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less in inclined now. Don't even lie to us. Don't even lie to us, Andrew. We know what you're into. By the way, you think you should make the game a bit quieter in stream? I think you might actually hear the, uh, the music clipping at some point. Or maybe make myself louder. Sure, I can, I can make it uh, quieter. There is a limiter on, just in case. But yeah, the 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 volume is just nuts. The volume in the, in the game is just nuts. We'll make it a bit quieter. A tiny, tiny amount. Tiny, 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 tiny amount. But yeah, we're, uh, it's, it's mostly a new sound setup anyways, because I, I had to move some things around. But it should be okay now. Should be. Should be. I mean, even if it clips a bit, it's, it's kind of fine. I think. Because I do like the music in this game, but I'll review it after. Lies as easily as he uh, breathed. Yep. <laughs> you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. There's no random burglary. He's specifically, he's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... And why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. Well, if I was him, I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So now it's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Huh? Hmm, he's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision. Again. And you know this how? 
I know because that's what I do. Duh. Plus, he's using a knife. So there. Listen, Andrew. She called him Andrew. Good. Just trust me. I've I've thought these things through. You sick? You psychopath? You question not why she thought about such things because you're used to it. Now enough dilly dallying. Let's get in there and and pretend we and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll learn somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask. Ah. Andrew, you already know what's gonna happen, dude. My guy, wait. Before that, though, let's take my sister to go get some cupcakes. Hey, sis, I heard you need cupcakes to, ha to uh, take care of your cupcakes. And... Drew... Andrew... Yes? Why are we here? The hitman is in our whole... It's in our motel room. I just don't like the idea of walking into a room where someone is waiting to kill us. What do you, you want to do, then? And why bring me here? I'm not sure. Let me think. Cleaning closet. Yeah, see, I should return, right? Exactly. That's that's what I'm thinking. Nah, I want some coffee. Then, then make some. It's, it, it's gonna be a long night. Let's not make ourselves at home. God, you're so joyless. Ashley bruises some coffee. <gasps> you drink it black. But you did not use any of the milk. God knows it's full of spit or jizz. Yeah, that summer job left you with some scars. What? I have... I... I <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't think I could... I... <laughs> there you go. You're, you're welcome. You have no idea of the hell you've just unleashed. What? You're about this coffee will, will throw a fit when they find others have used it. Then why'd they bring it in? Of, of course people are, are going to... are going to... are going to take some. You're, you're, the, you're the kind of person who to eat other people's lunches, sorry. <gasps> you're that sicko. Wait, sorry. One second. You're that sicko, aren't you, Ashley? I'm the kind of person who eats other people. <laughs> That's actually good. <laughs> oh, you're terrible. And so is this coffee. Use my grounds next time. Ungrateful and contradictory. You wash the mug and, and return it to, to the shelf. My, my. How dare you use someone else's detergent? How very selfish of you, you thieving scoundrel. Never once have I claimed not to be, uh, not to be a hypocrite. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the coffee, weak as it was. You're welcome. I spat in it. Not really, right? If so, I, 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 I'm gonna vomit. There's no answer. Did she? Listen, Andrew, I know for sure he's like happy that she's, she, uh, she, uh, spat in it. She, he's, he's so happy. He's so happy. When you told him, when I was talking about milk and cream, you thought about this in the game. <laughs> oh God, nothing of value is inside. Oh God, the milk and the cream. The cleaning supplies sit in the closet. It is apparent how they could be a, of any use to you right now. Well, what if we just go down? The buttons on this won't respond without a swipe tag. Do we care? Well, yeah, I want to see if there's anything useful I missed down at the cultist club. Why, I'm almost starting to think you want to summon a demon they, f they have failed to call. I won't deny the possibility may have crossed my mind. But only employees have a, have a, have a swipe tag. So I guess so much for that. And let's make a bunch of noise. What? A worker would have to come check on it. And then we can mug them and get the swipe tag. We make a ruckus and it's the police that's going to come check on us. Are there even any workers here at this hour? You know, he's a, he has a, he has a point. There are! I think here comes our victim. Don't you dare. Let me handle this. Oh, uh, huh? I thought I was the last one here. Hey there. Are you are you done below? Um, yes. Who, who are you? We're from the catering. Ah, uh, there was some issue with the amount of cakes. Oh, uh, that. Yeah, yeah. One of them went missing somehow. <laughs> well, that's no good. Mind if we take a look? Uh, what? The cards were already taken by the catering company? Actually, did I see you earlier at the club? Like I said, I'm from the catering. I was here the whole time. Oh, uh, right, uh, of course. Maybe there was just a mix up with the amount of cakes? It's no problem for us to take a look anyway. Come on, though. Uh, oh, okay. Right this way. What the hell are you doing? Shh. Yeah, shut up, Ashley. See, the cards are gone already. I understand. I only want to see if the cake had fallen off somewhere. 
but I'm starting to think maybe someone stole it. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. It might simply be misplaced here somewhere. Did I check the fridge? Indeed I did. Nothing valuable, unfortunately. Uh, I have a beer, but you have to use the washroom really quick. I'll be back in three minutes. I'm so sorry. It's- I'm about to explode. Beer, beer. Now where were we? Let's see, so we got access down here. Yeah, yeah please, uh, look around. Yes, of course. But it was probably a, uh, a customer. Hey, it's not a big deal. Uh, uh, right? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Behind the counter is a controller for the, for the stereo. Yo. Ah, but behind the counter is a, is a okay. So the controller is like there. Gotcha. I could do, I could do the music. Where's the play button? Where's the play button? I doubt the audio is controlled from here. Where then? How, how should I know? Well, we we know because I just found it. What? Well, since we're here, want to give this a go? Would you be up for it? Nah, I'd hate to, hate to summon a demon. Sorry. Huh? Yeah, I'm afraid, dumbass. What do you think I offered? Jesus. Okay, just checking. You're the one who's gonna have, have to have to talk to it. And I see it to get rid of the visitor in that room. Why can't you talk to it? For whatever reason, things went well for you last time. All right, fine. That's because she has no heart. Hey, friend, come here for a bit. Goodbye. You shower after every time you like poopsie. I used to do that, but it got very like you know annoying. I've been I I'm saving up to get a like you know those like toilet attachment a days. But either way, if the water touches my 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 um, my uh, dick, I'm for sure washing it. That is like ugh. Yes, uh, did you find the uh, a cake? Say, is this blood or paint on the floor? Paint. Uh, but when we call for Lord uh, Unknown, it's traced over with real blood. Oh my, whose? We buy it from the butcher shop. Well, no wonder nothing shows up then. Uh, what do you mean? You're something with stale blood that's been sitting on the shelf for who knows how long. I wouldn't show off that either. I trust six eyes methods. Uh, maybe you should too. Maybe you two should focus on fixing your 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 catering. Sorry, I'm starting like crazy. I heard if you offer your blood, your, all your sins will be forgiven. Andrew, you sly dog. Where does it where to say that? Not that I know of any thieves. Lord unknown said. Don't tell me you don't don't tell me you didn't know how much. Some devotee. How much blood do you think it is? Uh, enough to draw the circle, should be plenty. Uh just for fun. Able to it. Dog, that's a lot of blood. I've had blood transfusions, that's a lot of blood blood. That's at least one bag of like blood. And it, it took like eight 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 bags to like bring me back. Eh, that, that's a lot of blood. Great idea. G give me a hand for a bit. You cut his finger w with your cleaver. There you go. Needs all draw the circle at this. Then I'll light the candles. And don't forget the music. You know what the music is. I know what the music is. Turn the music on? Not yet. Do that last. We'll put it last. For now, let's explore. Rummaging through the forgotten items you find. 666 bucks! Yo! Nah. What kind of reaction is that? I was hoping for an ID or a credit card or something. If you're not happy with what you got, I'll, I'd be glad to, to take it off your hands. I'll give you half. Really? Why not? At this point, all our finances are shared anyways. Oh my god! And actually, 333 bucks. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Oh! I. Well, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Zam, Zaddy. God, you're so one note. <laughs> and that note is off key. No, oh, I know you love me. Less every day. <sighs> uh, no, scratch that. Well, I'm glad you got that out of your system. Woman, I just gave you a small fortune. That fact should speak for itself. <laughs> critical hit. Actual critical hit. Thanks, Daddy. Ooh. Honestly, I'm not. I, I, I'm not saying that I don't know, but I know. I know why people thirst over Ashley. Like I, I understood the moment that I saw her. Okay, I felt the same compulsion inside of me. Chat. I know. None of us have, have to lie here. Here, chat, you can be free to be who you are, no matter who you are. 
degenerates or otherwise. The only de and the only degenerates are those who are into incest. You sick fox. She's perfect. She really is perfect. Is your chance to get a signed copy of Demon Something for Debbie's Volume 66? Ah, uh, what, a, what a shame. I almost found out who wrote this thing. What do you mean, almost? It's clearly, it's clearly been signed by... By, uh... Um... Yeah, okay, I, I can't read it either. Even though it, look ju it looks just like your handwriting. Hey, screw you! Okay, <laughs> what about this? You like the, 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 the elevated buttons aren't responsive. You know what's funny is, I didn't know that this would be the actual way of doing doing things. I thought, I thought I'd have to go to the room first. But I happened to accidentally come to the, to the demon side. Which, uh, maybe there was a choice and I made like, a different choice. Who really knows? All I know is, I like this like, choice a lot. Should I be on the stage as this happens? I feel like I should be on the stage, right? That, that'd be a great place to like start. How's it going? Imagine how pleased Six Eyes will be if we manage to sword to summon Lloyd Unknown! He might even get invited to his inner circle. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, real cool. Turn the music on? Yeah. Done. I am sinless. I mean, um, the circle's ready. But I'm sinless too, as I have always been. <laughs> Alrighty then. <clears throat> come out, come out, whatever you are. Hmm. Huh. See, is this even a real demon with something here? No, of course it is. Which is unworthy of it showing up. But maybe you just just got lucky last time. Huh? Or maybe you should try fucking something. Or maybe you should fucking try something too. All you're doing is just standing there watching. That's right. We should all do our best, even if you're not dressed properly. Which might be the reason why Lord Unknown World here is actually. What am I supposed to? Well, what, what am I supposed to do then? I don't know. I got a neighbor. You can buy some robes from the summon. Oh, it's that simple. Just invite it over. Just don't ask us for something for nothing. And, 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 and it'll be fine. She has no idea what she's talking about. But she's the one who got done last time, so what do I know? You know what? Fine. But if it kills me, then that's on you. <laughs> demon, demon, come out, come on out. Uh, come on out? Say it like you actually want something, something to show up. Come on out, come on out. Come out, come out. Come out and don't kill me or her. Nah, the third guy is fine, though. Hey! The Lord Unknown! Uh. Oh, it's, uh, it's a bit bigger than the last one, huh? <laughs> Lord Unknown, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about the cake! The entity is saying something, but, but, but you can't make out the words. Sorry, what? Man, I can't hear it properly. Can you? Maybe Lord Unknown doesn't speak human? Failing to establish the means to communicate, the entity grows bored. Lord Unknown's presence begins to fade. Wait, 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 wait! Don't, don't go! I've got a favor to ask. Do you, 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 you can take that guy's soul. What? Well, it's awkward. It's like when you do a Ouija board with your friends. Then as a prank, you like you know try to stab one of them while they're not looking. And then, you know, everyone's like, Oh, Stick, what the fuck are you doing, bro? You're fucking psycho. I'm like, haha, it's just a prank, haha. And then the cops come, you have to like explain, Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. It's the Ouija board. You think, think gold, that's what ghosts do. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Interesting? You, you said... Yeah, I know what it said, but look, it didn't take your soul anyway. So. So what? So, so what? You bitch! Oh, oh. What was that? Uh, yeah, you watch your mouth, bitch. There's two of us and one of you. This is my boyfriend, husband, brother. <laughs> my boyfriend, husband, brother is gonna fuck you just after he fucks me. Silly game. S silly game. That's how you explain this? That's how you explain this a game, huh? We're gonna use... We're gonna use the adjective silly for this game, huh? That's just, that's what incest is to all of you? You. Answer the census question. Have you ever... Have you watched Oroimo, Aramanga Sensei, uh, Sword Art Online, or... What was the fourth one again, chat? What was the fourth one? What was the other incest one? Oh, no game, no no life. You're both horrible. No wonder Lord Unknown just up and left. 
Because demons, as we all know, hate horribleness. What is this guy? An idiot? Cute game about wholesome siblings? Relationship is how you describe it to people. Yes. Wholesome. Yes. Ashley, you have... You have such fat tits. You saw a pick of the incest part on Discord. Oh, you got spoiled? Fuck. See, okay, don't... Don't worry. You're gonna see a real... A real honest-to-God reaction to, to the incest stuff. It, it, uh, as far as I know, there's no images of it, I don't think. But hey, we've seen a lot of implications. Not really spoiled, just a picture. Listen, man, I, I know you say, listen, uh, s s son, I know you say it's just a picture. But it's you with your dick and your sister. It's not just a picture, son. So it's gonna be new. <laughs> I see, I see. Son? Wow. It's not just a picture. It's a moment in history. It's a symbol of your love. With your sister? <laughs> Did you now just figure it out, you idiot? Hey, it takes one to know one, idiot. Who's an idiot? Asked the idiot. Forget this. Let's let's get out of here. Good, go. And don't think for a second I won't tell Six Eyes what happened. By the way, it's Sean. Fuck! Why? See, why are you... Why? See, your name, okay? There, there are multiple names that are, that are pronounced in different ways, okay? For instance, how do you pronounce L-E-A-A-H, right? I have been scolded three different ways. Because there are three different ways to, <laughs> to pronounce it. And I have worked in a place with three different people who had the same spelling of that name with three different pronunciations. Okay, Sean. Sean H1218. Thanks. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Who gives a shit? With that many eyes, you think he'd have seen it coming. <laughs> that, that doesn't even make any sense, idiot! Why you? Lay, come on. We're going. Leah, Leia, and then uh, uh, Lay. Just like Lay. The, the, the third was Lay. I tried to predict, right? So when I, <laughs> when I meant to... So when they joined my like place of work, I walked up to them and I was like, Hey, Leah or Leia, and she was like, It's Lay. And I was like, Oh, fuck! I'm gonna lay down, exactly, yeah. I'm Sean, and this is my little sheep. <laughs> True. See? Sean and my little sheep. Or Sheen and my little sheep. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sheen, Sean. Sayan. I'm gonna call you Sayan. Good riddance! You can be damn sure we're never ordering from your kidding series ever again. Fuck. Oh, hey, could you, could you get the elevator for us? Nah! Help the amount of times that you've been called Sean the Sheep. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, this this is a safe space. This is a safe this is a safe safe space. It's from Delta Rune? No, not Sayan. <laughs> no god! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to! Anything but that! Wait, is it actually from like okay, I've never played Delta Rune. I've seen all of Undertale and so I can't play it, but I've never played Delta Rune. It's on my list though. It, it's on the list for the for this channel. Uh, eventually. But first, we need to get over fucking your sister face. Out with you! Man, what was that guy's problem? Us? <laughs> whatever. So, let's go back to the hotel. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. So this is all just a side excursion. Well, we didn't make any friends. Demons or otherwise. Good. Now you can focus on what's in, on what's in front of you. Ta-da, it's me! Uh huh. I'll, uh, it'll always be me, like it or not. God, you're such a narcissist. Listen here, you. We know a bit of a situation, remember? The. <laughs> what? Lele, huh? You said back there. I didn't. I said Lay. Only well, because I didn't want to use your actual name in, in front of that idiot. Yeah, I'm fine with Lay. It's a nickname of a, of a nickname. Yeah? It's what I'm gonna do with you later. <laughs> Well, I'm fine with Ashley, so that's what we'll stick with. <laughs> Boo. Whatever. You'll you'll come around. Ugh. I'll wait. Ugh. Wait. <laughs> listen, listen, very clearly, very clearly, the, the the person who wrote this like game, they very much they use a lot of words. Like the the one thing that I commend them on. This writer is extremely good at like tucking away sexual innuendos in every single sentence. I feel like I am writing like I, I feel like I am reading like Fifty Shades of Shades of like Grey smut like fan fiction. But it, it, but it, but imagine if like Mr. Grey and the main character w were siblings. That's what this feels like. 
And I guarantee you there is an incest flavored fanfiction where they find out they're Ashley's siblings. I guarantee you. Guarantee you. Am I going for the incest run? What do you mean uh, am I going for the incest run? That's the only run that exists. That's the... Of course you gotta go for the incest run. What do you mean? That's... I don't believe that there's... That there is no way you can go for a non-incest run. They have to fuck. I refuse... I refuse to play this game if they don't fuck. You mean the I'm Sean and this is my... Oh, she is from Delta Room. This is how you are learned. Sean is pronounced Sean. Oh, that's what you meant. Gotcha. Andy is gonna lay into her. I support. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chad. I appreciate uh, uh, you two for being very um into incest. <laughs> well, anyway, that something was a bust. We did we did get further than the others did earlier. I really think there's something about you. It doesn't matter now. We got a hitman to deal with. We tried your whatever that was. So now we're doing things my way. Fair enough. Let's get back to the motel room. Pick up our stuff and see what we'll see. Nah, what a waste of time this was. No, it was not a waste of time. It was not, it was not a waste of time because I got Achievo. Chat. Achievo! Do you think achievements come, come free, Andy? Huh? They don't. I can't wait to unlock the, the hidden achievement. Fuck your sister. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm like, wait. Go fuck at the park. Go, 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 go fuck at the park. In, in the playground. Hitman's car. The car is locked. This is that guy's car, right? You want to break in? Wake every single person on the premises? Why, why on earth would you want that? Uh huh. I thought you wanted to, you know, off the guy. The, but like, not, not like that. The last thing we need is an audience. Oh, uh, right. Cars have alarms. She's smooth brain. Hey, at least I asked before doing it. Mm, guys, I think. Guys, I don't think we're. Rev I, I, I chat, chat, chat. There's evidence that we're not related because I'm significantly smarter than than her, than her right? There's th 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 there's at least precedent. You peek through the window, but the hitman's nowhere to be seen. He's gotta be in there, right? I, I didn't see him leave. Uh, Ashley, we were just in the basement for like the last 30 minutes. Alright, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Not gonna lie, they are kinda hot. Not gonna lie, I do not care this is a, a video game. Exactly, that's the thing, right? That's the thing, right? It, it, it's because it's it's a game. I don't care, but because they're also hot, it's like double good, right? It's it's if you like if if you're gonna indulge in some fantasy, a video game or a piece of writing, that's the way to do it. And if they make let's see, listen, they knew what they were doing, given Ashley and in her brother's words, fat titties. Okay, fat titties. Now nah, the character design's got me watering f on the mouth. That's yeah, that, that's exactly that's what I said. The moment I I, I saw Ashley's design, I instantly said, I know why everyone's thirsting over. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was uh was was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which if I may add was also your idea. I was twelve! You should have stopped me. So, should I talk you out of this one or No, shut up and follow my lead. You are Ashley. You don't have to tell me twice. That's all I ever wanted. No one has stepped forward to kill you yet. Oh gosh, Jolly Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store had left me parched. Is that so? Let's return to the gas stop at, at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frog amongst the foliage shielded from sight. How's that sound? Huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. L l let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust a staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> All good. Can we go? I didn't, I didn't pick up my uh, things yet. Come on, hurry up. What if I just open the closet? Well, congratulations, you have found the hitman and died, which, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to, to cutting people up, the hitman whoops his, his amateur ass dead. Though given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. The hitman wins and... Ah, uh, yes, the world is much better off without you. However, there's also anticlimactic. You get a free do-over. What if I just say quit? 
What happens? Oh, okay, good. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, give me one second. I do need to go check up on my dog. She's going crazy. Give me one, one second. Not gay or anything, but Andrew. Yeah, he's like. Uh, I do like his character design a lot. I like them both for for different reasons, right? One, Ashley has the uh, choker. Okay. Anything involving a a choker is an instant win in my book. Uh, Andrew just like seems like you're like average like emo guy, but like I I can see the appeal of that kind of look. Definitely. I should get my laundry, right? Got to wash laundry. Maybe take a shower too. A nice hot shower. Right? No. All right, let's let's go. Holding the door open for me. Are we? What a gentleman. Just laying in some fresh air in the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things ready. I already did. You know, if you think about it, a cleaver is probably not a very good weapon since you can only cut cut with it, which is not very effective. True, right? They should have gone for like a sword or something, something that allows you to like stab too, or a screwdriver, which you can probably do like both. You could, however, dual you could dual wield though, right? You go screwdriver plus like cleaver, and you're basically set. Is is he is he coming after us or or, or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner. We'll, I, can, I can ambush him. What? what, what qu it's all bushes. No, no, here. An abandoned shopping cart. Very classy. Is this, is this a good corner? No, it's a good corner. That's a good corner, right? Found a used condom. Yo, you choose not to take it with you. Ah. Wait, Andrew. We can go here. Right here. Right. Right now. Me and you. An attempt? Our server has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close! They're all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Ah, stick the landing. A normal knife would have probably been much better. True. Not gonna lie, I would smash the incest children. <laughs> Are you sure about that one? You sure you wanna smash them, huh? These incest babies? Here, this tree, this tree will hide us nicely. I would do. What are we going, going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave them. We'll go our eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. <sighs> what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it! Oh my god, Ashley, Jesus Christ. Take responsibility for your ideas! She's never taken responsibility once. Except for the demon summoning. They are hot. So th Look, they're too hot. That's a problem. The creator of, the, of this game knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Duh. You making me do it? Again? Dueling as a knife, you've got this. Wait, have they ever even checked if, if the gun is like loaded? Uh, I hear footsteps, I think. Ashley, wait, I've never fired a gun. It's, it's very easy. Not that I've done it, not that I've done that. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. You can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's he's here. I know that you know that you know that I know. Ah, oh, crap. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? I need stop. To see what we're up to? But this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. When idea hits you then. Are you bait? Yo, she's 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 gonna bait. She's gonna bait the killer. Yes. She's, some might say, a masturbator. <laughs> Not that you've ever used this gun, but I might have used this gun. You never really know. Oh, you dirty boy. No, we, we can't do it here. Oh. Ah. Hee <laughs> off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. You're Andrew. Time is gonna play hide and seek with, with a killer and Ashley. What? what? The fuck do you mean with a killer and Ashley? Ashley? There's some bugs in the bush, but not m much else. Nothing. Nothing here. Did I even check over here? Probably. Ashley, I'm coming to fuck you. Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute? Shh, you didn't find me. Keep looking. You wanna die? What if he sneaks up? What if he sneaks up on you? Or... Shoo, 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 leave. Nothing. Nothing here. Okay, we just search everything. Shopping cart. Wow, there he is. Shoot! Oh my God. 
Is he dead? Holy shit. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you right now. That, you would have heard those gunshots from like a long way away. Guys, guns are loud. Extremely loud IRL. And they're very distinctive. You would be such a masturbator for them. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Nice work. Ashley, that's not the thing that you should be saying. Ashley re re reclaims her gun. Okay, thanks for taking. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. You blew your whole load. I, 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 I panicked. This thing is useless now. Well, I, I mean, no one knows it's, 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 it's empty. Ah, uh, I guess so. They sell bullets to this anyone? Oh, do you need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Although I wouldn't have wasted them at all if you had made me shoot them. Are we still playing the finger pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh, yeah. And what the fuck was that? What was what? You running off out of the you running off out of the blue. What? You need an excuse to, to start rummaging through 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 the bushes. Now now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun, and would kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. What if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Ah. Quit your bitching, it all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas, so I can tell you off. <laughs> so you can tell her off and get her off at the same time. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's, 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 who's gonna have a clue? It was us. I don't know, maybe the footprints that you're leaving by stepping on his, like, body and his blood, maybe? Hell, th this guy carries knives with him, he's clearly a criminal. Could be a knife salesman. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got him or something. Ever the Optimus. You know, I put another limiter on the screen, it's actually even better. Your double limiter? You know what it is? Maybe it's everything is just way too loud. Maybe. I would, uh, I would genuinely, honestly, probably like lower, lower the volume in general. It may also be uh, your speakers, maybe. I'm not really sure what you may have, but it could be your own equipment as well. We'll take a moment just to double check. Let's see. Well, at least we sound kind of okay. Nah, whatever. Let's just go before someone else, before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Yo. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over. Okay, that's just great. Hey, but you called her a baby. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Yeah? Oh! Like when they killed the kid when they were younger, right? <sighs> Motherfucker, what for? My driver's license? Oh! Never mind, sorry. I thought she died. Yeah. Hmm. Well, good thing it's me manhandling this uh, corpse then. Well, how come I never said that in the first place? A very dead hitman. Wait, can I still go back behind the tree? D do you do you still want to or no? Like, but that's, we have a used condom, right? We can just wash it out. Ugh, that's disgusting. Dude, okay, do, do, do not wash out and reuse condoms. Ugh. No, that's actually nasty. Ugh. Imagine how like squishy it is. Imagine how like squishy it like feels. How like loud it is. It makes it makes like a scrunchy noise. Okay, okay, just double checking that there's nothing that I missed. Nothing. Well, time to drive off into the sunset, holding hands. Uh, okay, maybe maybe she shouldn't drive. Maybe she shouldn't be be, be the one to drive. There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most noble one reads, "Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you accepted to clean our laundry for us." We're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. Nice. In fact, please don't contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we included free samples of all the new soul flavors from our sister company. Happy Washing, aka the company that was doing the warden stuff with us. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. I'm a dirty, na naughty girl. I've been so dirty and naughty. Wait, what? Oh! This is because of various incidents. Most of them are about your old apartment, both the tainted water and the fire s situation. There's also an article for, from last week about some chemical leak in some other city. Someone has scribbled the words, same shit, in the corner. Meditate mindlessly sits on top of the car seat. Huh. That's a lot of stuff here. Alright, take, take the car and go. 
Vroom, vroom. I'm in me mom's car. Get out me mom's car. Oh. So, where to? Uh, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's... For fuck's sake. Let's mean I say go in one ear and out the other. We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again. Remember? Did I say squirt about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you, th do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. But yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't. But I sure can. Hmm. Eh, no. We still can't go over there. Why not? We, we got pursuers or something. I don't know. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, uh, Andy. Wrong. Andrew. The pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire too? If anything, it seems they assume that guy took, took, took care of us. And that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. <sighs> we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to, now you want to kill our parents. Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. <laughs> I'm way too tired for this. Check the back of the car. Oh, fuck. Wait, was I able to go to the back? It's just that you know very well how, how, how tracks usually sound. So you know it's a bit, bit clipped, which is odd. Because when I listen back to it, it still sounds fine, which is odd. At least when I listen to my own stream, it sounds fine. Maybe the quality of the stream? Not sure. Fine, we'll, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where, where, they, where they live now? Anyway. I know the place, but, not, but I don't re re remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah? Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you d you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's like riding a bike or fucking your sister. I don't know. You always remember the. You always remember. Th you never forget the feeling. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. She's so gonna pull her like her boots. Feet on the floor! My god, it's not even your car! Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Ooh, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. All we got down if we get caught in a dead man's car just, just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Oh god, it's happening. Yeah, I, I checked both seats, but the seat on the left had a uh, mindless meditation. But I, I couldn't check it again. I wasn't able. If there was a if there was a downward dog line, I'm so sad if I if I if I missed it. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said, make me Andy. Oh, meditation, not yoga. You debated me. I was about to restart to hear a line about downward dog. I was ready for it. I, okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. Y I, yeah, it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You pulled a shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I, I, I was honestly just joking around. Well, then it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing's funny to you anymore. Oh, God. Please don't tell me. Do not grab her chin and, and just, like, pull it over. Please don't. I, I have a feeling that's what he's going to do. No. Guys, it's... Oh, God. This is, this is the setup. Oh, God. His hand's getting closer. Well, are you, are, are you, are you going to drive? Oh, are you going to, to the drive or what? I just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumb ass about it. Just drive. No. No, God, the hand. Put it, put it down! Are you angry? 
I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Drive, Andrew. And so he does. Finally. You decide to give Andrew the sound treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly. But you but you won't forgive him until he he does. Typical! <laughs> so while you wait for him to know to know so you're not talking to him, you you fall asleep. You fall asleep? What the huh? You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. You should probably save in new slots just in case you want to change the decision, or if there's some scenes you missed. Oh yeah. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you. Listen. I'm a save connoisseur. You give me a save slot? I'm filling that that I'm filling that bad boy up. Every single slot is going to be filled. Every single one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fill you up real good. I'm not trying to say I'm waiting for the scene, but I'm not saying I'm not waiting for the scene. What's the scene? What do you mean the scene? Listen, I want there to be a scene because like now we're too committed. You are too committed to like both both of them fucking, right? But like It's not TOS, is it? <laughs> Everything that I've read about this game is that it's safe to stream. And if it's not, thank you for following. This is gonna be the final stream right before I get banned. Some red flowers are swaying in the breeze. Just that's it? You also have to back up the safe folder manually like 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 three times. Okay, yeah, that I may do that too, because I'm I'm afraid of things being lost. <gasps> Soul! Huh? What? Who's there? Where are you? Where am I? Is this another vision or what? There's no response. I'm real for that. <laughs> God, guys, why? Guys, we should chat. We should not chat. We should not be bonding over incest. We should not be bonding over incest. Chat. We're respectable people who do not need to bond over incest, okay? We don't need- we don't need this. I need it, but you don't need it. Save yourself now. It's not too late. There's nothing to step on. Oh, yeah? I'll make something to step on. Some red flowers. Pick up some red flowers. Wait, do I still have items? I do. You can walk on these, question or not. Wash the laundry. Does it say anything weird? No. They threw down some red flowers. Nice. Hello. Nice eyeballs. Soul uh, summoned you to can't tune in. What? I'm oh, muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but but we can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, whatever. Just focus on getting out of here anyway. Mm, oh god! Oh god! Uh, it's a multiple choice question. Here we go. Let's go up. Oh god, it's not a multiple choice question. It's one of those things where like, you know, you can go back and forth and like, like now. Ah! Where am I? Everything looks the same. Pick, pick, pick up red flowers. Nice. Here we go. Do down some red flowers. Easy. Easy clap. Hey, you. Hello. Well, you just avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky! Ha! Ah, it's you! I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come! Where am I? And like, yeah, I, I did come, but like... In a dream, I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. Oh my god! It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of a soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to, to, to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. A demon couldn't care less about the love of spat you're having with your brother. That is an. <laughs> That's a sentence that you read and like it makes you do like a double take. Like when someone posts a picture of like them and their girlfriend on like Facebook and, and the caption is like my lover, my star, my cousin, my girlfriend. My future wife. And it's like, oh, wait, hang on. Take a step back, like two words back. Yo, what? That's what that felt like. I just had to do like a double take. Jesus Christ. Oh, you put a space in between. You've got to put exclamation mark register. You know what? Everyone registered. You don't actually register for like, for like anything, but it's always something funny. Gay incest bonding. Why not? You've been doing it for four weeks. True. Honestly, honestly people waiting to watch incest are bonding. How cute. Do we even know how to get the incest thing? No. No, uh, but I don't need to know, right? Again, no spoilers, but in my heart of hearts, 
I know how to get the incest. You don't even have to have, have to tell me. Listen, I I'm a master of incest. It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Saying the future. Ah, yeah, yeah, the trinket you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful. Thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? <laughs> That's like SpongeBob energy, dude. You want you want to see me do it? You want to see me do it again? Sure. I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. Uh, I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Deal with the devil. The devil wears Prada. Let's hear it then. Well, what do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that was it, then... Not yours, Tarsoul. Tarsoul. Is that like an insult or... No, Ashley, that's, that's a compliment. In the demon world, you're like the dummy mommy goth queen, right? Who's then? Just anybody's or? Why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. I promised them something special tonight. If I have you my soul, if I have you a soul, you make my talisman trinket de uh, dream thing work again, work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mine, actually. Wait, 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 wait. She could. She could swallow her. She could swallow her brother once and get a million souls to towards us. Millions. Th billions of souls. Billions of souls with just one swallow. It'd be over. She could use that thing forever. <laughs> but I'll see what Andrew has to, has, has to say about it. He's kind of... Um, I don't know. Something shifting. I don't really like it. Hmm. <laughs> the demon says nothing to that. But it wasn't the right entity to, to talk to you about this. I'll be waiting. Uh, right. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> hey, I see you too, follow Kuro. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. He is a he is a funny man. A very funny man. Him and his previous life. That that shapeshifter him. So how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, Tar Soul. No, oh, fuck, it's puzzles. The entity has left. Why does every RPG maker game need puzzles? Every single one. Oh, wait, 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 let me cook. Let me cook. This, that's supposed to be back up there, so I'm gonna go over here. Got that. And I'm gonna go over here. Got that. Nice. There we go. Way. I'm gonna assume this is give up to the demon, and this is go fuck your go or go fuck your your brother. The door is decorated w with eyes. Enter? Why not? Wait, what? Whatever this is, it looks unfinished. So I can leave when I go home. There's no door and no way to return. Where? The door is decorated with, with, with red flowers. Enter? Yep. Oh. Nothing leads me back to my brother! Fuck! What a weird sentence to say. There's nothing to step on. Hey, a gift! Yo! I choose this route only because there's, there's like a gift. I want the gift. Okay, so now we go over here. We go over here. We need to go find Andy. I'm gonna get Andy some like nice... Uh, let's get save there. Left. If you want a cute scene. See? I had a feeling, right? If there's a present, then... And it makes sense. You don't even ha have to tell me, chat. You don't even have to tell me, chat. I'm an incest god. I was made for this chat. Made for this. I'm not doing that puzzle again. There's still more? I thought, I thought this way would, would take me home. And good god, I'm so sick of these fucking flowers. Yeah, fuck these flowers. Fuck every single flower. Fuck it. 
Fuck all your flowers. Fuck your flowers. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah! Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help. Get, get me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something. Help me. Fuck. I didn't get the present. We're going to redo that because I want the... I, I want the gift. Uh, oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That will screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like, like that. Uh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something. Mom and Dad should be both at work right now. So, whenever you're ready, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, this is, this is a very sensual, this is a very sensual look here. A very sensual look. No, the present. My incest sense has spoiled me. <laughs> I wanted to go back to Andy so much. I couldn't hold out. Yes, you're rushing up Jeff's stage. Good, 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 good. We need more people rushing up and saying some crazy things up on the uh, Summer Games Fest or Summer Games Fest stage. Yeah, he really likes likes to play with her hair. I I I bet he does. I bet he likes to braid her like her like pubes. You only being nice now. You only being nice now because you treated me like like shit last night. I treated you the way you you deserved. I treated you the way you deserved to be treated. Actually, no. Scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. Uh. Ah. So anyway. This episode is titled, Andrew and Ashley, and the home sweet home invasion. Again, the way he holds her face, that's just too much, man. No, I mean, like, it's too much for, like, normal people. But for us, that's, that's, that's what we're here for. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, boo. Uh, no, thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. <laughs> why on earth are we at some park? Free parking. That's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. Ah, we're gonna go back. It's too little. It's too little. It's never too little. Listen, guys. Pubes grow to massive, massive lengths. You can do, you can do everything there. I think what happened is I used one, one too many uh, uh, things. Right? Because you can actually use uh, uh, two very well, I think. You can actually save quite a bit, I, I think. There's a specific way to do this without wasting it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm stupid. I don't really play 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 puzzles. Oh, there it is! <laughs> I knew it. I knew there was an easy way. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I, okay, I, 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 see, I see the solution. I see the solution. Yes. I see the solution. Yes. Okay, so we grab, uh, uh, wrong way. We grab these. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Then we build this. Grab these. Then we need to build the bottom side. Go over to the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, here we go. Let me cook, chat. Let me cook. No, I'm dumb as rocks. How the fuck do I do this? Uh, where? I'm not gonna look. I'm, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Do like this. Huh? There's, a, there's a specific order that you do it in. There's a specific order. I see the problem. I, I, just me. We have never gotten stuck on, on, on puzzles on this stream ever, ever. We have, we have never been like, stuck before, ever. Trust me on this one. Uh... uh Oh god, am I missing a flower somewhere? Is there a very obvious flower? No, I'm just stupid. Wait, but then, uh... Mm, mm. Aha! Yes! The red flowers? Okay, fine. But there's only three, so how do I get that last one? Fuck! Put the red flowers. Fuck! No, no one say a word. Nobody say a word. You mean the face grab? It's too little for for us, exactly. Too little for us. Well, 
Because the key is that you want to get to the top, right? So you, you use one to go down, to go over there to the left to grab one, right? Like, this is the key bridge. Yeah, I think I might need need to go uh, go back. I do think I might need... It. Oh, you get an extra flower before. Oh, you're a genius. You're right. You're right! I, I just saw it. Oh my god, you're actually right. Good call. Uh. Wait, how do you know how to do the, in the incest setting? Uh, uh, chat, I'm an incest expert. I know exactly how to get the ending. Chat, I, there, there's incest in my heart. I know exactly what to do for it. I just feel it. See? Exactly. You, you just feel like I will sense it. Exactly. Just, just follow my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Now there's three of us. Okay. You also have to take the survey. Okay. Okay. Have you ever watched Uriimo, Aramanga Sensei, Sword Art Online, or uh, what was the fourth one? No Game, No a Life, or now the fifth one, Bates Mo Bates Motel. If, if you've ever seen those, then uh, you're very much welcome here. <laughs> this is your place to be. Because now we have two. There's a, I think there's a way to shortcut this, actually. There's a very easy shortcut for this. Go here. Go here. You don't even need every single path. But I do want this present. I need incest. I need incest. Found the present. Inside is... A lemon muffin disguised as a birthday cake. <laughs> oh, man. Kinda takes me back. You get lost in your thoughts for a bit. See, chat? What did I know? What did I know? What did I know? You're an incense! You're an incest expert! That's not the thing. That's not the thing that you want to... 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 To, ad, to admit. Oh my god! Yosuga no Sora! Visual novel! I didn't... I... I... I didn't... I, I didn't even want to mention that because it's so goddamn niche. It's so goddamn niche. I can't believe that you also did that. Every single route. I can't believe... Chat, we are in the presence of a real expert here. This dude probably fucks his sister on the regular. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Holy shit. Oh god. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for that to be your, your, your first thing. What's crazy is they're talking to a Lele AI on character AI. Wait, it, it, it's actually there? Holy shit. See, okay, to be fair, it makes sense that uh, th th that's there. This, this uh, game has been wildly popular for very obvious reasons, right? If you're a, Yos if you're a Yosuga no Noah Sora fan, then you know. And if you don't know what it is, you have to go, you have to go like play it. You can watch it too, because there's also a, a, a hentai about it. Yeah, I'm fucking right right now, but I guess I'm her brother in this situation. <laughs> You get lost in your thoughts for a bit. Hey, L Lele! Ah, I'm home! Oh, what's that? I got there. Again, they're like younger. I'm trying to do like a younger voice. My teacher... My... My... My teacher gave it to me. That's... That's nice of her. She gives one to everyone on their birthday. It's not special. She's not getting paid to do it, so she's gonna be out of a way to try and make you smile. Uh, hey, Andy. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that when it's your birthday, you have your classmates come over and stuff? When it's my birthday, we can never afford anything? Uh, I got some pocket money. Wanna go buy a cake? Nah, it's not like my friends would show up anyway. Funny thing, you watched Aramanga after you stepped on a nail and you were thinking you would die from tetanus while watching it. Jesus Christ. Hey, you want... It, now, if you watch Yosuga no, no, no Sora, you're guaranteed to like die from it, right? That show is insane. Well, that visual novel, but also that like hentai ad adaptation, it's nuts. They're always busy. They're always busy when I ask them for anything. Even, even when I haven't said the the date yet. Sorry, I'm stuttering so much. More cake for us. I don't know. Come on, let's go get you something. <laughs> okay. That was good. Frozen cakes? Now quiet, you. I'm on a budget. Yikes. 20 bucks for whatever the hell that is? No, thanks. You watch as any scouts the cakes, and he looks at the price tags, and I press the button too early. Sorry. Say, I've got an idea. How about instead of a cake, we get the muffin value pack? What? 
Those muffins taste like lemon extract and sadness. If I put whipped cream on them, you'll have a dozen cakes instead of just one. Uh, he just can't afford a cake. Okay, fine. But then you'll also have to watch Hyper Gore Splatter Brains 2 with me. That's age restricted. You'll have to ask Dad to. No, we still have it. We do? I thought we, we were running it months ago. Yep. Mom said to just keep it at this point and never to go back to the shop again. Uh, what's short term thinking? Well, whatever. Deal. Oh, God. Chat, we have gained more and more hearts. Every heart you like get is getting us closer and closer and and closer to the good ending. Route Route I. Help you find a whole Nazi for disco dis, Discord server. Oh God, run away quickly. The game's Reddit is also filled with not safe safe work. Oh God, I'm not gonna check that later. No way. We were close to incest. Real close. Really close. Yes. Ah! Die, you son of a bitch! No, spare me! I'll never fuck your ugly whore of a wife again! Ah, my intestines! What? Why do you like this movie again? Because I was told I can't watch it. Ah, of course. Well, happy birthday, Lele. <laughs> Aw, thank you, thank you. I'll remind mom to put some money aside for you next year. Nah, that's okay. Nah. I hate this birthday stuff, is fucking stupid. Anyway. Watch your mouth, you little shit. <laughs> you can't just like you can't just say that to like stop someone. Cause like it's just doing the, the same thing. But it is. So what if it's been an, another year? It's all nonsense anyway. Who? Who cares? Well, I for one. Ooh. Dude, this guy is Riz. Holy shit. No wonder he's such a cool character. He's been rizzing up his sister ever since they were young. <laughs> This is how I get banned, Chad. I just want you to know. This may be my final stream. So again, thank you all for coming to watch. This may be my, my, uh, tomorrow you, my channel may not even exist anymore. Now, the last episode of Wixover is actually insane, but that shit's amazing. To be fair, this game has a lot of fan art about it. Some really good fan art. Like, really good artists have, like, taken a liking to this game, okay? Which makes, like, as soon, the moment that you get talented artists into your game, it's over, okay? You are you are going to become a cultural phenomenon. You're like, ah, ha, Dev, rate some of the not safe for work arts. Wait, really? Like, that's an A, a plus on, like, Twitter? I swear to God, if you get banned before the incest ending, you're, you're gonna be upset. You've seen a bunch of incest arts. <laughs> Chad, do you understand what's happening today? Chad, do you understand? Do you understand how psychotic we, we all sound? We all sound psychotic right now. We're discussing incest! Like, <laughs> this is crazy! This game is nuts. Then that makes a grand total of one person who cares. Fine, I'll just buy you something on my own then. And I happen to like these sad uh, uh, muffins, so guess what you'll get next year too? <laughs> what if they stop making them? They won't. But if they do, I'll make my own ju just to spite you. Your existence will forever be celebrated with lemon flavored dough and preservatives. God! No, no, at least get, get the chocolate ones. What? You like those better. Why didn't you say so? At the store. I thought you wanted... I thought you wanted 11 ones? Only only because I thought you liked them? Oh my god, they are in love. No, and didn't you just say you... 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 You, you, you like them? Hello! I was lying, so you could keep playing Koi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'll get the chocolate ones next time. I'm so sorry. I'm so gassy. Oh my god. Nah. These are growing on me. Thanks, Andy. You're my favorite lemon muffin. I'm gonna eat you out later. So you pretend to like me. Nice, nice. <laughs> wish for something. I wish my brother loses all his friends and never finds love. Well, she got a wish. She got a wish. Wow. Uh, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chad, this is getting really close. Oh no! Wait, what? Where did they rate anything? <laughs> I see, I see. You two are are a connoisseur. You don't think they they use conventional social media like a Twitter? I think they did it either on Steam or HIO. They, uh, holy fuck! HIO just just let you post it? Fucking sick. Okay, I'll check it out later. 
I'll try to find a AI source for the okay. <laughs> The good old bad times. Nice! I got a star. I don't know what that means. Okay, okay, so we have a new save there. There's no way to go back, so we let's stop to let's stop the flowers. Yep, sorry, okay, we've we've already be, we've already done this, so I'm saying nothing. I bet you there's a route that lets you do all of these with without having to go back once. What happened? Oh, I'm missing one. God damn it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see if it changes. I don't think this like cutscene changes at all. I imagine the present is like just like there to like convince her. Yep, hair with the hospital. Yep, that screws over. You wouldn't wake up. Yep, yep, yep. God, actually. Yep, yep. Play with her hair right now. Yep, play with her hair right now. Yep. Yep. Yep, here we go. Yep. Same old, same old, nothing changes yet. I'm assuming what I just did was go is going to change something later in the future. Right? When they're really about to fuck, right? For now, it's just basic stuff. It's just flirting. It's just boring flirting, right? No. I want to see dick inside a vagina. There's a whole chat in the Discord server Yuen, that's directing for the amazing a digital circus not safe for it. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. See, but that's you're in heaven right now. No, I think you need to grab the extra flower always. The the cutscenes are are the same. Oh. So it's always the same. Mm. Well, what about the like, present? I guess the present is like just like an extra cutscene then, if that makes sense. Why on earth are we at some park? Free <coughs> Free parking. That's why. Mom and dad live somewhere down the slope. Do they actually? Come on, we only have so much time until mom and dad get home from work. We are you and they won't recognize it as our car, because it's not our car. We stole it. Well, we didn't steal it. We've... If you kill someone and, and you take their stuff, you don't steal it. You're making use of it now. Welcome to the bumfuck nowhere national park. Amazing. Wait, use the stairs. Wait, if you go down the, the slope. Ice cream! The ice cream stand only operates during the height of summer season. Uh, it, that has to be a reference to like, you know, Sardew Valley where you put the horse behind the like counter. Do you know what I mean? I sound insane. I mean, when am I not? Oh, what's this? This way is nothing but more parking spots. Okay, well, put down. Doing those high voices for so long made me lose my own voice. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She does sound happy when she's also talked about their new place too. What's the last name? Anyway, where they got new new names? What do you mean? What's that last name? The name plates on the doors. Did they go with dad's name or mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would, why would they change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. It's just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mister and Missus Graves. The uh, Grayson. Grayson! Wait, Grayson? The Hudson Company! Holy shit. It's just Zelda. Oh my god. It's just Zelda. They're not always the same. I mean, right after you, uh, you uh, get a present. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You've seen Jax fuck a pillow. Who the fuck is Jax? You sound incest. <laughs> Reply to I sound insane. You sound incest, exactly. We all sound incest here. We all sound incest. Ugly Van McHideous. The Shittisons. <laughs> that is a very good... That would be a funny, like, you know, Zelda name. Jones. Keeping up with the Joneses. Aha, here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. Alright, all good. Whatever, let, let's, just, let's just find a way in. Uh, oh, garage. Ah, never mind, this is the back. Oh, come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll fill, a po we'll fill our pockets and go. Correct, I'm very incest. Same, same, same chat, same. Actually, same. Where were it safe? A stick. Hey, guys, it's my cameo. Here, grow some tasty onions. Carrots. Here, grow some scrumptious carrots. Here grow some palatable potatoes. One of the plants is loose. Ah, handy, handy, handy for later. Nice plant. You check under, uh, under, under the flower pot. Got key. Not. There's fuck all under, under the flower pot. 
Some surprisingly heavy rocks. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. Lift her up. There's bound to be something we can stand on around here. Lift, lift her up. Lift her up. Got wooden plank. Lift her up. A stick. Wait. The back door is locked. Place down the wooden plank. I would not pass up a chance to lift up my sister by the ashes. Guaranteed. My in-game sister. My in-game sister. Check the window twice after you put the plank. Yes. Nah, it's still too high. Lift me up. Yes. Well. No good. It's open but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. They'll push you up after you've opened a latch. You're just looking for an excuse to touch my ass. Exactly. I okay, two things. First of all, yes. Secondly, I like I need like I need an excuse. <laughs> now hurry up and find something before I slap you. On my ass or their face? Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh dear god! Chat. They're really obvious about it now. That, my lady, I'll let you find out. Uh, so it's a face. Fine, I'll find something to unhook a, a latch with. Guys, this is... He's gonna dick slap her later. If I dick slap someone, my my dick would demolish them. <laughs> Gustick. Let's see, let's see. Aha! A dick slap on the face. Yum. Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me a hand. I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd, rather, but I'd much rather you just open a door for me. Oh, yeah, that would be much, that would be easier, but then, but then you're separated. Maybe don't do that. Renovations are afoot. You turn the handle, but no water comes out. There's no water inside the toilet bowl. You recommend don't, I recommend you don't try to use this one. Well, what if I want to? Ticking. The endless ticking. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes! To think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning. Marvelous. Breathtaking. These are, but a, these are but a few words I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, let's split up. I, I, I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Yeah, hey. What's something I was wondering about? Right now? Can it wait? A situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. Oh god, there's a later, right? You found a letter. It reads, it, there's a later, right? Because that, that feels like a foreshadowing to like, that feels like it's foreshadowing a death flag somewhere, right? Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Oh my god. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord, I sorted it out for you. Lord unknown? Yes. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? What the fuck? Those are so ridiculously, ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out? I didn't. There was just some pause until I got out of, out of quarantine. Ashley, how the fuck do you think I'm going to go to school? Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for the daughter. Your textbooks are... Your textbooks are in ashes now. Eh? Well, I'll just leave. Wait, I, I can just leave? Wait, see ya, see ya, bro. Just leave, I guess. I don't know. What happens if I just leave? Does anything change? I can't imagine leaving would, like, do anything. Wait, how far back can I go? <laughs> Why are you allowed to go all the way back here? Uh, you know what it is? If you're allowed to go all, all the way back here, it implies a chase sequence. I know you. You wouldn't just leave something like this here. No way. No way in hell. Nice, nice I don't know. Notice how there aren't any photos of us here. So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in our, in our last place either. True, but now that there are some, why not of us too? 
Guess we're just too ugly to be put on a display. Take that back. Right. Maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty. Tell me I'm beautiful. And you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it. It's the phone your mother. N it's the phone your mother never calls you with. You sick fuck. A fireplace. They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew. Yes. This is some rich people's stuff. Who has a fireplace in inside the house? It's not that uncommon, is it? No, it's very uncommon. Yeah. None older houses anyway. True. Back then, that was the only way that you could heat your home. The only way. Makes you remember. You were playing Risk of Rain as a kid, my real friend. You pronounced the insane difficulty as incest. And sometimes your mom would pass by when you did that. And your friend would basically be like, Dude, are you sure it's pronounced like that? <laughs> Listen. Maybe it's like a Freudian slip, right? Your mom walks, walks by and you stare. You're like, incest. Maybe you are the incest master here, okay? I was only talking about games. Maybe you're the real life one. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. Oh, fridge. There's not much in the fridge right now. Well, there could be. Knives! Kitchen knives. A cutting board. A dish rack and blender. A sink. The pot is empty. Coffee machine. A cooking book. It's mostly broth and stew recipes. Broth! The. Wait, that's a room. What's what's in the basement? Huh? The fuck is this? Your parents have lived there for only a few months, yet they somehow managed to hoard all the stuff and a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue, and the extra bed and the extra bed implies there are no issues in the social life either. Wait, they they have three sums. Have to be. Mayhaps. Check cupboard in in. In parents' room uh, first. No, no spoilers. No, 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 no spoilers. I, I will get to it soon. Christmas stuff. Mostly candles. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. Uh, just in case, though. I'm just safe. Just, just extra. I, I look. I know. I know. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Unless the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. We just gotta take it slow. The floor drain seems a little clogged up, but it's not your problem. An excellent quality mop. Wait, an actual good, good, good mop. Dirty laundry. Right at, right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. Yeah, that's the thing that makes you un, uncomfortable. After all of this, cleaning supplies such as, such as vinegar, washing machine, and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Wait, that's for sure. Gloves. Rubber gloves. Can I take the gloves? No. Okay, it, I, I'm assuming that is not safe. On the table lay some documents about purchasing Alice. There's also a key. Got just a key. Oh, worth. A metal box full of screwdrivers. Worth. Uh, bro? Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's, what's in there? There's no sign of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. Ah, oh, fuck. Dries, dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you opt in for compensation for damages caused by Kenny's error. Uh, uh, skip all this. 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 Let's go with this. We have to we we have to reload. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It sucks. The key was there. I want to go check it more. It's so un unobvious. What is like a dresser? It's like this. I would call a dresser. I would call this a dresser. Not like, but I I was also call I go like a standing like a standing closet. Inside the closet are clothes as well as um toys and some rope. Toys. Rope! Oh my god. You don't even want to know what your parents have having up to on this bed. The dresser is locked. You don't even want to know. Dude, they even have- look, look, look. They even have- they even have the cock chair, right? So they have a third person come and watch. Amazing! Whoa, the sex toy closet. You also talked to Andy about it. Yep. Th that's one- that's- that's- that's what I'm thinking about. And right, Andy. You want to know about these toys, Andy? Your ex is testing you. Don't answer. Don't answer them. I'm in the boss full of school. School two jobs. Yeah, key, key, key. Yeah, yeah here we go. Our parents seem to have picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Hey, did you see that this is a chair? This is the cock chair. You can sit in here and like, watch. And tell me more. I uh, don't think I will. But now it makes sense why mom kept hassling us to kept hassling us to move out. Oh god, I can't find the key to, the, to that dresser anywhere. But I have it. 
You found the key, nice. What, what's in there? There's no sign of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come to discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something, catches, something else catches your, your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. Oh shit. Wait, wait, when was the fire? The fire was not three, 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 three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Aw oh, shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. Dude, this is, this is their third person. It's a shame that you wasted all our bullets. Like we shoot anyway. Is someone there? Hi mom, it's just us. Andrew, why would you answer? Why did Andrew answer, dog? Welcome home! Chat. Chat, why is she a spitting image of Ashley? Why is Ashley, why do Ashley and her look so similar? Oh god. Oh god, guys, it is a Freudian four, four, it is a four way! You know, you've never paid attention to, to, to the chair up until now. See, it's, I, 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 I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's the cock chair. Andrew? What are you doing here? I mean, it is her mom, but like, you know what I mean? Like, he's gonna feel something. Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I, I see. How are you home, sir, Ellie? Did, did, did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just shopping. How'd you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You really should be more careful about that. Hey, really? Here, let me help you with- Here, l let me help you with those groceries. Yeah, thanks? You should've let me know you were coming though. I mean, our, our third person is gonna be here soon. How about some coffee? Where do you heat the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? <laughs> yes, she has a lot of milk. Fed both of you, actually. Sure, let me just go wash my face. Yeah, you're basically convinced now at at this because you didn't you didn't know about cock chairs. You are in a, you are in for a world of like learning. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Yo, spit in it. She should spit in it just like the way he, just the way that he likes it. Your mom's serious. Got a bit uh, a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. Hmm. Whoa, he's gonna he's gonna use her to get even more cash. Hmm. You genius. You sly genius. What if I just go talk to her? I don't, ha I don't have to make coffee, right? Nice, sweetheart. Why'd you stop answering my calls? Ashley, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. The least you could have done was mail some dry food or something. What for? You were taken care of. You're still spitting at that bullshit? <sighs> Shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it. Mom is busy treating her work uniform. Damn. I wonder, like, I'm so curious, like, what exactly drove them this way. I guarantee you it was because of, like, what they did as, like, a child, right? Knowing, it's like, uh, I can't, I can imagine knowing that your child is a psychopath. It's kind of an insane thing to have to, like, deal with. Very insane. Ooh, groceries. Wait, what's that? Coffee? Because I, I have to make coffee, but I don't want to yet. He's putting away groceries. Meats. Wine. Looks like your parents had a night planned. You, you brew some coffee. Spitting it. So, I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? <laughs> well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go-ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared other, 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 other parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. Andrew, you are not selling it. You are being way too suspicious. Stop mentioning the parasites. Stop it. I'm just glad you're safe. No, you're not, Mom. No, you're not. 
Yeah, you sure look like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from a previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. Even have barbecue events here. With the neighbors. Oh god, you don't eat people. Do you? Barbecue events. Just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit. But no. They actually do that stuff here. She spit it when they were at the cultists, right? She did. She definitely did. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. Oh my god. Chat. Do you know why she you know why our mom is well liked in the neighborhood? Okay? Do you know why? She goes around. She is the um she's what they call a hot wife. <laughs> if you if you've never heard of the term hot wife, you, I mean if you're seeing me watch if you're seeing me play this a game, you can Google that and you know exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. She's the neighborhood hot wife. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. Oh yeah, you're definitely cooking. Yeah. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the, the, the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. Now that you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. It's a competition, Ashley. Don't talk to her. It's a competition. It's you or her for, for Andrew. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really f need to start making some dinner. No, uh, no. Don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Uh, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how dad has been. Must be in all kinds of. You must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. Not true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix it something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. Can I stab her now? I'm Andrew. Yo, Andrew. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something. You smooth talker, you. You smooth talker, you. Kill her now! Kill her now. Kill her. Wait, where'd she go? Mom. Mom, I wasn't trying to kill you. Mom. 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 Mommy. Mom. Mommy. <laughs> Imagine saying the word mummy in this case. Mummy, mum, mummy, mum, mum, mummy, mum, mummy, mum, mum, mummy, mum, mummy. Don't you ever get sick of each other? All the time. I hear absence makes the heart grow fonder. The very last thing I need is to grow fonder of that nightmare of a woman. Huh? Mummy, mum, 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 mummy, mum. Help, the Ashley AI is doing such shit right now to you. Oh god. Do you do you like the theory? See? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm telling you. She's a hot wife for the entire neighborhood. The entire neighborhood! I'm telling you. That's why she's popular. Okay, now we need to do some ingredients, huh? Instead of fish, just some meat. You can probably make something out of that if you knew what. I don't know. Oh, recipes! You browse the cookbook for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You, 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 you can go do... Whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're struck with an odd urge to pull the broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. God, you're s God! Fuck, you're such a sudden array for your sister, dog. I mean, for your brother, uh, girl. But you push- But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. Fuck, that's a joke that I want to make way earlier in this in this playthrough. You know way earlier in this playthrough when they're like eating the like dead like body? I want to make the joke that this is that this is a girl a a girl dinner. Like you know what I mean? Like the whole girl dinner boy dinner memes. Fuck! I was gonna say it and then I went to like do something and I forgot. God damn it. Anyways, I'm saying it now. With me faster with all the the, the, the the other thoughts you wish you never had. You wish you never had. All the all the other thoughts. Now the way you let her hover over you for now. Found a simple soup recipe. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. You'll need a recipe for this. You don't need a recipe f for this. I could have done this in my sleep. Chop everything up and bring to a boil. Ah. <laughs> There's no way you're that bad at cooking, dude. You'll have all the ingredients prepared. Okay, well, we will. Take a knife. Get a knife. Take it. 
Here, step ladder. Step ladder. I'm stuck. Got potatoes. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. While we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on. We'll... Come on. We'll get ours. We just had to figure out how, how to go about this. Now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please, just, just let me think. I'll figure something out, alright? Ah... <sighs> You get the feeling she has something more to say. We can tell what, what, whatever it is, it's gonna start an argument. So you leave a bee for now. Sorry, I'm so gassy. Got carrots. Oh god, I'm so gassy. Oh god. Got onions. Time, time to do something. Is there really nothing else I can interact with? Can I ask her about the like cock chair or no? I guarantee you it's a cock chair. I, 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 I just know it is. Got meat. Got milk. You got the meat in the chopped meat. Got the potatoes in the chopped potatoes. You got the onions in the chopped onions. You got the carrots in the chopped carrots. Just curious. Did you you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? The same cleaver that we killed someone with multiple times? Yeah. Why? Well we washed it first. I cut it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the all the ingredients. What if he, what what if he talks to her? Is dinner is dinner and yet? Th that's all you say, Mom? Mom! 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 If you've never seen the meme, you just think that I'm really in into like incest. But uh, it's, it, it's a natural meme. Uh, I'm gonna shop now. You throw the ingredients in the pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have, something to, I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. Well, absolutely not promise that. Why not? You gotta gotten this far. Just keep going. Okay, then. Never mind. I swear to God, I'm gonna choke her. Stop being annoying. What is it? Oh, you're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really want you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. I love you. We have to kill mom and dad. Oh, <laughs> I uh, sorry, it's not it's not time for them yet. It's not time for them yet. It's not time for them yet. Ah, no, 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 none, none of that. I actually need the souls to recharge that clever the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really? Or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I tried to tell you before, but but you blew me off. <laughs> nice innuendo. And again, I was hoping you'd you'd come around on your own. Ugh. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. That's because your brother can't finish. <laughs> Let me think about it. What's what's the, what's what's the, what's there to think about? Hey, mom, dad. Hey, kids. Good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. I nailed it. <laughs> but extremely, I I I, I, I may need to go take a piss. But like, cause like I. I read that as one extremely threesome dinner later. I'm gonna go take a piss because my mind is in the gutter. I need a, I, I need a reset. B or B. You mean there's already art about extremely threesome dinner? Oh my god, there's already Jesus Christ. Now they should add dad watching. Oh my god. Listen, you know what's funny? That I just had a, had like a thought of two. Earlier to. Earlier today, the chat was full of people who just wanted to see a nice cappy bar, relaxing in a nice hot spring, okay? Then all of a sudden, within one hour, it's it's become like incest land. We, there's incest left, right, and center, okay? Eric, if he's still here, I'm so sorry. If you don't know him, he's the, he's the developer of the game, so to speak, which you should wishlist, because that I've been waiting for the game for so long, it's so good. It's a really good game. Just, just Google, so to speak, Steam. It's a game about learning a language. But Eric, if you're here, I'm so sorry. What have you stumbled into? This is not the way that I want you to see me. But at the same time, this is me. <laughs> the duality of uh, Twitch. We're getting close to incest, right? <laughs> oh God, the duality of uh, of of uh, Twitch. On the one hand, on the one hand, Capybara. On the other hand, sister. <laughs> two two sides of the same coin. Twitch. You like languages. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope you do. <laughs> it's the only way that we can communicate. But it's a really good game. It's a it's a puzzle game. There's a demo actually. 
We'll extremely tire some dinner later. Oh, sorry. I didn't have my uh, focus on. There we go. Whoa. That was a riveting conversation. Uh, what did we talk about again? Anyway, um, sorry kids. I'm exhausted from work. Now I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. I, I, I want to go see to go see them. You should clean up the dishes like the good mommy's boy that you are. No, I don't want to go see them. Chad, we're missing out on some insano action. Here's where you can wash the, the dishes. God damn it. Final clean. Pick the, pick the dishes. The dishes. All right, fine. I'll do it. Because it can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing. The, the, the dishes. They made my girl sit on a ladder. <laughs> what's that? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Guys, I have short-term memory loss. I don't remember anything I said before. What does that mean? What does that sentence mean? Oh, she was sitting on the ladder. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. I have short-term memory loss. She was just sitting there. Again, she's a, she's a, she's the forgotten child. Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the, to the authorities to, uh, to put us on their radar. If anything happens to our parents, who do you think, who do you reckon are the, are the prime suspects? Who, by the way, had an assassin sent after them by the same water company that was dealing with all this. The same water, the same water company. Well, surely not their two dead kids. True! But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only learned them were alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're, we're better off mugging random strangers who have no no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway, huh? She's me, she already sold us off once before. I'm, look, I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for it to do anything. Andrew, you're so stupid. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it! I knew it! You, you, you like her over me! Uh, uh, uh. What? You all about being so careful. When push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Huh. So do you think everything is all good? Why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem, you seem, you seem to get along so nice. I was on a fucking ladder, Andrew! You know I'm only, you, you know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, you kidding me? Nah. Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? <laughs> Sit on your step ladder, sis. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Not gonna lie. Why did they have to make them so 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 hot? And why did they have to make all the sentences full of innuendos? So much meaning behind every single word. Watch the CGs closely. They're 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 very nice. They are. Yeah. So uh, the one thing that I've noticed about this this game, even though the subject matter is like crazy, the everything about it is is fantastic, right? Because like their incest like thing is like not not even close to as like bad as like everything else as a captain, right? Kids being sold off for like money, and then you know some parasitic sort of thing, and like a water supply issue. Like there's a lot of like different issues going on in this game, and then the like art and and the music is fantastic. The art even. It goes to the point where they even have like tiny little eye movements, tiny little facial expressions re re drawn just for a single moment, a single line. It's really, really good. Like really, really good. Even the like sprite work is really, re is really, is really, really nice. Though I will say Ashley's, uh, 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 was her name Ashley? Yeah. Ashley's sprite, I feel like is lacking her best features. Those fat titties. I chose you. So if anyone's playing Happy Family here, it's you and me. Oh. So you're saying you're, you're, you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off. I'm, why am I stuttering? Fuck off at that. That's, that's not what I said. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. Oh, I think you're mis- I'm remembering. 
I'm not. Because it's the only reason I'm here in, in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy, huh? Why don't you leave me to rot? Cle clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who do you're the one who doesn't like like me. It's all about Andy with you. Oh my god. He's jealous! He's jealous that she likes an, an alter ego! Oh my god. Do you think like Do you think like Batman feels the 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 SA? Like Catwoman or like uh, 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 Spider-Man? Well, for sure it's Spider-Man. This is just like Spider-Man. I know that's, that's, that's crazy. This is like, this is like the Raimi Spider-Man films, where Mary Jane is in love with Spider-Man, and Pete's like, Hey, Mary! And she's like, uh, hey, Pete? What the fuck? That guy's so fucking weird. And she sees Spider-Man, and he's like, Oh my god, Spider-Man! Alter egos. Alter egos. Yep. This game is just like Spider-Man 2. Exactly like, like Spider-Man 1 and 2. Exactly same. Doc Ock is her dad. Well, guess what? Andy's dead. <sighs> You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, Chad. Oh no. Chad, I think it's something, something's gonna happen. Now isn't the time for this. Anyway, they got really like he touched it. And he's like, oh god, it's too soft. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the and a trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we at least have the means to stay safe. Now I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's kind of awkward. Yeah, that's, uh, mm. Andrew, your fingers are really deep in there, eh? Yes. Uh, honey, Andrew seems to be digging up his sister's ass again. Andrew, I can't, I, Andrew, I don't believe for a second. That woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. <laughs> What are you two? What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas. Just like peas in the pod. Yeah. Now, I suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Oh. Is it enough space in this house? Despite being far larger than the last one, and you're both already in your twenties. I don't know how to say it. No, no. It's. Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though, Mom. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you in indefinitely. Oh, gee, thanks, Mom. Jesus. He really doesn't need an, an excuse. Yeah, he really doesn't. Yeah, sorry, the grandpa commands still aren't, aren't like ready. But if you register, I will remember what you registered as for later. Uh, it's gonna be really funny to see like a stat void of like who goes where. Do exclamation mark re register and hope to God you do not become a human urinal. Exclamation mark re register. I hope you don't become a a urinal. Oh no! <laughs> it's over for you. It's over for you. <laughs> Look, we now have four people inside the mines. Four. At some point, Stickshire will rise up again, okay? The Kingdom of Stickshire. I'll be using your names during Wildermyth. Yeah, I I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. Sorry, that was a weird pause in the middle. I, I had to breathe. <gasps> in singing and in doing stuff, they always tell you to like breathe a lot beforehand, or like playing instruments. I always forget to like breathe. That's very, it's been very, uh, very often the occurrence for me was I would pass out during, during the choir. And it should probably be two separate places. Oh god, the mom knows. Okay, chat, how long has this been going on? Jesus Christ. Hmm, human sludge. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, sludge. They're so mad, chat. They're so mad. That's a tall order after all of her earthly put. Possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. 
All right. Good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? See, he's waiting to go see Beelzebub's sister. I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof right now. You will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Sleep now and get out at once! You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's and never bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, it's lonely with your thoughts. There's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley. You drift out to sleep. No, 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 go! Please, go go to Ashley, please. You need to go to Ashley, god, god damn it. Wait. There's a door, but there's a locker. Holy shit. This freezer isn't full of human meat. Holy shit, what the hell is that? What's going on here? What's in my- I still have the same items? Cleaver, car, car, car keys. What? Car keys? Rumbo, motherfucker! Greetings, neighbor! Uh, or, what was his like, voice again? Greetings, neighbor! <laughs> I mean, it sounds like lame for no reason. Not gonna lie, the mom isn't- isn't bad either. She really isn't. You're better off unaware about the jar. The jar. Don't f because listen. At least- at least- at least all three of you didn't get the human urinal ex- ex- experiment. Some of the viewers know. Some of the viewers know. Mom is anti-incest. Cringe. But the siblings are hotter. <laughs> Guys, what's wrong with us? Um, I, I need to go watch Yosuga no Sora after. To cleanse my- I like mine. Hat thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar. Behold, as thou as thou may witness, not but the flesh doth I put. Sorry, Shakespeare gives me like a stroke. <laughs> Behold, as thou may witness, not but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently past ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. This time for you to cut mentalize, come by mentalize. No, it's not. What ails thee? What? 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 What ails thee? God limb. I don't want to come part, come part, and lies. God limb. God limb. The pan is empty. Oh, right. Ashley already the cooked one. Ash. The candle holder is empty. Ashley! Ashley! The door is no handle, nor will it budge. Ashley. Eh? Ashley. What are you doing here? Hi! Ashley, no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Yeah. Stop following me, you little shit. <laughs> what? You don't? You don't? You don't like your 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 sister? Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I, I have these candles. Great, hand them over. <laughs> no way. Ask nicely or kill ask nicely. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. Why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it then. Wait, that way, that way, you can pretend you, you ate the cake. And won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat! God, you're such a tool today! Okay, whatever. I don't, I don't want to kill her though, yeah? There's nothing to light. I, I don't want to hurt her. Ooh! Let me get that! Le Lele places a candle on, on the candle holder. No, nothing happens. You're welcome. You use your lighter to light the candle. Hey. There's nothing to light. <laughs> oh god, I remember this being like a... Like a Pokemon thing once. Ah! Nice bed. Room for two. What's this? So, what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. 
I don't care. Go go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave the spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Ah. Compartmentalize. Don't stab her. You kill her, you can't fuck her. Chat. I already knew. I didn't even read that. I didn't even read that when you typed it. I already knew. I all. I already knew. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. Oh, uh, no! Don't do not use use the blood. I'll get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. You reduce yourself to an errand boy for a lele that doesn't even exist. W way to go, loser. Load it up. Oh my god. She's like she's like full on stalker mode. Someone stays inside the room with an unblinking gaze. You know who. A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you won't you are you are you're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. The trash is full of letters. Mostly death threats. Oh my god. You have <laughs> You have 127 new voicemails. Oh hell no. You are not listening to all of that. Thank god. That's what I do, okay? I get a bunch of like voicemails constantly, and most of them are like very important. But if it goes over like two, I just don't listen to them. And then at the end of the month, I just I just I just wipe all of them, right? Because if it's very important, they're either going to send me mail about it, an email about it, or they're going to come knock on my door and I'm going to be gone, right? Like this. There's no reason to just pick up the phone call and do all the voicemail stuff. I don't think, I don't think that, you don't think that I prefer to fuck a dead body. I don't. She's just not going to be as vigorous. <laughs> you, you can, though. Depends on, on the murder method, I guess. Most of, your, most of your voicemails are Chinese people. What does that mean, huh? What does that mean? But also... I have been getting a lot of like different phone calls from like everywhere. A lot. It's strange too, because like being in like Canada, it's like usually like I know for sure it's a scam call if it doesn't have like a Canadian number for the most part. Most scam calls come from everywhere around the like world. Everywhere. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of different like <laughs> phone calls from like everywhere. The my my favorite one so far has been a robotic AI voice saying that uh, uh was it? The government needs my like my like social number for like something and it's like you must send it in now and you must say it over phone after the beep and i just say i always do like a random number just to see like what what the bot does because i imagine you know what i mean these systems are just like blanket firing everywhere now, actually there are channels that are dedicated to to this i forget his like name now but there's a there's a bunch of of like channels where they try to like go through and like count his scam but like uh uh oh like, scammers i was watching one last night where the guy he basically, he, he caught an entire, like, scamming center. And that entire scamming center was, like, shut down. But the guy who, 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 like, runs it, because he was in bed with, like, you know, the local law enforcement, he was not sent to, like, jail. He opened a new company just a week later. You know the guy, right? I was like, dude, that, that's insane to me. So these, like, you know, pipelines for, like, you know, scamming, they're very, very advanced now. Very, very advanced. It's why the phone, like, has, has been, like, a very useless tool for me for, like, a long time now. Like, if I don't know you personally, and I don't have your number saved, I basically never pick up. Which is, you know, being, like, an issue, especially if I have to, have to switch phones, like, if my phone breaks. Like, I, I never back up numbers, right? So it's like, I just... The only number that I really have is, is my wife's number, my, my uh, parents' number, and that's it. So if anyone calls, it's like, oh, shit, I, I don't know you, sorry. I, I just block instantly. Except for my doctor. I love that guy. Don't worry, you'll call me later. I know you. <laughs> yeah, sure. What do you hope to find there, pervert? Look, I don't know what your fucking problem is. The other has been destroyed, but... Oh my god. That's Lele! The, other, the audio has been destroyed, but you'd recognize that voice anywhere. I told you to fuck off! I warned you! Do you think you're all that, huh? Do you think you're someone special? Yeah, you only really do like ads on the phone, yeah. You're just another hole, and you're not even the only one. He's got a slew of flus, he's just like you. Enjoy what you have, because you're well on your way out. I know. The only reason he's with you is because he feels sorry for you. You're just some ugly cunt and a dead best friend. Hurry up and kill yourself. And when you and when you get to hell, ask your friend what happened to her. <laughs> but you'd be... <laughs> you'd be surprised. Wait! 
Oh my god. His girlfriend. Her friend was the one that we locked up inside a box. Fucking die, you worthless piece of shit slut. Go slit your wrist some more. And this time do it proper. Do you think you're better than me? This means you could fuck him and I can't? You think that's love? Are you fucking del del delusional? Cum dumpsters like you are just that. He'll never love you. Not like he loves me. I'm the only one. Uh, 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 Ashley, he has never came- he has never come to you once yet. I am everything. I'm the secrets you'll never hear. When he lies in bed at night, and when he needs someone to hold on to, it's not you he seeks out. It's me. That's enough of that. Ashley, you crazy son of a gun. If I talk to her, what's- what's gonna happen? Julia? You've been quiet all day. What's up? No, it's... It's nothing. God damn! <sighs> yeah, even his, like, girlfriend was like, you know... Like, I... I see it. I get it. God! I get it. And also the, like, the, like arm socks. Very popular in um, Japanese fashion circles. Actually, most of, like, Asia now. Most of Asia now has, like... Like arm socks or the like sweaty hanging off uh, like back. Actually, it, it's funny. Every time we like go back to my home country, we're always surprised at like how many people can like wear sweaters despite how hot it is, okay? I'm telling you right now, in Asia, it is ludicrously hot, yet somehow everybody can wear sweaters as if it's totally fine and cold outside. But they all look really cool, so hey, I guess, you know what I mean? The style makes up for it. God damn! But actually, um, I've been thinking about something a lot l l lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. <laughs> With that much buildup, you you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, okay, but please don't get mad. When I when I, when have I ever even well, when have I ever once even raised my voice? What I in bed? When you're saying I'm gonna come, you know you can tell me anything. I, um, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence? Oh. You fucked up. Yeah, that's when you fucked up. That's when your life is forfeit. Goddamn. Even if it's just for her own sake. You know? And maybe, um, for our sake too? It's not better. She's so dead. She's so dead. Exactly. It's not better. It's not better. She's so dead. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. Um, and not like, you know, always cut things short and cancel on me so uh, so much or scream her name whenever you're about to like come. Uh, Sorry. I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything though. No, but you could like, you know, not always go when she asks her. If your sister needed something, would you, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asked if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. You were brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way, 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 way back when. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So, so that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? She's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, nothing. Go on. If he heard that, if he heard that, she'd be on on the floor, dude. He'd be doing like a what's like Tombstone's move from like, I mean, from the uh, the Undertaker's move, the Tombstone, right? He's like, boom, RKO. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her, or, or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> I'll be fine if you're with me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can't let that happen to her. Yeah, sure. Would you tie your hair up? I mean, he's trying to make her look like her. Her. Oh, heck no. You'll pull on it again. <gasps> what? When it's not a relative, you call it a healthy monogamous relationship. Well, when it's your sister, it's suddenly unhealthy codependency. You call it hypocrisy. <laughs> Holy shit. 
fuck? Now that's... That's a sentence that only someone who's really deep into incest can possibly write. It takes a certain mind to come up with that. Yeah, ponytail, exactly. Just like Ashley. They must have a fun time when she ties her hair up. Yeah, they do. But it's weird. Every time he's, he's about to come, he keeps screaming his sister's name. <laughs> nah, but don't you know it, it, it's a boy show their love? Humans are, are hypocrites. True. You just dropped a philosophical fact. True. Pretty much. And that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of, you know, forget. I got about here with all the chaos going on. It's your ex lover's dormitory room. You'll never see her again. The fact that it doesn't really bother you bothers you. That's not why it shouldn't bother you. You have your sister now. Gossip Color Pencils. You have your sister now. You no longer need her. You no longer need her. Here, here. Yes, thank you. What? What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm. Good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully, as if, as if it, as if it were me. I'm lighting a fire. Not cool. That's flimsy. <laughs> Boo! You suck. Got a candle. Lele is focused on drawing. Bye, uh, sister. Bye, weird copycat of a sister. Can I get that other sister? No. But Jesus Christ, Ashley went hard. Like, hard. Harder than Andrew's ever been. Placed and lit the candle. Whoa! Go. Found Ashley in the closet. There you are. There you are. Get the reading, get the reading, get the reading out. There you are, you menace. Ah, I fucked up. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Oh. Oh god. Reload? Oh fuck, is it like- Is it like a one-time thing again? I hate that, actually. Are you gonna cut me up? To get it? I'd rather not. What do you- What do you need it for, anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. See, I, one thing I do hate about these RPG Maker games, because it is hard to like make it happen if an RPG Maker, is that you have like a one-shot to like do the correct thing. To like get all the special dialogue. Because it's like very hard to like do like a, oh, like a, uh, like a very obvious like, you know, no turning back thing. You guys know what I mean? Julia is like a free horse ride, yep. But if you want like a nice long road trip, on your nice like Ferrari or say Porsche, that's Ashley. Yep. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he, back when he and his buddies still fed you, this this one was always luring at her. Never mind. There is one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. Damn. This one you had to get before he he before he got you. The war is you. Someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire to hire this guy. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You can leave any witnesses, after all. So you can't comprehend why there hasn't been even a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? It has to be linked back to you. Other, th other, th other than that, it doesn't bother you. Hmm. Alright, Ashley, yep, yep, there you are, ta-da, menace, yep, missing the limb. Yep, no, I don't want to cut you up. Plenty of limbs, okay. I can't cut her up, right? Like, there's no way I, I can cut her up, right? No. But I can cut up my ex-girlfriend. Get her out of my, um, my mind. The last living being. No. What if I do cut up, Ashley? So, are you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Suit yourself. Wait, what if I go ask Lele now? What? God, you're so... You know what it is? This is a good represent representation of, like, trauma and, like, being stuck in, like, time, though, right? Clearly, there's some crazy shit going on. And they're stuck in this, like, timeline where it's, like, you can't break out of it, almost. Got a severed limb. Well met! Uh, what was his voice again? Well met, young graves! Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? 
My brother in Christ, please, for the love of God, please, just talk in normal English. Please, I'm begging you. Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn, I know not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in, th in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulfed all. Forsooth, thou thee possesseth the absent, the absent limb, yet it doth, it doth not belong to me. Perchance, tis of little consequence to thee. Place all, severed, place all severed limbs in the freezer. This reminds you of something. Oh! Holy shit. Thy fears shall forever linger in thy memory. Oh, how joyous to be the initial spectacle of thy mutilation and, and cannibalism, young graves. Yes, the first kill is always the hardest to get over, but you you eventually do. It doesn't last as like long as you may as you may think it does. You get over it like fairly quickly. Then like a month or so. It's not, it's not a bad. You know what's inside. Face it. Face it. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> When you told me, you, you also heard it's a thing about hiding in the fridge from the fire. The place you heard it from was from this game. Okay. You're less of a serial killer than I am then. Very, very good. <laughs> did, did, did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There's no answer. Huh. Guess she's still sleeping. Uh, Lele, I, I don't know about this one. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't! You open the crate. Huh? Oh. Oops. Wait. Wait. Why is she dead? How did. That can't be right. What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Yeah, yes. Survival of the fittest. I see she already read Charles Darwin way, way at the young age of whenever. Sh shut up. Just shut up. Forget about this. Let's just, let's, just, let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? Oh, well. It's not like- it's, it's not like anyone knows she's here. I should leave her. No, she- she'll- we'll start rotting. And- and someone will come looking and find her. I mean, a family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check you here. Uh, so what- well, so- so what do we do then? Um, uh, uh I, uh... Uh, f fuck. Uh, let's just hide it then. Huh? If no one knows, then th if no one knows, then it's not then, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. It's not that bad. You're a minor. You maybe get like six. You maybe get like six like six months of like correctional school. It's fine. It's whatever. Me too. It's fine if it's a both of us. No, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're gonna take you away from me. That's what you're concerned about. That's what you're- That's what you're concerned about. You're concerned about being away from her. What the fuck? How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're- Since you're so, so, so smart. Uh, okay, okay, L let's just, uh, uh, like, uh, move it somewhere, yeah. Yes, uh, okay. A grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? Yeah, anywhere in the forest should be fine. Uh, I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, 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 there is probably fine. Oh, but first we need to wrap her up in uh, something. Because no one can see us... Because no one can see us... Carry her there. Morbid curiosity compels you to take a better look. Instant regret. Why not look? What, you don't like to save her? You don't like to save her, your hard work. You don't like to see the results of your efforts. Why, that's the best part of it all. The feeling. The pleasure. This one's too big and heavy. Yes, we'll have to do. Got tarp. 
You wrap Nina's corpse inside the, the tarp and carry her away. Spoilers. If you've never played Amori and you want to skip the spoilers, mute me for 20 seconds starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This reminds me a lot of Amori. Except, imagine if Sunny was a, just a straight up psychopath and Basil was a hot fuckable like sister. Oh wait, BRB, I have to, uh, I have to do something actually. B uh, BRB, sorry, I have to go um, do a do thing. I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay, sorry about that. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these these wooden planks work too. Oh god, she already knows those. I mean, they're kind of shovely, just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy, easy, easy to dig spot. Got a wooden blank. Good, easy, easy to dig spot. Something needs to be like nice and you know, firm. We can just leave the body here. A corpse is wrapped inside a tarp. Jesus Christ. Maybe here. That doesn't seem to be any any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I, than I thought it would be. Honestly, digging holes is so hard. Whether for bodies or for fences, it takes a lot out of you. A lot of stamina and a lot of time. A lot. Isn't, it, isn't, this, isn't this deep enough already? God, I'm sorry so much, sorry. Uh, grave should be six feet, right? Six feet under, yeah. Forget it, she fits here just fine. I... Okay, okay, fine. Hey, what do we eat today? Jesus Christ! I uh, what? What's for what's for dinner tonight? Uh, I I was gonna fry some fish sticks. Nice. Yeah. I actually feel really bad for like Andrew because if you think about the dynamic between him and Ashley, right? Ashley really is kind of that like classical sociopath kind of like person, right? So like very very like obsessive, sociopathic, narcissistic. And everything that she's doing is like abusive, extremely abusive towards Andrew. Like realistically, he is he's like she is like the worst thing that's like that's like that's like ever happened to him. His parents, however, are just as much to like, to, to like blame because his mom recognizes the signs, but his mom, in her infinite wisdom, simply believes that they're both in on it. And though they may be, clearly you can do you you, you can do more than just leave them alone and like you know neglect and like push your child away, right? Sure, taking them to like speak to like a professional psychologist is like is like heavy and expensive and like time consuming, but better for them overall compared to leaving Ashley like this. In the way her mind has been rotted out, rotted out from years of ne of neglect, which is in itself abuse. I wonder if just leaving her in the crate would have been less con less cons con uh, less conspicuous. No, again the uh, the claws were correct. I do agree, if you ever kill someone, bury the body or feed it to some pigs. Never throw it inside water, because, well, you could throw it inside water, all the evidence would, would be washed away. Never leave it somewhere outside though, where it can rot. If it's going to rot, rot it on the ground, because how many people go through a park digging? Digging inside, inside of anywhere, digging anywhere where there's like forest, is such a rare occurrence that you basically will never find a, a, a body. I was watching a show once about serial killers, then oh, this one serial, serial killer was a gardener, and he hid the bodies all over a forest. The way he was found was because he got crazy. He decided to leave the bodies inside of his client's potted plants, like body parts. So in like one potted plant, he left an arm inside of there. But they never found all the bodies inside the forest. He simply said he had a lot of them, and they looked for like months, because again, you have to dig everywhere, and you can't just shut up all the soil. It's covered by roots, by trees, time has passed. Nature will eventually take over. Better for the worms to eat it, than, than for, you know, uh, uh, the, the scalpels in the mortuary. You and Lele push the body into its grave. I just, I just gave all of you, like, advice on serial killing. I just, I want to explain. Nobody serial kill, please. Oh crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Yeah, this is a this is a crap job. Looks fine to me. No, that can't, that can't be this, you know, this obvious a spot. It, it needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and, and such? Yeah, sure. 
Uh, got foliage. Foliage. Wait, what's that? Got foliage. Foliage. I love foliage. Where? Is it a rock? Somewhere? Is there a rock somewhere? No. I can't carry rocks. Damn. Some more foliage is needed. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm so gassy too. Sorry, sorry. Where's the foliage? I, I swear there was, there's like a piece of foliage here. Some more foliage is needed. Eh? Eh? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, when the FBI comes like knocking, do not include my leg name. Do not include my leg name. This is on you. The on you as an individual. How much foliage do I need? What? Wait, am I... Am I trolling? What? Where's the foliage? What? Foliage. I'm spamming. I'm spamming the keyboard. What? What? Huh? Wait, what? Some more foliage is needed. Some more foliage is, is needed. But there's nothing left. What? Some more foliage is needed. I know! But what? There's nothing left. I'm spamming Zed. What? There's no way. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here to hold them in place. Rocks. 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 Got stone. Nice! Makes me want. Nice! Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't gonna do it, I was just saying. Uh, Where's it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if, a, what, what if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's, let's forget all about it. Lele, uh, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me this time. You'll also gotta keep, keep, keep your mouth shut. I promise. Uh, no, I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. But what was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. Uh, there, there. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. You won't do what I say. I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's gonna play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Is that so wrong though? Is it wrong to do what she says? I would. I would do what she says. In a heartbeat. Chat, in a heartbeat, I would say yes. I would definitely do what she says every single day. You wouldn't even need need to need to like bribe me. I would guarantee guarantee do it. And she really erased her name from memory. The thing was blank from her perspective. Holy shit! That is a five head observation. You are you you're actually galaxy brain. I actually didn't even realize that. I for, I forgot about it. And like thinking about it, that is the, that is the perfect ex, perfect ex, ex, expl, explanation. But, but Andy still remembers her like name because he said Nina. He was the one who, who was at Nina. Amazing. He can't forget. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. You already worried, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not. I, I think. Whatever. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. And that's, you know what it is? That's why Andrew wants Andy and Lele to like die. Not only is it because he's too weak, but because he wants to be himself though. He wants to be free from this guilt. She compartmentalized, yeah, exactly. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'll be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine, because you'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needs to happen. You could just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know that doesn't matter anymore. Because from now on, 
no one will like you either. <laughs> so let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend. Or else. Uh, I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you want to say to this creature. None of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without hitch. Several days? See, at that point, you're clear. If you get, if, if, if you get past a week, no one's going to know. I know this from experience. <laughs> Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Why did I put this jam thing in, in the strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you about things? Yeah, my teacher asked. I went in the class. Some officers came by too. And did, did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told me her mom had... You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia? Oh. Well, now she kind of fooled them all. I mean, she, she like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was, she was gonna come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I, so I doubt she had any... And Julia, who is her, who is his like ex? Your promises mean fucking nothing, huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. These high voices really hurt, by the way. They really hurt my like Tracy. I'm trying my hardest, but dear God, it's hard to voice act as like children. It's why most roles for children go to either children or people with like naturally higher voices. Cause like, you could be like a 35 like person, like a middle-aged person, but if your voice is is like high enough, you, you can pass as like Ash Ketchum or Pikachu, stuff like that. You wouldn't do what she says though. Said I'd say shut up and let's fucking said. If they did that, then none of this would have happened. True. True. Now that's problem solving. That's problem solving in the realm of incest. I gave, I gave you, I gave you my ice cream. Yet I'm a jackass. Oh wait, I see how it is. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. A snake! I bet, I bet she died on purpose. I, I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do something, I don't know. Oh fuck. Rude. Again? If you ever feel this way, please, you know. Speak up about it. There is always help, okay? You don't have to do this to yourself. There is help. I'm not talking about the incest angle. I'm talking about hurting yourself. Or like wanting to hurt yourself. There is always help. Always. The Ooh, TV. Someone is being interviewed on TV. Your success story is such an inspiration to us all. Before starting your soda company, you used to be a surgeon. Isn't that right? That's right, Mark. I'm actually a doctor. So, trust me. One can of talks to solar a day keeps me far, far away. <laughs> when even a doctor tells me to indulge, how can I not? Huh, surely it's only up from here. What plans do you have for the future? Well, first of all, with such a great demand comes a great need for water. Ah, yes. Now I get some background lore into what actually happened to them. With the worms and the water and stuff. With the worms and the water. Save. Yeah, I should save, actually. Good, good call. That's why I partnered with several water distribution companies. I hope this is a sort of a long-lasting friendship, where the people on the TV ramble on and on. Your lead does absolutely nothing about any dead girls being found. But you know what? You know what? You know what? Do you know what they're talking about, Andy? Huh? They're talking about your future predicament. Hello, son. Hi, Dad. Hmm. Bye, Dad. Oh, no, 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 I'm not jumping. That was good. That was really good.
Holy fuck, that was good. I uh, don't, 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 don't do that. But holy fuck, the, 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 the timing on that joke was so fucking funny. Holy fuck. Uh huh? Right, it's just a job. I can always find another. Your mother said I was too good for that one, eh? Anyway. I. Wait, you, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all, we're all important, Anders. It's, it's Andrew. Uh, I'll go see what they've got for me at the, un at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. Again, it's that, li it's that little hint into their, like, life. And how uh, almost, like, meaningless he is to, like, them. Right? As, like, a child, these children didn't even matter. The truth is, their, their family was already dis- Their family was dis- Was dysfunctional from the very start. There's no need to leave the house. They were already bad from the very, very start. Missing. Oh my god. She's on the milk. She's on the milk. Wait, coffee. You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. God kitchen knife. Oh, well, maybe I could have stabbed mine like that. Fuck. And from his perspective, her, her eyes aren't censored. Oh, fuck. Good catch, too. Holy fuck. I didn't notice either. That's a good detail, actually. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm gonna make a blood oath with you. Yes! I, uh, what, chat, what did I say? What, what did I say, chat? Blood packs are cool. I said this at the very start of, the, of this game. Blood packs are cool. God. I bet you he read Darren Chan. Better than Charon, you have to promise me something too. Okay. Keep my secret and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. <laughs> you're all bark. You ain't doing anything. If you're ruling my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up my- To keep up- Appearances. Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not behind that. Lele, you're- you're- you are a miserable, loath- loathsome being. Wow, nice reading. Good job, Stick. Very solid reading. Lele, you are a miserable, loathsome being that has warmed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy soy spot just for you. You already wanted to fuck her from day one. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ah, gently, you asshole! Go gently, please! You really like my model. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It shows no emotion. No emotion. Only eyes and mouth. You don't, you don't even know what I'm feeling. Look, I'm surprised. I'm sad. This is a YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> How does one cut someone gently? I, I, I bet a man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Let no hussy steer your gaze. It's just us now. I said be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Uh, uh, wait! No, I want to do over. Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Huh? Don't be like that. I just want pussy. I'll make you a priority. Just not the only one. It's not enough. Why, why can't you just... Kill our parents? Ah! Hold on, hold on. That's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister! I know you want to! Kill them to solve all your problems! Kill them to feel something! Kill them for food! Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't! She's just whispering to into his ear. I- <laughs> I've- The whispering in, the, in someone's ear when they sleep actually works. When my wife was sleeping once, I started to whisper snacks into her like ear as like a as like a funny thing to like say because like I really wanted wanted snacks and I was waiting for her to like to like wake up to see what like snacks she wanted. So all I kept on whispering was like snacks, snacks, and she woke up and she's like, "Oh my god, it was you." <laughs> she was like, "Honey, for the longest time in my dream, all I kept hearing was snacks." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, sorry, I just really wanted wanted snacks, honey." What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake! Good morning! Oh, and night! It's still night time. What do you want, a little creep? Talk of mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now. While they sleep. We'll set the ritual up and do it. 
I've given you, I've given you plenty enough time to, to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're doing it my way. Okay. What? Oh my. My efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. Oh god, Andy. Oh god, he's still Andy now. You know this? He didn't gain the power to resist her. Which means she's going to have her way. Which means we're going to have incest. <clears throat> Let's go! The cheetah brother. What a disgusting cheetah... Cheetah brother. All you need is your wholesome sister. Okay, my theory is this. If you go the Andrew route, if you try to fight back and you try to break, break, break free, he becomes his own person and he sort of like frees himself from all this and he's able to sort of like either, either course correct his sister or like get, or, or, or like stop her. But if you go with, with the sister, you just fuck. That's all we want. That's all we want in this game. But you have a point that mom might, might snitch on us. I knew that even before we, we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself uh, think uh, anything else after, after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up. It would have gobbled you up all already. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? A demonstration? Oh my god. God, you're so fucking dumb. I should... Andrew? Are you still awake? <sighs> yeah, why are you still up? I gotta work tomorrow. I, I want to talk to you, without Ashley. It's not really a good time but right now. I was, about, I was about to fuck. Look, uh, I know it's late. But this is important. I mean, I've been thinking things over and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright. I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Mm. Andrew, I understand you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind low on me. <laughs> I love... Okay, he also has the, like, pillow hiding his, like, crotch, because, like... You know what I mean? That's a classic move. That's a classic move to put something in your lap to hide the boner. Classic move. Very, very classic. He's not. It was his saying, "No talk to whomever, to whomever we, who, who, we, 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 uh, we are new anymore." From a chat one. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't know that. You're right. You're right. You're right. From chat one. Oh, you're right. Chomp. Yeah, the pillow. Yep. Hi, hiding the and hiding the chomp. Oh my God. Yes, you're right. Uh huh. For the love of God, this had better not be what what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How's this? How's this? Look to you. Where'd you get? Uh, what's it look like now, Mom? Ashley, Ashley, come on, come on. You know that there aren't any bullets left in a gun, but your mom sure. Sh but your mom sure it doesn't. Ashley, put put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Yeah, I wouldn't say that that, that was a real Andy move. Yeah. And you go go get a rope. And you go get a rope or something. I'm tying this this bitch up. And don't kill dad. You did not need to be told that. Ah. But what if I do? Dad, I'm coming to kill you. There's some rope in the closet, along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. I do untangle the rope from anything else. Ah, oh, shit. Nice one, other fingers. Oh, son. What are you doing? Uh, sorry. I, uh, needed to, uh... There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're, you're rummaging through the sex toys. And the truth, I want to tie mom up doesn't sound any better. <laughs> hey! I want to fuck myself? <laughs> Good save. Good save. Oh, yeah. That'll do. Where's your mother? She wanted to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check on your mother. Got a rope. And you should hang yourself with it? Probably, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Honey, is everything alright? You take out your, 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 your cleaver. What? Well, just walk away. 
Bye, sis. Have, have fun, sis. Wait, let's just drive away. Fuck it. I'm driving away. Chat, I'm driving away. I'm driving away, chat. I'm driving away. Let her handle it. Fuck. By this point, they've already overpowered her. By this point. Because I've left for so long that it's too late. There's all, like, stuff, right? Anything else hidden? Uh, extra knives, maybe? No. What's going on? Andrew! What, you're supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> Holy fuck, that's the funniest slide ever! What the fuck is going on in this game? <laughs> Only in this game can you have the, uh, only in this game can you have the, like, dad turn to the son and be like, Weren't you supposed to be masturbating, son? Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with a rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Oh my god, chat. He gets pegged. He gets pegged. But better not dwell on it, as you'd rather not visualize how, how they came to be. He gets pegged. Hey, Ash. Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk, either. Just shut up and wait. What if I just walk away now? Got Christmas lights. Oh, hey! You tied your mom up using Christmas lights. So this is what your life has... has... has, has come to. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform... a ri Hold up. Mom wants a pin for your credit card. Is that what this is about? Money? Talked about him several times. Fuck, see? I knew it. I knew I missed dialogue. Fuck. I knew I missed dialogue. Fuck. See? Ah, oh, I got the rope too early. But now you're wondering about cuckoldism. Now you're wondering about cuckoldism? I knew I missed dialogue. Why the heavy sleep here? That's one. You can't go wrong being a, being, being a cuckold. See, I, I knew I like miss so That's how I get off now, Dad. <laughs> dad, this is this is what I'm into. You don't understand, Dad. No, can you move? You're 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 in the way of where I usually come. I have to skip fast. Oh, thank you so much. Andrew, I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. Andrew! Well, I'm still looking for something to, to tie her up with. Look elsewhere. Don't talk to her. Get away from her. Don't even look away. Now, come on. I can't trust you not to get all misty-eyed. She, she looks a lot like me. Eat shit, Ashley. Whatever, Marshmallow's fine. Go get that fucking roper. Whatever already. Don't move, don't scream. Yep, yep, yep. Why are you here? Did you find anything to tie her up with yet? Hurry up, hurry up and find some rope. I'll give you some ropes. <laughs> I know. Well, one more time. Beloved, don't test me. Okay, okay. Okay, sorry, sorry. The sense that whatever trust he had in you is quickly eroding. Beloved. Good. Now we got all the dialogue. New safe spot. You tied your mom up using Christmas lights. So this is what, so this is what your life has come to. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the... Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your, for your for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? You got this for just for a quick buck? What's the pin? Where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay. Then I'm gonna go then I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. She gave me the wrong pin and you end up then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. <sighs> Alright. I'll be quick. Son, uh, son, can you make sure it? Son, can you can you clean up after you're, uh, you're done, son? Uh, that's my favorite spot. On the bed, son. I wish I could go with you, but someone has to, has to, has to, but someone has to, has to keep an eye on these two. Uh, did you find her, her purse yet? Yes, I, I will. Wait, what, what if I grabbed the sex toy? 
Can I? Fuck. You can't grab this. The uh, sex toy. God damn it. Got credit card. Whoa. What are you doing here? Get back downstairs. Not gonna, they're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to, to uh, start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in their faces. It is amazing how corruptive a person is with the gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Uh, come on, out with it. I, I, need, I, need, I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you're just having a flip of... Uh, of, uh, of, of flip-flopping. Late. Fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. Oh, <laughs> you're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. See you in a bit. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. They're getting really close. Yo, we're Ashley. Now they're really close. You're rushing up. Why? This is the, there are too many people rushing up to stage. Way too many people. Enjoying myself? Uh, sure, Andrew Graves. Sure, sure. Definitely enjoying yourself. Yeah. Andrew Graves, suspicious account name. Well, Andrew is busy picking up the money. You decide to step the ritual. Or at least what you remember, what you remember of it. Let's see. I think it involved blood, runes, candles, and blood. But I, I, I want to see what the bad options are. Like, what, what, what does it matter? Blood, candles, and and cannibalism. I do something on the blood, set some candles, and then we ate a cultist. No, wait. We had the, we ate the cultist before we uh, did the ritual. Now, nah, whatever. It involved candles and the blood. Any, any. Anyway, let's start with that. First things first. I need some blood to draw with. Jesus Christ, Ashley. She's going crazy. Nothing suspicious about it, yes. Definitely not a, a very in-universe reference here. No blood, yeah. Got kitchen knife. Oh, yeah. Not my own blood, though, right? Wait, can I get the sex toys now? When do I get the sex toys? Fuck. That's what I'm here for. You want sex? I wish for sex. Wait, why don't I just leave? You can't leave your parents unsupervised. I'm gonna cut up the mom because I feel like the mom is the one target. Alrighty, so here's what's here's what's going to happen. Why do you want the parents' toys if they're used? I know. Why not? You see, you will save money. I'm gonna cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just save the money and go. And try both. You have saved. Oh, you're right. True. What do you what, what do you need our what do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. Even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like a time when you left me to start for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well I don't talk talking about. <gasps> she knows about the murder. I never told anyone what you two little psychos it, it did, to, did to that girl. <laughs> what are you on about? Take... Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to the classmate of yours who went missing. I knew the second she was found dead near the warehouse you, you used to play at. <laughs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I'm a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint. Ah, yes. The patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue. Let's see whose blood I shall use. Which one do you cut? Mother. <laughs> Honey! It's fine. Don't worry about me. Yeah, she wouldn't worry about you in, in return. Nah. Got blood. Got milk? Alright, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this, this, this masterpiece. Is that dialogue before you cut them even? Oh, I'm curious. No, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just curious yet. Mom deserves it more, but dad would probably... Anyway, yeah, mom definitely as I said. Two human-shaped sacks of blood sit on the floor, but you have nothing to cut them with. Yeah. I thought they would... They would, like, talk. But I guess they don't talk. What a shame. I was hoping they would, like, talk and be like, Oh, no. Please. Okay, let's see dad now. Yeah, I do agree. Well, not that mom de not that mom de deserves it. But I think... I think the mother should have been maybe at least more involved, right? Like, you have to really, you have to deal with the problem early. Otherwise, it's only going to get worse. You're late to the party. What's been happening so far, choice-wise? 
I've been trying my best to get with the sister, but don't. There's no no spoilers, no spoilers. I've just been figuring out the decisions on my own based on my best guesses. No spoilers. If you spoil, you get an instant per permanent ban. Let's see what the dad wants. Okay, one of you draws in blood. Okay, okay. So same lines. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 yep, yep. You won't spoil anything. Good, good luck. Thank you. And hopefully you enjoy the incest show. Cut the father. You get your father's arm, arm, a good slice. Hey! Which one of no screaming escapes you? Mother would like to gouge your mother would like to gouge your eyes out and feed them to you. It brings your heart great delight. Got blood. Got milk. I kinda like this option more because it like hurts her more. I feel like this like hurts her a lot more. Like, you hurt her emotionally, which is damage that you can never fully recover from. IMO. Uh Yeah, and then there were runes on the floor. Yeah, runes. Hello, great demon! Lucky Ma, I drew a circle! Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you. You never No, no, don't let her get a rise out of you now. Candles, 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 candles. Candles. Where are the candles, mom? Where are the candles, mom? Now. We all die eventually. <laughs> True. Good year. We all die eventually. The very natural state of things. <clears throat> Truly, the greatest circle ever drawn. True. My voice is dying. These, these. I did not expect to do so much voice, like voice stuff. Today. Oh fuck. Where are the candles? No. Uh, uh, candles. Where? Don't spoil it. We are. Uh, we have never gotten stuck on a puzzle before, ever. No, you can't leave. Your prisoners, prisoners, take your watch up. Don't spoil it. I'll find the candles eventually. It's all about patience, Chan. It's all about patience. Okay. You have to be okay with with watching me stumble around in the dark, trying to find candles. Wait, didn't I have candles? Come on now. I just trust you to keep an eye on experience. Yeah, yeah, you have them. No. Wash laundry. I just kind of like. I imagine she's carrying around like a giant laundry basket. Like, like she's one handing a laundry basket, in the other hand is a gun. And she's doing all of this like one handed while carrying her like full load, load, load of laundry. Ah! Got candles to for Here we go. Found it. Never, never got stuck in a puzzle. Sure, sure. Sure. Just in case, you don't want me to challenge you if you stray away from like incest, right? Exactly. If I stray away, there's, there's, get chat. There's no way I stray away. There's no- You don't even have to- Don't even shout at me. There's- there, There's- There's- There's no way. I am drawn to incest. Drawn to it. I- I can't escape it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright, that's all the candles I had. Andrew! Welcome back! Okay, god, please. Can I please have your deeper voice? Can I have- Can I have your voice, Andrew? Which is like my voice? So it's easier in my throat? Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card. I do? You do? I can only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. Being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah? Well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. What? What? No, 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 no. The, the, Andrew, this is a bad choice. Andrew, Andrew. Get up. You, you, you. You have a call to make. Ashley, take it. Take her. Take her to the phone. You draw your gun. You owe me a hug. What's with you tonight? I thought you grew out of this touchy feely crap. There's just a lot going on. I mean, if you need one, sure, but but you know, with the audience. <laughs> Never mind. Clearly, clearly, you're just fine. Forget this. There's a phone in the living room. Get to it. But I want to see you hug her. I want to see you hug her. God damn it, hug her. What if I just wait, wait, wait? What if I just get stuff first? Uh, now can I get the sex toys or no? Fuck. You still can't, and I still can't sit in. I still can't sit in the cock chair. God damn it. You appreciate my agency. Look, to be fair, to be fair, in a game like this, you have to go full agency, full. That is an amazing choice. The hell is she gonna do with, with the gun pointed at her? True. No way she'll just, you know, run, run away and like, you know, 50-50 f 
50-50 Off we go! Can I talk to the dad? The dad is like speechless. The dad, just like in her, in like their own real life, he's been non-existent. He's useless. Wait, mom, can you get the can you get the sex toys? No, god damn it. But no one wants the sex toys. What the fuck? Run faster and a bullet? Exactly. She ain't running. You're in luck, as the customer service line has just opened for the day. Yet somehow there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. This is awkward. Yeah, this is awkward. Um, hmm. This is how Stockholm sy Syndrome starts, right? Like Stockholm Syndrome, the whole thing where you get like, you know, kidnapped or like, you know, like, you're like a hostage, right? You start to like, want to do things for you, for your hostage taker because like, you know, you want to like, appease them or like, please them. But does that apply when it's your own parents, right? I feel like there's never been a study of like Stockholm Syndrome involving a figure of authority and love in your life or maybe lack thereof, right? I wonder if you still get the same effect or if you would act just like, as like mom and be like, holy fuck, I'm so annoyed with you kids. Yeah, this is awkward. Um, you know, what is nice. It's if you think about what's, what's crazy about the whole thing. They've been here the entire night, okay? The customer service lines are just opening, aka it's daytime, okay? My theory about this game is that she's a hot wife, right? My theory, okay, not Ashley. Ashley is only for Andrew, but my theory about the mom is that she's a hot wife for the entire neighborhood and that they're into cuck play because that's why they have the cuck chair inside of their bedroom, right? So when does she, when do the neighbors expect the mom to go around, right? Because then there's a problem. You wait too long on customer service, it, it's gonna take way too long. They're gonna get sus- that people are gonna get suspicious in the neighborhood. They're, they're, they're gonna be like, where's my hot wife? Or, hey, it's my turn in the chair. How come they haven't called me yet? No, like, wow, they're really quiet today. Usually right about now, he gets pegged. I hate customer service so much. Calling takes forever. Please hold, Hey, representative will be with you as soon as- as I have to say, okay, I have to say exactly like, like, like they say it. Channel, channel my, my, uh, my inner CSR. <laughs> Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. And the crazy part is, right, somebody's gonna knock on the door and they'll be like, hey, it's my turn, it's my turn to watch. Or like, hey, where's my hot wife, huh? It's my turn with her, right? And because they listen, you can't wait forever. Listen, it's like a dick appointment. When you know you have like a dick appointment, you want it, right? Like you're feeling for it. Like you're just thinking about it, right? Like you think, oh boy, oh boy, six, eight a.m. this day, right before she goes to work. Look at the fuck. And then no one comes. You wait five minutes, ten minutes. You you think about that one time when you were in the chair watching him get like pegged. Like, wow, the, the, I mean, the cock chair was like cool, but like, did you see her moves? 15, 15 minutes in it passes. A knock at the door. Just a door, to, just a door to door salesman. You close the door in like anger after you punch him. 30 minutes passes, and now you're really horny. Your dick has been throbbing. At this point, the doctors would say, hey, jerk one off, you're gonna die of like, you know, your, your dick's gonna fall off. Two hours pass, she still hasn't come. This, at this point, you have natural Viagra coursing through your veins. You walk up to the door, rock hard. And you're like, where's my hot wife? The entire plan is foiled. Absolutely foiled. That's my headcanon for this game. Right now. Right now. The hot wife mom. She's late for her dick appointment. Please hold. The representative will be with you as, as soon as possible. The crazy part is, too, is that clearly they have regular jobs, too, right? So, at some point, wouldn't their regular job also call and be like, Oh, yes, you know that, like, neighborhood hot, hot you know the neighborhood hot, hot wife? Well, she hasn't come in yet. The entire office is going to be like, oh my god, we need, we, we need to see what's up. Listen, it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like having like a, you guys know how like sometimes people have like outdoor cats that they leave like cats outside? I'm not saying you would fuck the cat, I'm just saying like, you know what I mean? Like you have an outdoor cat and you would like play with the cat, the like neighborhood cat. And it, it like walks up to you and like stuff, and you like pet it, right? And like everybody loves a neighborhood cat. The mom is the neighborhood cat. Instead of a cat, she's a hot wife. She fucks everybody. So everybody, if they don't see the cat for like a, for like a, a, a couple hours, they would go over to their to the no nest of the cat and be like, "Hey, is everything fine with the cat?" 
Boom, you walk in, you see someone holding the cat at gunpoint. I'm like, oh my god, I was gonna fuck the cat today. All hell breaks uh, breaks loose. Ah. Hey, I'm back. Was doing something. What, what did you you miss? We need our hot wife back. Yeah, exactly. All you missed was was me ranting about a uh, a hot wife. Yes. My it's it's my theory about how the mom is actually a hot wife for the entire neighborhood, and the dad it like loves and the dad sits in the chair or someone sits in the chair to to in in the cock chair in the bedroom. Please hold. My representative will, will be with you as soon as as as. Yeah. CSR, come on. The voice. I need to channel my inner customer service voice. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as as possible. Fuck. Roughly a quarter of a millennia later, a mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry. Let me just confirm. Uh, you said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That is what I said. Yes. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Let your card get stolen. Indeed. I'm not all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> uh, uh, you sound just like that hot wife at 402. You doubt it. You feel like the dad just gets tied up and watches it use like a toys. That's what I'm thinking. Or he gets pegged, right? Either or, right? Either he gets pegged or she uses a toys, but somebody is sit but somebody sits in that chair. That's why my theory, because that chair, it's facing the bed. It's a cuck chair. I think he gets tied up, right? He gets tied down to the chair. He's like, oh, oh, fuck my wife. Oh, oh. And it's like, oh my god. As she's as she's as she's getting like like rails. Like, you bet toys are used on them too, probably. That's that's what I'm saying, right? Guys, this is a crazy family. Think about it. The incest incest doesn't come out of nowhere. It is a learned behavior. And who better to learn it from than mom and dad? <laughs> There we go, your gold! Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. Alright then, have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. Now it's back into the basement with you. I don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt we were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. No, Mom. This is small talk. Small talk is my gun entering- is my bullet entering your- your brain. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, let's just double check here. Make sure that there's something else I can do. What if I just let, let her go? Wait, let's look through your purse together. You want to watch TV, Mom? No, you want to go to the kitchen? What if she's just following me? The end? Why is she following me? Usually, you would lead someone in front of you at, at gunpoint, so the like, gun is like ready. The card should be freed now. Unlike your mother, who Andrew quickly ties back up. You haven't noticed the dad has rope. Burns it. I dumb. Yeah, we like saw that. But still, I guarantee you, there's. I guarantee you, there's a cuck angle to it. I guarantee you that the rope is used to force him into cuckoldry, to force him to watch as she's the hot wife. No, see that chair. Exactly, the chair is a good catch. Why would there be a random chair in the corner? That chair serves no no that chair serves no purpose. None. Absolutely none. I was looking at what you set up here. Let's just say it's not quite it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes look like anymore. God, your memory's such shit. Though I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card, I'll go, I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning though. Well, yeah, but... I mean, still. I'm over... I'm overprotective of you now. Just hand the card, I... Actually... Can I really leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what to say to him. He's wishy-washy enough as it is. Actually... Well, you wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Yeah, see? Like, you used to use chairs to, to like, to put your clothes on, right? Like, that's what I did, too. But I've never used a chair to, like, cut myself, so who, who really knows? Follow your heart, anything. 
You know this? Love begins. Ah, uh, no, but like, like, uh, fuck. Uh, let me let me explain my reasoning, okay? Like a book, like a book report on incest, okay? My two thoughts are this: if I trust him and I simply leave him alone, I know that he's in deep because of the Andy and Lele thing, right? I guarantee that. And I wonder if doing that is going to make him fall more in love with Ashley. However, I could say fuck it, get it over with, and just fuck him. Right here, right there, right now. On the bed, right there. But we need, but we need the money. I, 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 I trust him. Just give me the card. I'll go get the money. Got credit card. Please be careful. Plus, plus, plus. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. We're gonna make him fiend after her. He's gonna be like, Want her always? When are you ever? <laughs> See you later. Oh, it'll be fine. Follow your, follow your heart, not small head. Exactly. Follow my heart, not small head. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. You're Andrew. There's nothing you can do about, about the missing audio. At least you can draw the missing runes. And where did I actually get all, the, all this blood? Yeah, where did, where did you get all the blood, huh? I wonder. Got blood! Is she making you do this? No. Are you, are you, are you gonna kill us? Come on, of course not. Uh, technically, anyway. And what is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Just let us get you a little. We'll leave you alone after that. How about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. No, I'm kind of worried about Ashley, guys. Guys, I am. I, I miss Ashley now. I want Ashley. My small head won out. My small head didn't win out. There was something I tried to, to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I want to apologize to you. For always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. Holy fuck, she actually knew. She knew about her great mistake. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was, I, I was already stuck with a seven and a five-year-old to care for. I think you'd have fared better than me. Wait, wait, wait. Seven and a five-year-old. And he's like 22, right? He's like 20, 22 based on the, the, the description of the game. Holy fuck, she had them as like a 15-year-old. She, she, she was a teen mother. Jesus Christ. Yeah, mom at 15 had to have, you know what I mean? Jesus Christ. She was, she was not ready. But at the same time... You know what I mean? That's why women's rights are very important. You don't want people to end up like psychopaths. They would know. This isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an, ex it's, it's, it's an, it's an explanation. I never hated you. I'm just a fuck up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. <laughs> so fine. Look where we are right now. When well, you were such an easy child, I thought we'd be just fine having another. You dumbass. I was telling on Ashley to be so. I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? It's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good word for you, you'd be as good as- you'd, you'd be as- you're as good as hired. Be forewarned, though, they get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all the time. What do you say? Your parents are offering you a olive branch. Decline. Well, about Ashley. I... Did you guys like how I instantly declined? <laughs> I didn't even bother saving. Because I know. I know exactly what. I don't even need to save. I knew. In my heart of hearts. I knew. I wish you wouldn't talk about it that way. Let's not fight. Let's not fight. There's a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. What were those death? What, what what were those death certificates about? Anyway, it's a life insurance scam. Nothing more. How's that work? It's a doctor. Well, a surgeon actually. After they told us you'll be stuck in, after they told us you'll be stuck in that apartment, we got redirected 
Damn. And as far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had any life insurance. Well, I got it for you two after you got quarantined. After? That's why you get it before, so your rates are lower, dog. I'm kinda it's kind of curious that they let you do that. So when we died, were you in on it? Of course not. I really thought you died. This is your body to be burned because of the parasites. That's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah. She's full of shit. Where are you going? I have to finish setting- I have to finish setting this thing up for her. Oh, come on. Forget about this nonsense. We can sort the documents out. Oh, you can even live here if it doesn't work out. You leave this whole mess behind you. Just like that. Natsuka. I'm not really interested. What? But that, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not... No. Uh, I get it. Yeah? You fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> you you knew. You knew all this at this time. Was it was it the little cum drops on the floor as she walked up and down down the stairs? I think so. Was it the little cum drops as she drew the circle around you? The snail trail that she left around you? I think so. Something gave it away. Something. I thought you died. That's why I stopped talking to you. It's scary talking to the ghost. Exactly, right? It's like, dude, like, okay, gee, thanks. Thanks for absolving. Mmm, the cum drops. Yummy! <laughs> Never say that ever again. Jesus Christ. Uh, cummy, yummy, yummy, cummy. Oh, I love my yummy, cummy cum drops. Huh? <laughs> that is disgusting. Andrew, she's your sister, for God's sake. I haven't done anything. What the hell, Mom? Why does she give you that? I mean, it's worth all this. Uh, it's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. Why did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever, dude. Uh, honestly, I would feel like a failure of a parent if this ever happened to me. Like, where the fuck did I go wrong? Like, somewhere, somehow, my genes contributed to something. I, my genes inside my sperm made this. And it's like, I, I, I'd be so mad at, at myself. I'd be like, fuck. It's all those episodes of Yasuga no, no Sora I watched. Fuck. No, uh, I mean, yes you are, but I have never... I'm back! Now of all times? I got the money! Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? It's not looking good for you, man. It's not looking good- it's, it's, it's not looking good for you, Andrew. <laughs> oh god, she's like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, wow! I might die, oh god, oh god, oh god. I wanna die. Uh, well, whatever, summon the fucking demon already. Oh, so eager. Let's see if it shows up though. Since there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. Andrew, light the candles. Your father doesn't have anything to, to say. No shit. My father is useless. He's always been like that. Just going along with your mother's whims. <gasps> what did I say? What'd I say, chat? What'd I say? It's learned behavior. Learned behavior comes from the very top. Selling kid was a sign that she's a bad parent, eh? Hey, right? Uh, how, who, who could have guessed? Who could have guessed that that means that she's, she's a bad parent? Who could have guessed? Did it you then? You were just like him. God damn it. Wait, is the implication that my parents are siblings? Oh god, I'm an incest baby, guys. Fuck! I knew something was, was uh, wrong. Alright, let's, 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 let's go to the, to the bed, come on. To bed? Bed. Cuck chair, cuck chair, cuck chair. Cuck chair. You do, I... I'll watch. Alright, candles it is. Boom. Boom. Goodbye, family. Alright, get to it. You are Ashley. Woo! Not yet, not yet. Sofa? Anything? No. Purse? Anything? No. Bed. Bed? Bed. Mind you, they would, they've been starving for like days, right? I'm surprised they even have energy, and I'm surprised that her tits are apparently still fat. I'm very surprised. Usually those things wither away first. Uh, alright. Demon time. Oh, it's demon time, baby. Um. Hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. 
Sorry, I'm so gassy. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone for the, for the second hand. Embarrassment. Tar soul. What the fuck is that? I, I offer those two. The screaming is short lived as the demon steals their souls. Huh. Huh. I wonder if I just feel something. Well, anyway, so the music was, was, wasn't needed to summon you after all? Why, why not to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal! Charge it up, please! Good trinket works again, yes. Thank you! Hmm. What? Hello. This is the brother. The one you fantasize over? That's right. My pride and joy. <laughs> and no. You can't have his soul. It's mine. Nah. I will see you again, Tarsoul. Demon is cute. Be really cute. I'm trying to make them fuck already. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to speedrun. Uh, uh, listen. We don't end We don't end this game until they fuck. Okay? They're the cultists. And then they would eat regularly at the cafe. Oh yeah, it's true. They're just very casual about it. Sure, I'll make another offering once a, a trigger needs, needs to be charged. Uh, again. I guess they could recover eventually, slowly. I will summon you. Bring this one with you. Uh, me? Why? Okie dokie. Bye bye. <laughs> bye now. The entity leaves. That's it. The, the trigger is uh, charged. What do you mean it'll summon you? Who cares? What, what, what do we do about the bodies? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy, focus. Right, uh, the bodies. Uh, uh, well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere? Who knows? Meanwhile, there's a murder investigation. Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can we just dump them in the ocean or something? Nope, Ashley, we're gonna make them vanish, not wash over shore somewhere. Yeah, Ashley, God, get, get the times, Ashley. It's all about hiding bodies in, like, you know, the, like, dirt, I don't know. Uh, how to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Ah, right you are. See, I'm not a dumbass all the time. No, just dumb and that. It's clogged, by the way. It's clogged. No, wow. Check this smart. Check out this smart ass right here. Andrew is untying the pants, but stops. Wait. What? What is it? Is that. Breathing? You take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so lovely. Holy shit. Oh, he is. Mom, too. Wait. He only took their souls. Their bodies linger on. Their bodies linger on. Focus on her body, Andrew. Exactly. Focus, and Andrew. Fo a Andy, focus, please. You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat. Their lungs draw an air. Oh, God. What is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you in into a vegetable. Okay, well, that's one, of, that's, one, that's one way to say it. We, we, we don't say that now for obvious reasons. That can't be. The cult has died, and the warden, too. Well, I mean, did, did you actually check? Oh my god. I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No. No, 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 no. Please, please tell me he wasn't so alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this, huh? Come on now. I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. Gee, good job, Ashley. Good, good way to rub it in. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, that, that. It changes everything, doesn't it? You wanna leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. No, if you wanna leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Would it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. I don't know, I, I, I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, a Andrew, Andrew, look, look, look here for a sec, look. Two targets. Whoa, what? No! Oh! You get your father, too. 
What are you doing? There, all dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the th- dirty work. Now it's even. Exactly, now it's even. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Yeah, drain the like blood. Good, good. Drain, drain. All right, I'll, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, it's flooding. Huh? Oh, oh what the hell? Gross. Ah, great. A, a drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the a drain with. Unclog my pussy with your fat cock. Sorry, I just had to say it, sorry. How are you gonna clog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the, the lid, we boil down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. I'm going to need a screwdriver, some baking soda and vinegar. Yeah. Ashley won't allow it, figures. Figures, right? Mom is still warm and usable. Wait, you just realized what? He was talking about cutting off the cow's head, he said, like he was some kind of plant. Mmm. And that, that's a really new phrase that was added after episode 2 released. Oh, you wonder if it's related to them turning into vegetables. Maybe. Probably. I mean, it has to be, right? It has to be. Okay, let, let me grab the the good stuff here. We should probably bring bring the purse. No, we should leave, leave, leave the purse. Actually, no, we should bring, bring, bring this. If you bring the purse, then it seems like they didn't leave out of, out of nowhere, right? Should the top cabinets got baking soda. Nice. Uh, vinegar. What do you get? Ah, vinegar from the, uh, here. Right? No, that's a, that, that, that's a dumb place for vinegar. Vinegar where? Baking soda. I got baking soda. A dish rack in a blender. Baking soda. I got baking soda. Baking. If you've never heard that song, then the, what I'm saying must sound nonsensical. Baking soda. I got baking soda. Here you go, bro. Yeah, that's actually that's like really nice for nice for nice for each other. It's cool that they made it like like a new thing as well. Cause I like I like when the game developers like do that. Cause like obviously when you're developing something, right? You don't know beforehand everything that you want to have in the game. So if you go back and you tweak it so that it fits your like new stuff, all of a sudden it like it feels good. It keeps things feeling cohesive, right? Very cohesive. It makes it very difficult for like things to just like trail off elsewhere. Another game that like does this re- re- really well is um, Road Warden. I haven't finished it, but apparently the new ending in that game, as part of the anniversary update, required them to update so much of the game that anybody who just started the like, game before that like, like update had to restart too, because like everything was like changed to accommodate these like new things because the side story of that game was fully released as well, which we will finish Road Warden eventually, as well as the side story. I didn't expect this game to be so long, nor did I expect any of our long games to have lasted for so long either. But that game is also a masterpiece in, in the terms of writing. So if you like that kind of stuff, I highly recommend checking out Road Warden. There's no incest, which may make you very, very sad, but it is one of the best narrative adventure games ever, and I'm only a third of, of the way through. It is so fucking good. Andrew unscrews the drain lid, pouring some baking soda. You pour, gen- you pour down the generous amount of baking soda, and then douse it with vinegar. The soda start bubbling up, but the clock doesn't lessen one a bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's who's gonna have to get in there? But of course, I am but a dainty little, little lady. You can't expect me to me to do a man's job. Fine, just just fine. Just get me the gloves. Like it when people are not afraid to change stuff that's already at least. Exactly. Exactly. Especially to like fit like a vision, right? Because you never really know, right? Some idea that you may have had initially may may not pan out, and it may not be as a good, right? So if you're willing to like change it, if you're willing to like say, okay, this is now a much like being able to basically say, okay, what I had wasn't as a good, my bad, do it a new way. That to me is commendable. It shows like a um, a willingness to let pride go, and also a willingness to sort of to just to just be like, okay, I'm gonna do it better at least. Disagree in in. In Skullgirls. Okay, but wasn't that like a mechanical change? I remember the game mechanics in, a, in that game changed like badly. Like story-wise, I think story elements fine. Game mechanics, I... 
I'm much more heavily against game mechanic changes because like if you change the feeling of a game, then you mess with like why people like the game in the first place. Censorship changes. Oh yeah. Cause that they, they had to like cover up a lot of the characters, right? I mean to be fair, it's like I it, like there was a lot of like, you know, reasons why. Like, I don't necessarily agree with it either, because like it's kind of like a remnant of like time, right? It's like you uh, I mean, like the artwork was was like made to be that way intentionally. It's like a remnant of like time. But I can see why they, you know, censored a lot of the the like boober, but like the yeah, assets up. Unless there's a different sense censorship that uh, 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 I think of. But all I remember was that it's a lot more, it's a lot less like boobad. There's a lot less booba. Uh, final system update. Yeah, like panties. Although some of it was like good, I think. Because there was some imagery which was like very like, you know, iffy. Like, uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, we all know it. But like, you know what I mean? Other panties and like stuff, they they seem very minimal to like censor. Very, very minimal to like censor. Especially, especially since like, like it's a relic, right? Like it feels weird to like change it. Like it makes sense from like a, um, from like a, we want to get at the times kind of deal. But at the same time, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, it is what it is now, right? There's no way you can really sort of like change history, if that makes sense. Not that I necessarily disagree with it as like a, as like a, as like a philosophical thing, right? Like I agree we should move towards like more, you know, good representations of like women that are not just like, you know, sex icons, right? It's the whole like, you know, fridging thing. Like you don't want to just fridge every woman in like any l like media, right? But I feel like for hi for historical reasons, just move forward and do better versus just going going back and and like change it. But the slight like imagery of like, you know, say like there was a lot of like very 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 close designs to like, you know, Nazi stuff, which you like you know what I mean? It was inspired by like a certain time period plus like stuff. It makes sense why they would want to remove that just for the sake of like avoiding the comparisons, right? Like there's there's like the removal for the sake of like a change in philosophy, but there's also the removal for the sake of like let's avoid the fire that is that is that is about to, about to like 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 sorry. Change is always a very complex thing. Story wise, I I like it a, a lot, except for historical pieces of like stories. Not that I agree with them. It's just it's a, it's a piece of history. Like I wouldn't want someone to rewrite um uh uh what's that one book? It, was it To Kill a Mockingbird? I think. I wouldn't want someone to rewrite that and remove the uh, bad words. Not because I agree with them, but because like it's like a relic of the like, time. You think more stuff change the world? Like at some points they had Andrew playing with Ashley's hair. Ah, that's a good change. I guess that's when they probably leaned very heavily into like the make it very obvious the like incest angle. Very obvious. But yeah, change is like a very difficult thing to like do uh, do a well. Game mechanic stuff I usually never like change unless it's, it's a really bad issue like. Like a one-shot move, all it's in like sound design and stuff. Unless it's really, really bad, like your game had like a crazy element of like Nazism in it, then I would be like, okay, okay, fine, change it, right? But like, if it's just something that's like that, then I would say probably just like leave it. Like recognize that it it's a problem, move forward. But you know what I mean? It, it it's so minor that I wonder why almost. Like why even bother? It's a relic of like history now. If that makes sense. Well, incest was added later on, so it makes sense. Really? This game didn't have incest at first? What a sham! This game needed incest from day one. Here you go, have fun! Hand it Andrew the rubber gloves. Again, none of what I said, none of what I said is me endorsing those kind of mind those those kind of mindsets, right? Like, I do agree. Things should be a lot better. I'm just saying from a historical like standpoint. It's very difficult to sort of justify those like changes. Very, very difficult. Unless it's a very recent game. But Skull Girls is like really old at this point. Really old. Really, their next title could have just been like a much better thing, and they could have like admitted, yeah, it's a big, it's a big issue. But again, you have to you have to also remember from that from that. Just I'll stop talking about this soon. But from from that timeline of like what, what it happened to, it's like that was when we really started to like really see like efforts to bring this stuff to the. Uh, to light to actually work, right? For a long time, people were talking about it and like nothing really changed, nothing really got better. And then now that things were starting to to get better, it was like the time to like do it. It was the only good time to like do it, and it was like the the time to like to like basically be like yeah, you know what? This was kind of weird, and like we should have probably fixed it at like day one, but we had this idea, right? Like this, it's a very complex issue across like time. 
nowadays, you know what I mean? Now it's just it, now it's baked in from day one. But like back then, th that like change was just a part of like a a very complex, I guess, like in in this industry wide realization of like things, Re a lot of things, a lot of really bad things. So, but yeah, I really hope that the incest wasn't added. Later on. I'm surprised about that because uh, this is my first time playing it, so I I don't know. I knew nothing about like you know 1.0. I can't imagine that being the like, case, because like it feels so deeply ingrained into what the story is like going for, right? Not that the incest is an important part, but that the incest is like one other angle of uh, abuse that like actually uses to to control Andrew, right? Like this whole story is about abuse at like every level, right? Abuse at like you know the governmental level when they're put inside quarantine, the abuse within the family, and uh, abuse among close peers, aka like like siblings. This entire story is about power dynamics taken to the very extreme with a with a hint of mysticism to like really sell the uh, like oh my god this is some crazy shit happen. As far as you're aware yes ne Nemle was asked about it and, and got like you know what let's do that. Wait really? <laughs> That's amazing. That's actually amazing. They were just like yep incest. Down. You know what? Sounds like a great idea. Down. I'll add it. Sure. He digs out god knows what out of the drain. A simply never ending amount of God knows what. Oh god, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Bold of you to call me that when I'm armed. Oh god, it's just. I, I know this. It's the hair. Chat? You've never had long hair, like I do. I'm telling you right now, this shit smells disgusting. I fucking hate it, right? I look cool as fuck with long hair. But I'm telling you right now, the worst part is the cleanup. There's fucking hair everywhere, it smells so bad. The sludge. You wouldn't. Come here, you. No, 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 don't you dare. I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, Andrew, I'm sorry, I apologize. Fine, get spared, for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. Not so surprising given that Nemle did self cess before. What the fuck does that mean? What what is self cessed? What is that? You can't have incest with yourself. What does that even mean? You and your brother dismember your parents. And it's about them. And decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy like you expect them to. Now he's just chill. He's just following along. Because he's into you. I think this is this is when like, you know, things start to really break, right? Now, like, now like Ashley is realizing, oh yeah. Andrew has fully fallen over for her. Fully. This isn't their first game. I have to play the I I am gonna play all of their games on the stream. There's so many different series that that I have to play. Football's there, which again I'm sorry for dropping your name in this. That whole series, I've been planning like a day to like play them all. Um, but now this, like, ah, there's too many, there's too many games to play, chat. There's too many games to play, chat. Chat, there's too many games to play, chat. I don't know what to do. Chat, there are too many games to play, and it feels like there's never enough time. I don't know what to do, but I have to play their first game now. I have to. Not today, obviously, some, some of the day. But at some point, we, we will go through the entire Nemle incest, uh, chronology. Or is it a discography? Sorry. She's just like, huh? Who is it? What? No, nothing. Andrew. If you're tired, I, I can I can take care of the rest. What? No, it, it's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Uh, what? To think I I. To think I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh, right. Then again, I bet you're just moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Huh? What? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. Wait. Why does she react like this? I, uh, this is, I can't tell if she's like, happy that she's like, you know, now she has someone that she can relate to. You know what this is? This may be 
she can now relate to somebody. But this is Ashley's entire sort of backstory, right? She's never had a friend. She's never had anyone that she can get like, close to. She's only ever had Andrew, but Andrew this entire time has been hesitant. Very hesitant for very obvious reasons to get very close to her, right? Sorry, I'm like drooling because of this. Um, I'm not drooling for any particular reason. It's not because I'm talking about Ashley. But this entire time she's been alone. And now, with Andrew acting the way that he is, she is someone that truly understands her. Someone that she probably feels like, hey, get to me now. I mean, the first chapter wasn't changed that much. There's still, there, there, there was still the, the, the incestuous anger. I also never found what said, just, just people saying they did, so I'm still not sure if it's true. Either true, though, it was mostly the direction of, of the second episode, which is the one, uh, okay. Self says we have se uh, we have sex with, with yourself. Like, for example, with a you from a parallel universe or a clone. Holy fuck. I have to play, I have to play, uh, like, first game. You guys ever watch, uh, uh, Looper? Where, like, you know, Ryan Gosling goes back into the future to kill Bruce Willis or something? Was it, was it Bruce Willis? Imagine if instead it was like Brokeback Mountain but with himself and they, and they just started to like fuck. That would have been like the best movie ever, actually. You've never seen Proof Shelf, but Nemli is kind of is kind of enigmatic. People more or less convinced that it's a woman, but even that isn't kinda of like kinda of affirmed. I mean That's that's fine though. It's like it's like it's a bit like VTubing, right? The 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 artists and who they are, you kind of like, you know, it like blends in and it, it kind of like disappears among who they present themselves as. Clone is clone cess, doesn't count. How? Ugh. How many how many cess categories are there? That's good. You're being weird. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> All right, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach, like you're pregnant from all those cummies, these yummy cummies in your tummy. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Got total time too. Got all the limbs, that's a lot of limbs. Got a head. Got a pile of organs. Got a head. Holy shit, that's a lot of limbs. Where well, uh, losing these will cost you an arm and, and leg. Don't lose it. Organs, ear, and torso. The things you put in your pockets. The things we put in our pockets. In our fucking pockets. Now, we, we, we I can't flush it for obvious reasons. But also, you ideally want to wash blood off because it's very easy to see traces of like blood. Very, very easy. Even a small amount, you can basically find using certain, certain chemicals. The things you put in your pockets. Wow, you didn't know that clone cess is clone cess and that it doesn't count. <laughs> Thanks. Why did you say thank you for that? <laughs> Just don't ask how you know it. How do you know it, huh? Human Lego, the things you put in your pockets. It's like those, um, you know, it's like those like Lego toys of like, like dudes. It's just like that. You like, you like, you like mix and match. Can't wait to mix and match. Fireplace. Oh, can we, can, can we bring a bodies here? It would be like a cremation. There's no way the temperature of the thing gets high enough. Also, cremation does not get rid of bones. Bones have to be grind down, and bone dust is very toxic. Woohoo! Watch! But his torso is above the fireplace. And he rolls his eyes, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing's happening. Give it a minute, goddamn. This, is, this isn't working. It makes me kind of hungry, though. Oh my god. <sighs> Let's leave this be for now. Oh my god. It makes me kind of hungry, though. Oh boy, I'm so hungry. I really want some body parts. What the fuck am I playing, chat? Got the limbs and the chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skin the heads. Got faces. Got skull. What do I do with the, with the faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? What about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the bones. What about the, the brain? Kinda ugly. Chopped meat. What if I just mix like food? You pour your parents' organs in the blender and blend away. Oh my god, what a smoothie. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. All of which you pour down the kitchen sink. Do not pour things down the sink either, because they can actually trace it by the trail that it leaves going down your sewer pipes. I'm giving you too much like, you know, too much um too much knowledge on how to hide like a body. 
But like, I know all this from like watching like shows about like crime forensic stuff. And I love watching that shit. You're truly a human of culture. How do you feel, chat member, being complimented by a fellow chat member? You, you blushed. What have I done? Where have you all come from? The moment that I play one incest game, you guys all come here. Everyone, chat. How's that? Good is gone. I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. What? Do you want diseases? Did you want a disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You, you really take me for an, for an idiot. Don't you? Sorry, I'm starting so much. Oh god. I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the drain. <laughs> All right, that was pretty smart, I guess, for an idiot. Great. I love how how they're flirting. I do love it. Ooh, I know, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into a soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup? What was that? What was that soup? I mean, I mean, you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it. You fucking nerd. Nerd! You're welcome. I have to use the washroom, chat. I'll be right back, okay? Right back, just a moment. I need to use the washroom. I need to see what my dog is doing. I, I think she's going to lay bed. Give me one moment. What the dog doing? Yeah, sorry about that. My dog was just like being crazy. Um, she just woke up from like a nap, but she still needs to sleep. Dogs need to sleep for like a long time. <laughs> yeah, because seeing the contest of the thing, the property of women that said, and you know, this one case where everyone assumed the other women but channel to be a male sumikizi of girls last tour. You know, though that one wasn't as obvious as this one. I mean, to be fair, it's like who the author is isn't like, you know, isn't like super important. In the grand scheme of things, it's like, it's like, it's like it doesn't really matter who 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 who, who they are, because they're really good at like what they like do, regardless. Never knew. Namely, is soon, soon soon to be a fajoshi, which is a way to dismiss fadanshi existence. They're if a woman. Why Sukumizu though? No, I don't know. I just remember how everyone for some reason just thought that they were a woman, huh? Okay, now we gotta go over here. Oh shoot, sorry, I was wasn't focused on it. I need the 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 the, 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 the ingredients. Fuck. Well, what about the body? Uh, should we check it out? No, no, no. Do faces into the fire. That is not gonna do anything. The house is just- it, it's, it's gonna get all like, you know, oily. Really oily. Got potatoes, nice. Got carrots, nice. Can I bury the, bury the bodies here? Onions. Can I bury the, bury the bodies here or no? Wait. Oh, we just walk around. Aren't we like covered in like blood and like guts? I'm pretty sure we're covered in like blood like us. While your parents might belong to trash, it, it isn't a good idea to, to dunk them in here as they are. Maybe the bodies look less conspicuous. I'm also carrying like like dozens of like limbs, dozens. I'll put it inside the ice cream stall. Yeah, put it inside the car. No, there's no other secret here. Okay, I thought there was more like stuff like this. What if I frame someone? I can frame my neighbor for for the murder easily, very easily. Alright, go over here. Anyways, we got the we have wet ingredients. Let's let's let, let's make some soup. You have all, all the ingredients prepared. What? You cut the potatoes. And, there we go. Cut, 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 cut. Yep, 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 yep. Look at that. Much, but much, much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still needed? I do the, the bones, the, the skulls. The, you know what I mean? The the stuff that you can't deal with. Do you think the soup is ready yet? No. Dog, we do skulls. Skulls! Well, it's important in one sense, in the sense that everyone wants to see Nemle's feet. Oh my god, you sick fucks. Yeah, see? Fetishize, fetishization of, of, of the author. That is a, that's a very common issue. Very, very common issue. Yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of like, you know, why VTubing is so interesting, right? You can do a lot of this stuff. Not that I'm like, you know, afraid of people knowing that I do this like stuff. But that, like this, this stuff is very like, it's freeing to be able to just like do anything and like not have to worry about like you know circumstances. You feel more at tune with yourself in a way, and also you get you get to present like an interesting image to IMO. 
And also because no one wants to, wants, to, wants to see your feet, even though you guys have seen it. Dinner's ready! Even though you, you guys have seen see my feet. I'm eating too. Of course! This is the last hearty home quick meal for a while, after all. I suppose. That's right! Now say, ah, uh, ah, uh, unex unexpected. Well, well, how is it? But it's okay. Just, just okay. I mean, it's better, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, alright? <laughs> That's crazy. Do you think cannibals like talk about like food in like name? Like, oh yes, here's Jeffrey. This is a fine Jeffrey, much better than Jameson. Tastes delicious. Now, and how does it dry? This is soup. No, mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of ten. Would not do it. Would not eat again. No, you will, you will retract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is the things I get. I'm sorry you can't cook. You're not forgiven. Oh? Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. Ooh, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes. It's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't, can't appreciate. How about that? <laughs> Why, yes, indeed. This cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. And out of this world culinary experience, which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to extend all the salties. And truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I meant it's a waste to feed it to me. You read too much poetry, Andrew. You read way, way too much poetry. Food of this caliber should only be, be affect the kings. No. Gods! That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I would write you a shitty poem about it. Oh, God. <laughs> Lo and behold, I implore you. Come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food too. To ease your weary soul, she's brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on, a, on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips quarter past midnight. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, because he's felt the he her gloves. Because they've been m m making out quarter past m midnight. Sh should I buy lip balm? And the meat isn't dry, goddamn. This is right. <laughs> Nah, whatever. He humans are hard to cook. I'll, I'll get it next time. What next time? Nah, whatever. Anyhow, I think we dealt uh, with the flesh to the best of our abilities. But we still, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch a leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Wow, they really are kind of a dynamic duel of like you know eating dead people. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one, no one will, will think anything of it. Are you, are you talking to yourself right now? Uh, right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you not to. Even if I told you too, sorry. Mom was salty, right? Real salty. Show feet. That's a demand, not a, not a, a quest. No, no, no. The feet will come when the, when the uh, dog cam happens, which will probably be, be uh, tomorrow. Today has been a long stream, so we'll, 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 we'll probably end with just this game. I expected to play more games today, but we'll have to end with like this a game. This this game was surprisingly long, and I didn't expect it to be so like, long. Your inability to grasp the weight of, 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 of the situation is simultaneously your best and worst quality. I've really come to I've really come to appreciate it lately, though it pisses me off all the, all the same. Thank you. Hmm. Yep. Dumb as a stone. I just choose to ignore your not at all subtle insults. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Okay, let's see what else there. How's the fire going? Now the body's cooking. Are they cooking up well? Is the body cooking up nicely? I sure hope so. Is there any other secret that I have here? No, like any other thing that she comments on even. What about the blood on the floor, guys, eh? The demonic ritual. Surely somebody will, you know, want to check on this and then be like, uh-uh. You know what I mean, guys? Kind of a crazy ritual going on here. All right, let, let's, let's get the soup. Wait, can I just check first, maybe? Yeah, let's check. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's clear. Coast is clear. Chat, coast is clear. The feats will will uh, will come. Good. Yes, the feats will come. 
It should be fun to just, just, just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Yeah, it just looks like soup. See, it just looks like soup, so it's fine. It just looks like soup, so it doesn't matter. Do away the leftover human soup. Mmm, now we're Andrew. Meanwhile, I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses, loses track of them. Got lots of bags. Uh, where, where are the bones? Oh, the fire! Yeah. The flesh has burned in the charcoal, but, but the bones remain. Got bones. You put them in, in one of the plastic bags. Were there any more bones? Any bones inside chat? Any bonies inside chat? The. So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much of making them disappear, huh? What do we do all, all this other crap for? Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, they should be fine. True dental records. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records? I guess? He's not wrong. It's very easy to. You can easily compare- You can easily compare dental records. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved. Oh, he called a beloved! If I have never gotten rid of a body before. And when one can't identify someone based on the bones alone. You can't. The most you can identify is, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what, like, things that they've been through, basically. Like, they're, they're, like, history of, like, injuries or, like, growth. But you can't identify, like, who, 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 who they are. Do bones float, though? Oh, I think they have, like, sticks. I'll find something to weigh them down just in case. You move one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Got to the skull. Got all the teeth. Now, now you've got to find a way to get r r rid of them. So we lose the teeth, bag the bones with his rocks, and, and call it a day. Got it. Let me know when you've gotten the teeth, bones, and, and the rocks so sorted out. Yes, leave it to me. What if I just wash these like teeth, you know what I mean? Or make a necklace. Chat, let's make a necklace out of the like, teeth. Holy shit. You flush the teeth down, down the toilet. It takes a few tries for them all to flush. There, all gone. You wish you could do this all to all of your, of your problems. If only you, you could flush down everything. Bones and like all. I, I got the rock though. Got some rocks. You place them in one in one of the plastic bags. Now we're good. Teeth? Taken. Bones? Gotten. Finally. All that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? Why would I sacrifice someone again later anyway? Wait, they could live here, right? Huh? Why would I have to be here? We're gonna live here, right? We just have to keep paying our rent- our parents' rent or whatever. I wish you could, but... Eventually someone is gonna go, Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't showed up to work in a while. So they'll- so- so- so they get fired. So what? I doubt either of the bosses will care enough to file a missing person report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here, because my- your mother is a hot wife. Exactly, the hot wife! See, chat? They mingled. The hot wife. What did I say? The cuck and- The cuck and the hot wife. I knew it! I knew it. The cuck chair and the hot wife. The neighbors will know I'm gone, despite their name still being on the door. We can tell some lie! Say so we're house watching for the parent- For our parents and so on. <sighs> Listen. Not everyone gives zero shits like- like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. A bunch of whores. Why are, they, why are they happy with just each other? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant, it's all the same. Anyway, they can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking at the authorities. And who, and who will they find here? The children who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you- How the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to. I still think we can. Can we at least use our IDs? Yo, they could become their parents. We, we can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start, start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that, that easy. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. Yo, this line so funny after my cuck rant, right? That's what I'm saying. And it, it, listen, it wasn't a rant. It wasn't a rant. It was a uh, proof. It was it, it was my dissertation. My dissertation on why that is a cuck chair. 
<laughs> my scientific dissertation, my my uh, PhD. Maybe they did fuck their neighbors. That's what I'm saying. It was a confession. It was a con- it was a confession. No, no, no. A confession implies that I'm the one who does it. My theory. It's a theory when someone else does it. God damn it! I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Ashley, you dumbass. What do you think is, is gonna happen? No, uh, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna need a mop. Find him. Not yet. I don't even care about the saves. I'm willing to replay through to see everything else after. You did not clean the basement this fast. Hurry up and go do your proper. I just want to come and talk to you for a bit. God damn. Oh. It's, not just, it's, not, it's just not a very good time right now. We chat all you want as we dealt with the bodies. But I miss you and want to talk right now. See how? What do you find? What do you find a time? Ever since the quarantine, I haven't been away from you for one god for a second hour. Ah, uh, those been godless hours indeed. Oh, how I've languished in the absence of your complaining. <laughs> Get help. Good idea. Let me schedule an appointment right away. Oh boy, I can't wait for some professional to hear all about my life so far. Well, on second thoughts, don't ever get help. <laughs> Do you miss me? I'm gone too. Hard to say. But you ain't never gone. Maybe I should leave for a bit then. I'd rather you didn't, because you would miss her. <laughs> you're so dumb, you get caught, and that's a whole new fiasco right there. Man, fuck you. <laughs> go clean the go go clean the damn basement. I'll see if I miss you or not. A cuck thesis. Sure, sure. Ch- chat, please. Uh, guys, uh, 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 please, b- please, b- please believe me, chat, please. Guys, uh, I'm serious. The mob is too big for you. Fine. The mob is too big for you? There's, there's no way. Got an excellent mob. What if I just give up halfway through? I'm like, all done. He really doesn't care. He's like, no, no, no. Finish it. All of it. Symbol down. <laughs> what, what, what about the, ki- the, the candles? Oh god. Almost. Yeah. What now? Oh yeah. There we go. Should I put the candles back in the box too? No, just keep them. Realistically, you wouldn't want to keep the candles. I mean, you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to put the candles back in the box because like, you could probably tell that they were used, right? But I guess you wouldn't know when. Return all candles in into the box. Nice. Yo, bro. I'm all done. Do you think the patient confidentiality principle would apply to Ashley if she went to a therapist? I don't think it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're, they're, they're obliged to report it if it's like a serious crime. They only care if it's like... You only get the patient conf- confidentiality if it's something that's like non-threatening to... The, non-threatening to like life. Like if you're like a drug addict, right? A doctor is not gonna, is not gonna break confidentiality to like tell a cop to like, to like tell on you. Because... Drugs, I mean, they only really affect you, and like, ideally, they uh, it, it want to get you help, right? But if you murdered someone, like you've you've like taken the life of another, or you've like done something to like harm someone someone else's life. Same with like you know sexual sexual assault and and like stuff. They would also report that too, or like things that that could lead to it, like thoughts of like pedophilia and like stuff. There's a lot of things that, that they have to that, that they're obliged to avoid. I only, I think it's only lawyers that are in like a sticky situation. But even then, lawyers have like an obligation to like give or like you know send something to the prosecution or like something. But I but I do believe it's like iffy because of how defense and prosecution works. So it, it, it kind of it still depends then there. But for for like therapists and like stuff, I like have to. Well done. Are we are we ready to go? I think so. There's no way to tell if we miss something still. I uh, maybe see if you have a dream where we where we're caught, I guess. I have two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I, I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Wanna take a nap together? Yeah, take a nap together. Yeah. On to the bed. On to the bed, right? So what the what so what the conditions to get a vision? As in what the, what the demons say about it exactly? Hell, if I remember, you you don't. Uh, if you possibly give any less of a fuck, that'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two, and up yours, you didn't you didn't even remember our parents' address. 
which is of course just as important as this. Look, I just said that I need to hold on to it to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time it happened. Then could I hold it this time? They gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you. What's it hurt to try? God, you can't read be between the lines for shit. That was me telling you no. I did get it. I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all, all, all time. And let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? We share everything, including my, uh, my, my, uh, I share my dick with you. How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just hold hands. We're not cutting it. That's not it. But I'm sure we can hold both hold it at the same time. See if either of us gets a vision. Now, it's, it's a bit small. Between your hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again? Holding hands when we sleep together. Man, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's fine. Though I still think I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. Good night. Good night. Yep. She is one crazy motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck this. How am I supposed to sleep after you went and it said something so off color? <laughs> it doesn't help, 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 help at all. Mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah. I heard that. You did, huh? So that's what that l l show was about earlier. Did you, did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll, I'll take it. If for once she regretted both of us, then I'm happy. Because usually she only, re she only regretted Ashley at that point. What? Nothing. Good night. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. My stuttering is maddening. Hey. Got pink, got pink plus here. The TV won't turn on. A sucky drawing. Yep, towards the X. Yep. Wow, who drew all this garbage? Red, I mean blue, gr red, green. Okay, blue, red, green. Oh, got red crayon. Blue. What? Right, blue, red, green. And that's, that's the order, eventually. There we go. Yep, green crayon. And then we go back and we use the, this crayon to draw that line. There we go. See, chat, I never get stuck inside puzzles, ever. But I have never gotten, gotten stuck for it, ever. I'm a genius. I'm, I'm a genius. Got, 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 got blue, blue, got blue crayon, nice. My dog is going crazy, sorry. Just, just let her be. Just let her be. So now it's blue, red, green. Should I take the, I'll take the plushie. Yeah, play pink plushie, all the crayons. The TV and you watch each, each other. More importantly, this episode is titled Lele and Lele Alone. Wait, isn't this episode three? You won't let her be. Show dog's feet. Uh, soon, soon. Check all plushies description. Good, good call. I usually forget to like check it. Take. Got pink uh, plushie. Oops. But yeah, she'll be shown tomorrow, probably. It depends on what she like does. Useless. What a weird place to be. Got a stool. You know what's crazy? I drop a stool sometimes. Stool sample. A damn place sits on the floor. Oh my god. Lay lay and lay lay alone. She 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 sat and she ate separate to the entire family. Got green plushy. I'm assuming this is her brother. The best 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 thing ever. Yep. This is mom. Dad. Father plushy won't budge. Place down stool. Well. Sit, sit down the... Oh. I see what's happening. We're about to change places here, chat. Now I'm the favorite child. 
Now Lele is a favorite child because she has made Andrew become the monster in her mind. Pink plus she fell off the seat. Oh. Well, it was worth a try. He's always good. He's always good. He 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 never falls off the seat. Never. Wait, what happens if you put him here though? Does does this change anything? Place them on green. Does this materially change anything if I place them together? Right? Place down the pink slushy. The plushies seem happy together. Yes. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Happy, happy. Yellow plushy won't budge. Purple plushy won't budge. The trash is locked. Soup is brewing. Those seem to be missing sustenance. You know who who can who can who can bring them over? Green. Got a green plushie. Oh, she's so angry. Got pink. Got a pink plushie. Place the uh, pink. Let's just see what happens here. Still scary. But this, I'm assuming, is the two girls. Green plushie. Yeah, here, here we go. The two girls. The trash can cannot be utilized. Can it really? Yes, it can. Got purple hussy. Yep. Got yellow floozy. Yep. Floozies. Hussies and floozies. Ha ha ha! What a piece of shit. Place the. Uh, uh, oh shit. I've, I, I've got witch. A, a bit of visual thinking, perhaps. And then, yeah, ha 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 goes into the chest. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Ha ha ha, into the chest. Now it's exactly where it, where it belongs. There we go, we're getting closer. Come, brother. This plushy appears to be quite the ladies' man. I can't take it with me? Alright, fine. See, pink plushy at the table, but, but, but it fell right off. They keep knocking me down. Got mom plushie. Got dad plushie. Whatever. Oh yeah, this exists. Yeah. Non-existent father. Wait. What's done is done. Oh, because I pulled them away. Right. Right, right. Now we cook them. Because we ate them. Do mom and dad plushies into the pot. And now we lock him into the cage. Got the best thing in the world. You're mine forever, Andrew. Mine forever. There's nothing in the cage. There. All better. All yours. And you always knew how, how, how to blend in. Yeah. I mean, it's also just the, a, a natural consequence, right? Of like, you know which one is like, like a weird child. And you know which one to like. And you subconsciously almost favor. You know? You like how her stream and the stream of the demon are, are the same, right? Fuck is this? Where? Enamored evening. Got the got the knife. Remove knife. Got flower. Place down the flower. I sorry. I just keep thinking. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Now this one. Once upon a lousy life. The end. So, uh, uh, finally, you monster. Got sunshine. Got broken heart. Finally, you monster. What? Sad. 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 Okay, we're, we're, I'm assuming heart here. Because that's, uh, her and her brother. This is heart broken. This is sunshine. Well, how do I put, put, put the knife down? Oh, you know what? This is hard. This is sunshine. Hmm. But what's the left side then? Trying to think. So this is them being content. Take the broken heart. What did you just say? You don't love him anymore. Does that change anything materially? I guess you you could try to try to like you know break them break them apart almost. What's the other combination that I'm thinking of? We do the hearts over here. Do a uh, broken heart here. Sunshine. Oh, sunshine. She's just had an idea. She's just had an idea. Yeah, I get it. She loves him. And she's just had the best idea ever. Somehow it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. Doesn't matter. 
Please go. Doesn't matter. We know what we're here for. We uh, we uh, know. You just try save. You just save and try. I I been both doors. You're checking their the description before proceeding. Probably. That's yeah, fine. I I usually don't don't save some too hard. I only save some if I miss something that was like you know that I, that I that I wanted to like do. But I'm usually not not one to change choices because like I find like it's more entertaining if you just stick with your choice. I am a classmates. Hmm. Friends. Siblings. Parents. Siblings. Got key. Got green plushie. So now I can do something. Now I'm curious what this does. I have a save here, so it doesn't really matter. What if we're here? Ah, it changes everything. It changes the, uh, the meaning to be us. To be always the siblings. Always. Because she compartmentalizes the, all the trauma. She, she And she sees him as her parent figure almost. Like a parent figure. Because she, he was the one who gave her the, the, the lemon cake. Got it. The bottom tablet sex changes after you put a plushie. Oh, fuck. It's, it's, it's too late now. Penny for your thoughts? No deal. Oh my god, chat, they had sex. He's he's naked. He's naked. Come on. Give me one word. Oh my god. Chat. We're here. We've made it. They fucked. I knew it. Yes. Uh. Mm. We're gonna go with the with the incest timeline. All the way until they release episode three, okay? We're gonna continue down this like timeline. More, sorry, he said modifying and something, and I, and I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. Huh. Didn't seem like it a minute ago, because he was biting her. So I think you meant to say gratifying. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah? Something else fitting just fine earlier. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah. So mortified, are you? You know I'm easy to. You, you know I'm easy to distract. Some guilty conscience you've got. Better than yours. Holy shit, he's pulling on the collie. Success. Congratulations. Thank you. Th thank you. I guess the incest says, sense is really a thing. It was, uh, uh, okay, chat. I can smell incest from a mile away. A mile. You, you, you point me to any couple and I'm like, incest. Immediately. Did I notice the bite marks and the scratches? Yep. Bite marks, scratches on the shoulders. Everything. Better than yours. Come here, you. <laughs> Wait. Gently. Gently, goddammit. And mascara, exactly. The vision ends with, 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 without you dying. So at least there's that, you suppose. Well... That's awkward. They didn't do it. It's just their future. You would have found you saw it, too. Oh, he definitely saw it, he definitely saw it! Mayhaps? Oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you, too. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Or evening, I guess. Uh, whatever. Right, um... So, hey, did you get a vision? P probably not. Uh, really? Do you see dreams like that a lot, then? I don't! <laughs> so you did see it! Oh, Quite a vision, huh, big brother? That was not a vision. That was not a vision. That was a fantasy of mine that I've wanted for a long time. Is what Andrew says. The demon is messing with us. Yeah, see, uh, I'm curious how this was higher up in, like, episode 3. I was like, what exactly is the, like, demon, right? Like, what is the... Why the mystical angle, I wonder. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that's it. That's just it. But also, no, no, uh, no, uh, no spoilers. I will... I will ponder forever until we get to episode 3. And then I'll look at spoilers afterwards. It's because we tried to be cheap and get two visions for the price of one, yeah. So it gave us a fake vision instead. That's the only explanation that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. I mean, it, it is your trinket. Clearly, clearly you are right, and I wasn't supposed to use it. Sure, sure, keep selling it. I'm totally buying. Screw you. Yeah, you just might. <laughs> Fuck off. Did you, do you honestly think that? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me. I don't want to hear it. 
You're so desecrate our parents' corpses, yet getting laid is just what you're freaking out about? No one got laid. You and you keep telling me I'm messed up. What a joke. <sighs> We're not like that. Are we? I don't know. You just come off that way sometimes. Huh? How so? A tad jealous? Oh dear. What's that? Wishful thinking? Tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of a jealous streak yourself. Now that's wish wishful thinking. Fat chance. Get over yourself. Ah. I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me anyway. It's never, it's never, it's never good. It, it's never gonna come to that, right? You and me never say never. Stage two denial. I hit my mic out of excitement. Sorry. God damn. Never say never, Andrew, my dear. Oh my fucking god. Never say never. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why? Am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else? <laughs> say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. He, he for sure is. Why is this such a massive issue to you? We've done way worse things together. I honestly figured it would happen eventually. Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? Wait, wow. What a landmine, huh? Well, yeah? Forget this, forget this whole thing. Fine, but that was clearly a vision, so it'll probably come sooner or later. Well, on your last vision, the guy slit our throats, yet here we are. So let's just leave it at that. Alright then, if you say so. Andrew sweeps the elephant under the rug and calls it a day. Good sweep. Anyway, let's go throw mom and dad into the ocean, yeah? Throw. Now this is what I'm talking about, chat. This is what I'm talking about. Stage three, bargaining. He speeds runs it. He speeds. He speed runs it. Exactly. I can't wait. I can't wait until we finally get there in episode three. Again, this is only a uh, two episode part game because the full game isn't fully released yet. So I can't wait to see what's like left of this game. But now we go throw bodies into the ocean. I'm curious how to see how the story evolves. And I'm curious how strongly the storyline differs at this point, right? Because now I see two possibilities for the story. This is... Again, this is this is conjecture. Don't spoil me if I'm correct or like wrong. But I imagine that either of those two choices would have changed heavily what, what would have happened, right? Because to, to, to the point where it's like, you, you have the like Andrew breaking free end. And like Ashley maybe thinking of getting something help end versus the actual incest all the way like balls to the walls let the demon be like true ending. An elephant! Man, Angie's packing! Oh my god, I chatted some stream that you were watching. Jesus Christ! He's packing! He, he has to be. <gasps> I hate you. It's not my fault. This is a bad grip on its own. I don't care. Hurry up and hurry and hurry up and and pick them up. Fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Thank God no one is here at this hour. Jesus Christ! Room, room. I'm in me mom's car. Okay, so don't say. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light. Just in case someone does pass pass, pass by. Wait. But if I want to. What if I want to? What if I just leave? Alright, fine, fuck it. Andrew drops a bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do we make sure the skulls sink? They'll, 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 they'll probably be, be a fine. Well, in that case... Bet I can throw further than you, Jesus Christ! Bet you can't. Yeah? Definitely. On the count of three, one, two, ah! Oh, what's that? Looks like I won. Filthy cheat? Nope, no said pushing wasn't allowed. Yeah? Well, here's your fucking prize, jackass. It's a fist to the fit. No a hug. Why, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Here it is. It's happening. Chat, it's going to happen. You're a little different lately. Am I no fun anymore? Hmm, more like... Let me think. How have you been sleeping late lately? You actually looking for... 
Are you actually looking for a fight? I'm not talking about that, I mean just in general. Your insomnia and nightmares, how are those? Uh... It's been decent, all things c c considered. Yeah. Unexpectedly, you seem to be doing just fine. And she's worried that if he's doing fine, that he, that he, no, that he no longer needs her. Again, abuse is a very powerful tool in the hands of, of, of an abuser. Keeping people sort of like behind and like on their own is one way that abusers trap someone. It's why it's very important to be careful about your partner. Be very mindful of your partner. Make sure that they support you, that they uplift you, that they bring you up, and that they're not your sister. Very key ingredients to a healthy, monogamous relationship. Very key, key ingredients, okay? Never forget. Wait, did I, did I, did I, did I incest yet? Yep. You just missed it. You missed the best screenshot ever. Well, don't be happy for me, I think. <laughs> Andy is all grown and doesn't need me anymore. Andy's dead. I don't think he needs anything. Bah, but she's worried, see? Even so, there's, a, there's the trinket too. You're apparently the only one allowed to use it, so there's that. I don't know about that, but she only showed me one way to keep him around. Constant dick sucking. <laughs> the grapefruit technique. No, go back, let me see! Don't worry. You ever, if you ever miss parts of the VOD, hey, guess what? This will be uploaded to my VOD channel down below. Keep an eye on it, because this video will uh, appear tomorrow at this at this rate, at least. <laughs> I suppose. Right. I'm honestly pissed we don't know what's coming next. It's really hard, hard to plan what to what to what to what to do now. Ah, right. So what do we do? The money is about some time, but we still need to find ourselves new ide new identities. Do we really though? Can, can we just live in the car and mug random people for a living? D that's what you. That is okay. I, I'm not. Even, I, I'm not. I'm not even kidding you. If you go back to and you and if you go back and you rewatch Home Alone, that's what the two main bad guys do. The two main bad guys don't. They just live in the car and they mug random people for a living. If you rewatch it, they never go home to a home base, ever. They're always inside of a car. Does this automatically save to like Twitch? It'll, yeah, it also save on like Twitch. You can watch on YouTube if you want all the filler content cut out, basically. Like all the pauses when I go BR, BRB and stuff. Yeah, she thought Met, Met, Met John was a guarantee that he's, he, uh, he stays with her. Yep. Now that it's gone, she's afraid that there's nothing that will make him stay with her. Yep. Except now she knows about the dick sucking. So she still thinks that he might not actually love her since she thinks of herself as useless and unlovable. Exactly. Exactly. She thinks of herself as like a burden on his like life. But what she doesn't know, he's one horny bastard. That's just not going to work for very long. Every, every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. Can we buy fake, uh, fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them and I'll get right on that. Oh, that cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who uh, sells them. Probably not, though. Stop being such a defeatist. Let's go take a little look-see. It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that... That guy. Also, that motel was the only one laying a stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random parking lot. Since it's definitely go since it's definitely since it's definitely an ongoing investigation for that for the, for the, for, for that hit, hitman's death. Right, cool. Whatever. Let's get going. Hmm. I had a mole here. With a mole? Are you coming or what? In a minute. Let me finish this. I'll come to you later. Waste of time and money. I love it. Aha. Glad to hear it. <gasps> He's been marked. End of episode two. Want to save the game? Oh, fuck yeah. Save it, save it, save it. Again, you didn't hear once episode three, Burial has been updated. Because it's not in yet. Again, this is an early access game. There's uh, one more chapter. Apparently, this is like the final one in 2024 sometime then. Again, 2024 is going to be a packed year full of games that I've been waiting for. But I can't wait to see how this is going to go as, as well. Listen, I really gotta talk about this again for like a moment, okay? Let's chat, let, 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 chat, okay, let's, let's talk shop for a minute, okay? Let's, let's, let's talk shop. Fantasy. Let's look to my right. Look to my left. Fantasy should stay fantasy. But for a fantasy story that has a lot of weird angles, this is one hell of a fantasy story. 
The thing I like about this game is that incest is not really the main flavor, right? It's not just a straight-up hentai or anything, or like some like erotic novel or like manga. I mean, it has erotic moments, sure they fuck, and like, sure, you could play this game one hand with your hand on your dick, right? Like, I'm not saying that I, ha I was, you, but you wouldn't know because I'm a VTuber. But, the thing that I want to mention is that in this game, the incest is used as one of many plot devices, one of many types of abuses that is applied to Andrew by Ashley as a means of control. This entire story is fantastic because it is, though it is fucked up and though very weird with a lot of mystic elements, it is ultimately a story about abuse, about power, about the imbalance of power, about power such as failing its, its, its people, and about, about, about abuse. I tried to say something more like profound there, but it, it, it's a story about abuse. And I, I can see why this like, game was rated so like, highly, and why it's been so divisive, and why so many people feel like, you know, before they've even played the game, they dismiss it. You can't dismiss a game like this. This is not a game to fulfill some fucked up fantasy of wanting to fuck your sister. I mean, it, 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 it can be. But even when you do the incest, you never really escape the feeling or the knowledge not just a feeling, because a feeling implies that maybe you could be wrong, you could be right. No. This is fact. Fact truer than any fiction. The, f the fact that what is going on is fucked up in every sense of the word. That Andrew really is a victim of all of us. That everyone that they're coming across is a part and a victim of the larger ploy that Ashley is, is like going through. In a way, it's not necessarily her fault by her upbringing, but still. It's a very complex story that at first glance, just hearing this is the incest story, doesn't really capture. And I'm glad that I've been seeing memes about this game for so long. This game was on my list for a while, but when I started seeing all the memes, I was like, I have to, I, I have to play this. And I'm, I'm glad. Very glad I did. I can't wait to see episode 3. But that's all for this playthrough. I can't, I can't fuck my sister anymore in this game, so I mean, not really much as that we can do. And I won't, again, we're not gonna see the other in it. Endings, no spoilers. We're gonna continue this a playthrough until episode three when it does release, and then we'll go back and we'll see everything that we missed, right? But I love going for a one-shot storyline to stick to our choices, namely the consequences. This is a fantastic game, and if you at any point are watching this, obviously you got to this point and you're like, okay, well I, I see the whole thing now. If you hate my choices and you wanted to play something else, buy this game and try it yourself. Genuinely. It's good. The story choices are really, 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 really good. You don't feel any of that RPG make a jank, and it uses the mechanics very, very well. And it, it never feels stale, ever. The writing is actually very, very good. Entertaining is the best way to say it. Pure entertainment. Entertainment to the highest degree, despite how fucked up it is. But hey, that's often the best kind of ent entertainment. Yeah, I would also say he's probably always loved her. Like, like he hasn't like like loved her always in terms of like the horniness but he's always loved her as like a you know what i mean like wanting you like wanting to uh, to take care of her right in a weird way though if you think about it that's also a part of the abuse right R remember how how the mother says like sorry if you if you inject a sense of responsibility too early into like one child and you make like a child like a caregiver of an 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 another child you also in a way break them too right no child can really take care of another child but welcome. Welcome back, Gessler Games. Unfortunately, you actually caught me at the very tail end of my stream. We've been streaming for 8 hours, I'm tired, so sorry about that. We've been second for 10 days and you missed 3, 3 a days. To be fair, I haven't streamed for like a, a couple days because my computer was like crazy, right? So I, it was it was crashing a lot. I will be back tomorrow though, okay? Again, sorry you came late. The VOD will always be up on my Twitch. And the the more pared down VOD for each like game playthrough will be available on YouTube. Again, if you miss parts of it, my YouTube channel is linked below. You'll be able to see what I, what you missed. Pare it down so that there are no BRB segments. There's basically no downtime at, at all inside like VODs. Again, I appreciate all of you for showing up. I'm sorry that you had to miss it. We didn't get to every game that I wanted to get to today, so we'll have to reschedule those for later. But because this game took so long and it was so good that I couldn't that I could not keep on playing it, right? Ah, I could not not one-shot this. And I always one-shot every visual novel that I play, because I can't help myself. We've done two so far. I have some other... Some other uh, 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 visual novels coming up soon that are less crazy than this. Wait, you said it will post on my Twitch? Yep. So the VODs will always be on my Twitch first, because it's just automatic. And then the Parrot Down VOD that has all, like, you know, the, like, filler stuff, like, when I took, like, breaks for, like, five... Like five ten minutes gone, 
that will be on YouTube. So you only get the like full playthrough, basically. Sometimes timestamps too, if I wanna like timestamp things to make it easy to find certain things or to skip over certain boring boring parts and like our like talking and like stuff. But yeah, that's that's where uh, again links all of my profile below. I appreciate all of you for showing up. I'm scared that you all showed up during an incest game though. So thank you, TV Vody, Sean, Sean, H112, uh, Sean, Sean, H1218, and your omnisexual streamer, who didn't even show up inside chat, by the way, a little, a little hidden sneaky sneaky for following me today. Appreciate it. Agree with everything on the game, except maybe uh, abusing. To, to me, it felt more like an unfortunate situation. But did she ever really make him do anything? I don't, I don't think so. Maybe except Nina, but that was also an accident. It's um, it's it's complicated, right? The problem is that like, she she knows exactly who she she knows exactly who who who, who he is, right? Like she, she knows exactly the kind of person he is. Abuse doesn't have to be so upfront, right? Abuse is also very much like coercion too, right? If you look at it from that angle, she definitely coerced him into many many things, but she knew that he couldn't say say a no. She knew what to say to coerce him and to slowly sort of like bait him into these bad bad situations because remember he's a victim of like you know of like of like he's a victim of like that type of like slow subtle coercion that like happens if you're not careful about who you are because again think think about it from like this this perspective right though it's an un unfortunate situation and though it's unfortunate that she happened to like die because of her like asthma if she wasn't trying to like you know take advantage of the fact that he's a very pliable person she wouldn't have suggested it at all. She wouldn't have tried to suggest it and he would have been able to, to say no, right? I'm not saying that he himself doesn't have any issues, right? You, you see himself admit it too. In the sense of like, Andy is the weak fuck and like Andrew is, is, the, is the stronger one, right? But I don't, think, I don't think it's correct to say that it's not necessarily that... Uh, and I don't think it's correct to say that he's not a victim of abuse. I think that subtle coercion and that sort of like sort of like slowly, slowly like baiting him in to sort of do something that he's uh, like incapable of like walking away from is still just as bad, right? Still just as bad, if not more so, because she knows it. it from, we know from her perspective that she's been aware of it from the very be beginning of the game, right? From the very beginning of the game, she knows how easily pliable he is and she knows exactly how to pull it along. Slowly, 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 but surely. And again, there's a lot of factors, right? He goes along with it because he feels a sense of responsibility because of what his like mom said, right? His mom placing those like burdens on uh, on him, right? It's a very complex story. Is this just a vision they saw, or do they actually fuck? Eh, just just a vision, just just a, a vision. I don't think they fuck maybe until way later. I mean, again, they saw the vision of the hitman and they were able to like stop it, right? So, Andrew is just a victim. It's misinterpretation. I. I don't know if that's necessarily true though. Is it really mis misinterpretation? You, just, you, you still don't really think that there was much coercion. I guess. I, like, I guess you, you could argue that there wasn't much any, right? But it's like... What I'm trying to get at is like the difference between like somebody knowing that someone's weak to it and just dropping hints versus not even bothering at all. Like if you know that somebody is like weak to like something, right? You still like you wouldn't even give them the option. You would just be like, no, we shouldn't do we shouldn't be doing this. Or you would stop them, right? Or you would do anything else to, like to like, drag them away from it, right? It's the fact that she knows that he's very easy to coerce, that she still says it because she knows it's gonna end up being her way anyway. Like that to me, I think is where that angle of abuse comes from. IMO. At least from like my interpretation of it. I think that's how I feel about it. Cause it's like she knows that that's his like weakest thing. It's his inability to sort of like step away and and then basically it, be like whoa 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 this is like really messed up. I'm not gonna do this right. Again, obviously it's not necessarily like all of her fault, but again it's also like he's a very coerceable guy. He's a very easy person to like convince by just leaving like breadcrumbs, like trails, tiny little pieces of like bread on the floor. And she knows that. She uses it very very well. She she she's. She suggests these are things. She emotionally ma manipulates him into being like, Oh, you know, you hate me. You hate me. You don't like me. And it's like, okay, well, like now he has to because he feels like a sense of responsibility for her, right? It's like, ah, fuck. Uh, Andrew admits having no regrets about murder. More or less possible theory that he's the highest functioning psychopath. 
But that's like after, right? He admits he admits having no regrets about murder, but like afterwards, right? Like we see how he really feels about it as a child. And again, as a child, he had a very visceral reaction to like, holy fuck. But the thing that pulled him through was his uh, need to take care of his sister, right? I, so uh, I don't think it points towards him being the highest level of a, of a psychopath. Because a psychopath implies like more of like a fundamental thing, right? Which we know now in like modern science. I think it's more like he's used to it. In much the way that like a veteran is like used to like seeing certain things, right? And in a way, it's like, you know, they get used to it, but they, but they also leave with a level of like PTSD that like stays with them forever, right? Now, I think we see those two angles. He leaves with, with, with the PTSD. He has the like image in his mind always. He tries to shut it out and tries to come by and analyze, but he knows what happened to like Nina. He even remembers her, her like name. But at the same time, he's so used to it that he just doesn't care anymore. He's like, he's like, he's numb to it all. He's numb to it all because it is such a constant in his life that he just can't escape from it, right? So I don't think he's, he's a psychopath. I think he's just numb to it. He's genuinely like, he's just so used to it that it doesn't phase him anymore. But I don't think that's like a, a psychopath thing. I actually think, I think his sister Ashley is maybe the higher functioning psychopath, but even then I don't even know. Because now we see sort of like the hints of the abuse that she went through in her family, right? She ate in the corner alone. She was always alone. She was ostracized by her like family, right? Even beforehand, even before Nina's death, we, we had hints that she was being ostracized and that the, a, a mother basically wasn't a good mother and basically handed it all to like Andrew, right? And clearly Andrew was, you know, relatively fine. He had a lot of feelings about like how this stuff isn't like they should be doing this, right? But again, it's hard to break that like feeling of like responsibility of like, hey, like, your mother tells you you have to take care of her. I was like, oh fuck, like, my little sister is saying, oh, you don't like me, you don't like me. Like, no, I, I want to make you happy. So I guess you have to go with it. Because you're too, he's too weak, right? I'm not saying that he's like not fully the victim. He is a bit too weak. But at the same time, it's like, you really, I, I just feel like there's too much evidence to like point towards Ashley being too, too malicious. I think. I don't think he completely doesn't care about bridging. Exactly. So, so yeah, he doesn't completely not care, right? He doesn't completely not care. Like he still cares even at at the end, but by the end he's he's so numb to it. But then even in the beginning, it's clear she doesn't care as much as an average human would. Exactly. But even then, I wonder if it's because of like her experiences, right? Is she malicious though? That's see, that's the thing that I want to wonder about. If she's a psychopath, it's not it's not it's not malicious. That's the, that's the scary part, right? If she's a, if she's a psychopath, then she's not ma malicious. This is the same as doing 1 plus 1 equals 2. She sees something, she sees a girl hitting on her, 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 her brother. She wants her, her, her brother to be hers. Therefore, she'll, she'll kill it. Right? There's a lot of things like that that I think like, start to hit very, very differently when you think about it in, a, in an angle. So, if she is a psychopath, then it's not it, it's not mo it's not malicious, but it's still terrifying. If she wasn't a psychopath, but she was kind of like you know, she was trying to aim for that, then it is mo malicious. Because malice implies intent. That the, that's the hard part with that word and that sort of like categorization is that it implies an intent of some kind, an intent to want to be and like do a certain thing. And yeah, the image of the, of the game on Discord that you saw was was edited, right? Hey, how? Wait, was it like a full-on, like, they were like naked going at it? Probably, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I did know that this game wasn't adult-only, so like, they wouldn't show it, for sure. But yeah, there's a lot of things that you could probably talk about with this game to try to figure out, like, oh, is it malicious or like not? There's a lot of different angles that you could go with here, I, I think. To me, it's like, if I, she doesn't have Andy around, equals her life is like over. Most bad things she's committed to other people, not Andy, is her trying to stop the world to get away from her to get her away from her, so it's pretty much just her trying to survive. Exactly. Exactly. So th 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 that's so that's why, right? It all depends on like what happened in her past, and I hope that episode 3 expands more on their past. Because then we would know for sure, is it like a malicious angle, or is it just them being them? That's what I'm very curious about. Fuck, I wish I was recording all of this, because this is a very good discussion. I'll cut in the Twitch VOD from, from I mean, afterwards. But that's the thing that I'm kind of like curious about, is like, do you call it malice, or do you call it, like, her survival mechanism, given the abuse that she's been through? Because again, their parents fucked up. 
Their dad is a, you know, their dad doesn't care. He has no active, you know, presence in their lives. And their mom, she just hands off all the, all the responsibilities and she doesn't try to be like a mom. She simply says, and she absolves herself of her, her responsibility by saying, Hey, I was your age. Do you think you could, do, do you think you could handle it? And in a way, if you think about it, right? That behavior, again. It's why I think that this behavior from from uh, Ashley, I keep thinking her her a name is like Missy because that's my dog. I I think the behavior from like Ashley from Ashley is learned because that's exactly how her mom treated everything, right? Because think about it. What did her mom do? Her mom basically said, "Okay, I absolve myself of any responsibility. I give up because it's 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 simply too." Uh, simply too hard and I leave you two to deal with it I'll just deal with the bills they're like easy shit going to work and like dealing with like that I'm gonna be honest it's really fucking easy compared to raising a child right I don't have to think about most most of the time I don't have to think about if what I do has a real consequence right I just do the task that is put in front of me at the work but raising a child if you don't do that shit right it's gone forever that child is ruined forever you have a much higher level of like responsibility and you see immediately that like she she couldn't handle it. Not necessarily to say that. So what I I take back that like she absolved her herself is like, as like a malicious thing, right? Well, or, like what I'm trying to say is because it, it sounds mal malicious when I ex explain it, but she gave up because it was simply too tough, and it's understandable why it's hard. Being a parent is a very hard job, right? However, it doesn't necessarily change the fact that she did absolve herself of that. Of that responsibility, right? Like that is still going to cause knockdown effects onto their like kids. That's just of psycho. It's not exactly um, malicious. She literally doesn't comprehend everything. Exactly. Exactly. So it's very curious to see sort of like how it goes at that point and like how it like changes. I should really consider playing other endings. I, I think those are very important for the interpretation. You still continue episode three with the choices you did on the first playthrough. There also be two completely different episode three. I don't think so. I think that doesn't really change the the uh, the interpretation though, right? Because like the the interpretation that I'm going for is with my specific playthrough, and th that's why I don't like save 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 some save something either, right? Because like then it, it then it really does change the interpretation, right? Because then if I if I play the other endings, then of course it changes who who they are entirely. Because then we see Andrew's strength come out. Then we see so, so, sort of like characters doing certain things very, very differently. Then we see certain angles being played very, very differently, right? Then we see Andrew less of a victim and like more of someone who's like taking a much more heavy part in like things. Because like he could have changed those things because he's strong now, right? Like doing it differently, I don't think would have changed my in my interpretation because my interpretation is so specific to this to to this to this route to this playthrough, right? I think you're correct in that it would have added more different interpretations to explore, but it wouldn't have it wouldn't have changed this timeline's in, in interpretation very very much. Especially when you can when you consider when we start the game, right? When we start the game, we've already gotten past their their childhood. We're already in the in their twenties, right? So whatever happened in the past, but before they were twenty, doesn't change. So all of that will. Even what I said about like, you know, how Ashley kind of behaves early on and how she slowly sort of like edges him on and like baits him into like a weird scenario of like locking someone inside of a chest. I still don't think that like changes my interpretation of like that very, very, very much. At best, it would change the, the interpretation of like everything that happens up until this point. I imagine Andrew would not be so numb and I imagine there would be a lot more tension between the two siblings if I played the, the, uh, the, the other endings of this game, right? Yeah, it, it's complicated in the sense I like yes I would want to see them but I don't want to save some un, until later because it's so it's so specific to the playthrough and I do want to wait until episode 3 because like there's no point there's no point save, 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 save something until then especially if the story could change by that point right like you never really know especially if they're willing to do it b b beforehand there are different people in the, in the, there are different people in the, other routes, but it'd be crappy writing. But it does provide more more context. More context equals better understanding. I mean, fair. That that is that is fair. Like, if it does provide more like context, then like sure, I can see how that would like kind of change things, right? But if it's more like past cutscenes, then I can see how that would change change things. And like, they wouldn't be like like it's not crappy writing if they're different people. I don't think it's crappy writing if they're different people. I think it's um 
specifically, it's like what I'm talking about is not different people. It's like there's two angles that I'm trying to get at. One is that the past is immutable. What's been done up until that like point, we're only drip fed like context. So I agree with you that the context would change the like past up until that point. But in terms of like my interpretation of this route, what's happening in this route, that wouldn't change anything because each each route has its own I interpretation. If that makes sense, right? They're not different people, but it's also not it's not crappy writing if it was that. Because like Andrew would be different. Like Andrew would technically probably be different. Like. In a perfect world where like the uh, writing was like very very in like depth, Andrew would be different if he does try to fight back her like you know, her advances and like her like you know control basically right, and if he tries to sort of like build like a barrier between him and like her, IMO that's actually a very good thing to see growth in him in like one and a stagnation and kind of like a subservience inside of this one right, that is good writing I think it doesn't change their core personality but it changes how they grow at least. They still have the same flaws and stuff, but they at least are able to like mend or like have them deepen even more in like different ways, depending on your like choices. So I don't think it's like crappy red. But if there is more context, then I'm curious. But I'm not gonna go into that context yet, because I do want to wait until at least part three. At least part three. But I wonder. But it does bring up that that curiosity in me though of like I can't imagine what context would possibly change though, because like. It feels like the context that we got was very clear about like what's like happening, right? No matter what happens, Ashley is at least very aware that like Andrew is at least a very easily malleable person, right? I can't imagine that like you know knowing her backstory would make me any more empathetic to her situation other than to herself only. Like I'm not empathetic to how she treats Andrew. I'm not empathetic to how she treats her parents, nor to how she treats Andrew. Well, well as you know, I'm, I'm empathetic to how she treats her parents because they, they deserve it. In a, in a way, you know, you know what I mean? It's a complexity of like being a single parent and, and myself. But I'm not empathetic to how she treats Andrew. And I don't think that would ever change, even if I feel like her situation is justified given the life that, she, that she's lived, if given more context on her past. I mean, if a character does a 180, yeah, 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 If they do a 180 and they're completely different, yeah, exactly. Like, if they keep, like, if they keep their core traits and their flaws, right? Because, like, it's, like, as long as the author is aware to, like, keep their, like, core traits and like, flaws and they grow them in a very natural way by the, like, choices, then it's perfect, IMO. Then that's, like, the best way to, like, about. But I do agree, like, a full-on, like, a rewrite of a character just because you go down one, like, route. Like, uh, like how Mass Effect 3 does, like, you know, are you a Paragon or are you, like, a rogue, right? It's like, oh, one, you save children and everything. The other, you blast them in the face. Like, it, you know what I mean? That, to me, is, like, very sort of, like, uh, plain. Very boring, very plain. There's no complexity with the, like, growth and the fall and, like, taking into account who you are. You just, I, like, like, you're either just, like, good or, like, bad. So, I agree. Yeah, like, like, that stuff is, like, bad, right? Look at that. Oh, I'm so curious. Like, I want to. I really want to see the rest of the context to see, like, if the context, how much that, like, changes. But I don't think it would make me more sympathetic and empathetic to Ashley's behavior towards Andrew and how she's very good at manipulating his, like, his, like, his, like, naivet, right? Or naivety, whatever, how you have it, you do a dance. I haven't said a word in, like, a while. But it would make me at least more empathetic to who... To, to, to her past, because I do suspect that she's not a full psychopath, but it's hard to like tell because there's so little that I got in my playthrough about her like past. But it does seem like she was neglected heavily, and again, single parents, your second child, she thinks it will get easier. All of that seems to point towards, ah oh, yes, I totally think it'll be easier, way easier, I'll have a second child, oh fuck, it's, it's not easy, sorry, hands off from day one. So you know, you see where it comes from, right? Like you start to see where it comes from. And I knew at the moment that we saw... Andrew's reaction to seeing the father tied up when he was like, oh, you know, the father just goes along with what the mom does and he realized, fuck, that's what I'm doing now. It feels a lot like there's a lot of influences in their lives that have made them become like this. And it's true, it's why the mother apologized, right? Again though, this is a fantastic game and you see the greatness of, of games like this. No matter how weird the subject matter is, games like this invite a lot of discussion. We can disagree and agree, or we can see different things that a person hasn't, right? We can also Im interpret things differently, right? And not necessarily saying that your interpretations are like wrong, but at least for me, for this playthrough, this is what my interpretation feels like with the limited knowledge I have, right? Games like this invite a lot of thought and, and, and a lot of process if done well. 
there are visual novels that are very simplistic. Not to say that they're bad, but that, but, but that they're simple on the surface, right? Think, uh, uh, find love or die trying. That's a very simple visual novel. You find love or you die trying. It's a very fun story to like play. And there's rat jam in it, right? There's the German rat song in it. This? It has incest on the box, but when you delve into it, it has very, actually very good writing. And a very strong amount of writing on the effects of abuse. And how that sort of like layers up and how complex abuse can be. Because abuse is not always obvious. It's not always out outright. It can be very obtuse. Very obtuse, but still just as acute as its more outgoing, you know, sibling. The plot is amazing. It's like every phrase in action is connected with every other phrase in action. That's, that is the best way to explain it. That is the best way to explain it. Thank you. That's exactly what I think too. It is, um, the writing is so well connected towards each other. And you can feel that a lot of thought has been put into it. Which makes sense considering that what, it, what you all told me. How they had to go back and like rewrite parts of episode 1 just to make sure episode 2 flowed well. That is commitment to a lot of story threads. And like if you, um, if you did like a pin board and you did like a string around each connected thing, it would be a web, right? Imagine trying to do that while still writing each, each, each episode as you go and then having to remember to go back to like change something. That takes a lot of dedication from the story writing side. And there are very little, if like any tools that like help you do this kind of stuff. There's very little sort of like tools that like help you like, you know, keep track of the connections between things that isn't custom made on your own, right? Or more like a manual thing with like, you know, the like, the like, like pin boy plus a, plus, plus a string thing, but one, one, one earthquake and that's like gone, right? But this shows that level of, de of dedication to what I've hey, done. Again, it seems like a funny haha brother fuck sister like plotline. But it is, a, it is a fantastic story about abuse that has a lot, a lot of different ways that you can interpret it. And it seems like, based on everyone's reactions to my interpretation, that the the changes that the playthroughs go through and like how much you can learn differs a lot. And so again, if you get to this point and you really want to not see my playthrough go this way, seriously, get this game for yourself and try it. You need to try your own playthrough and try to d d discover things on your own. Yes, and many phrases give little hints. Yes, you were kind of you were surprised when I picked up on if reg if re if I reg regretted the both of us. It's usually it'll usually fly under your radar. Exactly. Exactly. Those little hints like really add a lot. Like those like that like weight and that like feeling of it, right? And they're very, very, very like um they're very complex hints too. They're not very simple. Because yes, usually you can analyze a plot procedurally just writing one thought after another. But with this one it's really hard to need to quote things over and over. You need something like an obsidian to make it convenient. Precisely. Like some kind of like mind mapping tool, like obsidian or like, or like something. Because again, the hints are never simple. They're, they're very small hints, right? Very subtle. But they have a lot of gravity, a lot of weight behind them. A lot of complexity that you can unwrap inside of them. That you can un unravel each and, each and every single thing, right? It's a very good storyline. There is a procedural plot, obviously, to like how this game goes. But those tiny hints and those tiny little details about how the characters are, how they interact, and what, what, what the life has, like, has like been like, is complex. I really love that. This is, this is the closest thing in a weird way that I've gotten to a game like Road Warden, right? Which again, is another very extremely good narrative adventure game. And that itself has the same elements. It is, it is a much more freeform, open world kind of like, kind of like narrative game, which is a very interesting take on it. But it has a similar complex structure, similar subtle hints, as well as that kind of like, you know, similar sort of like overarching sort of like narrative plot that is procedural. But all the details is what really makes it complex. And then again, it feels like for something like that, you would need something like Obsidian, some, some kind of mind mapping tool to even make any sense of it. Fantastic game. Fantastic game. Holy shit, that was a long discussion. But that was worth it. That was genuinely worth it. Because again, you really can't go wrong discussing this a game as it is. This is an extremely solid title. Again, if you hate my choices, you absolutely should get this game and try it yourself. Again, I won't try the other choices yet. I will wait patiently for episode 3. I know, I know. I thought that's crazy. I will wait patiently for episode 3. When it comes out, we'll play through my it, it, my current sort of like timeline so that I can build my own sort of like theory of, and like understanding of the story. And then I'll break it wide open to really understand well, where these characters come from afterwards, right? But that's all for this game. And that's all for my... I mean, that's all... For, that's really all for my thoughts on it. Because this game is very complex. Very, very complex. Like, we could probably talk all night about it. 
and we go back and forth so it's like dropping hints but until i play more of it i won't know like i have to play the other playthroughs too because it seems like there's a lot there's a lot of context that i'm still missing right so i would need to go back and play it to, to sorry i'm so gassy to really f to really fully understand even more but f at least for now for my limited playthrough that's all i can really get oh what a great game what a solid game i can see why this like, game is like you know overwhelmingly positive and again it's surprising how there are only memes talking about it i haven't heard of a single sort of like official article uh, but i only saw this game through memes and i'm like oh wait a game about incest haha <laughs> funny but imagine underneath all of that is kind of a literary ma a, li a literary masterpiece in its own right right it's not a complex storyline it's not like a complex thing like you know like it's not like interstellar where it's like dealing with, with like a crazy scientific topic but it uses its its elements in such a complex way, right? It's like um, it's like making a creme a creme brulee, three ingredients. But the way you mix those three ingredients can make anything. And here they have made the finest dish I've ever seen before, using just simple in ingredients done extremely well in a very complex ways. Extremely good game. Extremely good. Good game. That's all for the coffin of Andy and Lele.